All right, guys, today we're going to be checking out Hero of Fate, which is $2.24 on Steam right now. It has 51 achievements. I doubt we get them all, but maybe. You never know. It's a roguelike. I like those games. Survivor roguelike not going through my headset. I like that, too, obviously. Do, 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 do. I do like the music so far, especially if it doesn't copyright ID claim me. All right. Epilepsy warning. Start game task. What is my quest? All these are all the achievements. There's only 51 in the Steam thing, but I guess there's 74 in game. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What did you just say? What did you say to me? Say my blade. Say my blade. Say my blade. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> all right. Sick. Let me turn up the volume for you guys. Adventure begins. Oh, there's chapters or something. You ditch your cozy home and hit the road for some thrill. You wish to make it to another town before nightfall and test your skills. The n big names were like red marks on a treasure chest, treasure chart, luring you in. But those marks were, are your only your, uh, were only on your agenda for now, not within. All right, I just woke up. Reading's hard. And the quest begins. I have some kind of spinning attack. Stick to 14 minutes. Come on. I probably read that wrong. It's okay. I just woke up. I forgive me. I got a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Tracking arrow. Launch one tracking arrow. Frost jet sprays out freezing frost. Cobweb. Cast some magic. I like that one. Swift slash. Swift slash. Hmm. Uh, release blade strikes dealing 100 damage. Deals. Oh, that one seems cool. Its damage is based on clover. Sick. Deal. Is that not what I already have? Oh, I'm broke. Death Wrap. Summon two rays to track enemies and deal something something damage. Frost Jet. Ah, oh, you can recycle abilities too. Cool. What's this lady doing? What's up, girl? You on my team? Oh, am I just supposed to stand here until something unlocks? I got you. Does this hurt me? Nope. I'm defeated. I'm killable, Lou. Is this a boss that I'm about to kill myself with? Is that what's about to happen? I need Rio Rowena's boost your luck and get chance to get four skills. That's why I need to boost my light power attack. That's actually sick that that gets boosted by a luck stat. That's the do. Ow, you hurt me. I feel really strong right now, actually. But this is just the beginning, and I'm on normal mode. Just seeing if I could change the difficulty. Ah, it's just treasure. I like treasure. Oh yeah, boy. Start the fate event. Complete to get rich rewards. How do I do that? Uh, skill projectile speed, skill attack range, skill cooldown reduction. Okay, I'm gonna start the event. Encounter of fate. So when you have so many trophies, you can start a thing. You were looking for a place for, to rest in a desolate temple, but you unexpectedly encountered a mysterious traveler. She was beautiful, a gra and graceful woman with silver hair flowing in the wind and eyes sparkling with mystery. She wore a white robe embroidered with intricate and exquisite patterns. She greeted you warmly and introduced herself. She called herself Leela, Layla, Leela, a traveler from a distant land. Uh, this is like a light novel. You have a familiar and warm aura. Just like an old... F Just like an old friend I once knew. Meeting you must... Oh, I should do a voice. Meeting you might be face arrangement. I haven't done a voice in forever. She said, taking out a crystal that shone with light from behind her. This is a small gift. You leaned in curiously and saw that there was a live, live chick inside the crystal. It wore a strange strap dress and played with a basketball. It saw you and waved its claws at you, making a... Cluck cluck sound. <laughs> or is it? G g I don't know what click. What kind of click? <laughs> cluck cluck. In, in Ander, you can find various Patronus. Some are incarnations of elves, some are the soul spirits of heroes from other worlds. Layla explained, Now I want to give it to you. It will protect you in times of crisis. I believe it will be of great help to your future adventures. Alright, sick. I got her thing, I guess. Nice, welcome to the team. Okay. 
Oh, accept the gift greatly. I have to continue my journey, Layla sa Leela said, with a hint of regret in her voice. I don't know when I will see you again. Maybe soon, maybe long, maybe maybe never. I'm glad to chat with you and meet to meet you. She bowed slightly to you and then recited a spell. As the di dazzling blue light flickered, Layla's figure gradually faded away until she was gone. Right. Oh, hell, where are we? Where's my chicken at? Oh, there's my chicken. Hey, chicken. Brother Chicken, a clucking good talent who's been training for two and a half years to sing, dance, rap, and hoop. Hoop. Hi, right, hoopy boy. Welcome to the team, man. Oh, that's a treasure. Uh, skill effect duration, critical hit. I'll take this. What's he do? I think it's about to tell me. Oh, I get to pick a new skill. Uh, you already have sweet. I'll take another sweep then, I guess. Sweep level two! Switch Slash! <laughs> Cobweb, level two. Holy Light, level two. I like level two. Level two sounds good. Did I say take Death Wrap? Yeah, I guess it will. Can't hurt too much. Could just refresh, I guess. Alright, let's go, guy. My brother. That is a thick boy right there, boy. He's got chubby cheeks. Chunker. Another fader already. Wait a second, let me pick up my money first. Old Knight. That's all I'll read it. After bidding farewell to Leela, you continued your adventurous journey. Not long after, you traversed a desolate expanse of plains, and along the way, you encountered a weathered old knight. He lay sprawled on the grassy ground, his faithful but ancient steed beside him, as if the flames of life were glad gradually dimming. However, when his gaze fell upon you, the spark reignited in the depth of his eyes, a glimmer of hope flickering within his pupils. Stranger, the old knight whispered softly, his voice carrying the polish of years gone by. Would you be willing to heed the plea of a dying man? Continue. So, yeah, go ahead, man. I was once a knight of the realm, sworn to protect them, but now I am but an aging soul on the cusp of eternal slumber. The elderly knight's gaze wandered into the distance. An ominous sorcerer, he beguiled the king and wrought havoc upon my kin. Lay west, waste my land, homeland. I beseech thee, take up of my plea, and let vengeance be my legacy. His words carried a profound lament. Yeah, I guess so. What's up, man? Oh, he gave me sweep again. I have all the sweep. The old knight's face lit up with a glimmer of contentment, and he extended his trembling hand to gently touch her cheek. Thank you, brave one. As a token of gratitude, I am willing to impart to you the ancient techniques passed down in my lineage. Okay. He handed you an antique chest, and upon opening it, you discovered an exquisitely bound tome. Wrestled with, nestled within, it co its cover bore the inscription Inferno Flame Street. As you gazed upon this heritage, your heart swelled with reverence. When the skill reaches level 6, the skill can be evolved into a heritage skill through the treasure chest. Ask about the evil mage. I don't know, the old knight shook his head. I've searched for many years, but I haven't found a trace of him. Perhaps he's escaped to another corner, another world. Maybe someone else has killed him. Maybe he's lurking in some corner, waiting for a chance to reappear. But no matter what, I won't give up on my vengeance. As long as I'm alive, I'll continue my search. He declared with unwavering determination. Promise to fulfill his wish. Thank you. Thank you. He closed his eyes and exhaled his final breath. A serene and contented smile graced his face. His loyal steed, sensing its master's passing, let out a mournful cry before also collapsing to the ground. Bury the old knight. You crafted a humble grave for the old knight and made a solemn vow to fulfill his unfinished dreams. Hey, sick. Who wants some? Oh my god, there's another thing. Flame streak. Swinging the flame sword deals damage. <laughs> oh, hail. Look at that. Nice. Um, 
about to have to press the Z key again. Oh my god, just keep going, bro. <laughs> Gameplay? What is this? It's uh, We're reading up in here, boys. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, what do I want? The forest robber or mystery? I take the forest robber. Heading north along the main road, you pass through the forest and reach the village. As you walk along a path, several, several blurry figures behind a tree catch your attention. Robbery? How dare they? You will make these guys realize they have picked the wrong target. It's time to fight. Oh, thank God, it's a fight. Where are you at? What you want? Bandits? Knaves? Foul knaves? Oh, they're pretty tanky, though, for real. Get him, basketball chicken. Oh, that was easy. You defeated the vicious bandits in the distance. You saw a glit flake, faint glow of fire in the depths of the dark forest confirmed. Okay, did I though? Did I though? Mage hat, reduce skill. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, baby, yeah. Is there like a sprint, a dash key or something? Wow, this force is actually pretty big, huh? Probably should just go back. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't have to read too much on that one. Brother Chicken! Brother. My brother. Oh, it's the angel thing again. It's back! What up, baby? My homie. My homies agree I really look at him black, fool. I'm the pious guy. All the almonds want to be like something, something, something. Oh my god, it's the Z key thing again. Well, we get the story really quick. Magic shield. Pick up my treasure. Or at least some of it. Okay, bandit sheaf. Okay. You came upon a thief's lair, where the thief boss and his henchmen were occupied with tallying the spoils they had plundered. Then it shall be mine. Go straight up! <laughs> you rushed out with the <laughs> delay. At least you got violent assault on the thieves. I, I do that, I guess. I am a knight, after all. Or, yeah. I'm kind of knight. He's a thick boy. You stand no chance, heathen. Get back. Get back. I actually have a lot of money, so I'm gonna spend that real quick. Now I'm poor. Oh, is he throwing knives at me? My bad. Stop moving, because I was like, wow, this guy moves slow as heck. Do do do. You triumphantly vanquished the thief boss. The forest restored his peace. You bundled upon up the spoils and left left by the thieves intending to give back the items to the villagers and perhaps even earn a God, earn a decent dinner in return. Sick. I did it. Do I get both those chests or just one? Both! Both of the chests. Yay! Your items belong to me now, actually. Plot twist. See? Another fader. Oh. All right. Uh. Well, we're going to do all the faders, it looks like, for this. I guess. I don't know. Let me pick my trophies so I can do even more faders. Faders for days, baby. Go to Liberty City. He looks menacing. You reached a small town easily, where a merchant gestured at you cordially. I have a very important package that needs to be delivered to Liberty City by tomorrow morning. Look after my pottery well and help yourself with the rest. If they are broken even a little, I will make you pay for it. Receive the task. The wagon laden with precious pottery rattled along the road, the sun almost reaching its zenith. 
You notice a strange shadow blocking your way. A small, green-skinned, savage creature has spoken a shrill voice. Leave this place, when we won't harm you. Of course, you have to leave the wagon behind. With a hint of mockery, you <laughs> drew your weapon. Okay. Goblins. Goblins! That's a big goblin right there. You can tell by how big he is. Yuck. The leader of the midgets. Oh, there's two thick goblins. Uh-oh. Wop, wop, wop. I feel like my holy life doesn't do as much damage for how much I've leveled that ability up. But, that's okay. It does heal me, allegedly. So, that's probably why it doesn't do that much damage. Unleash potion, extra skill shot, and skill cooldown. Oh, that seems good. Then I'll shoot two of my holy light thingies. Wow. You drove away the goblins! The road to the City of Freedom was clear from then on. You continued your journey, reaching the city before dusk. After delivering the goods to the buyer, you decided to head to the nearest tavern. After all, you had shiny gold coins to spend. I say. Boots! Nice. I love moving speed. <laughs> I love moving speed. Moving speed's the best speed. Skill projectile speed, skill attack range. I'll take the defense. I'm sure I'm gonna need that eventually. How much money do I have? Perfect. I'm gonna get my life thing as per usual and now open fader. I haven't really had to explore this world at all. all at all. Reading uh, words are hard now too. Jesus. Help. <laughs> Help. God. Tavern Melee. Finally, you arrived at the Liberty City. The streets were clean and spacious, and the city's citizens were dressed in bright and courteous attire. You decided to find a place to eat first. After a few seconds, your eyes fell on a tavern called Girl and Mug. Have a big meal. As you were about to enjoy your delicious meal, another guest at a nearby table caught your attention. Seven, several drunken builders surrounded a young girl making lewd jokes and laughing rudely. It was simply outrageous. Grab something and throw it. Without hesitation, you threw a large mug at one of the drunkards, but your aim was too poor and you missed. The mug landed at the drunkard's feet, but it successfully caught his attention. This was clearly a provocative act. The builders picked up their hammers and staggered towards you. Hmm, this guy's kind of tanky. I can't even see how much health he has. Now he's dead now. The punishment for heckling is death! Girl Mage. Oh, I could invite her to join the team. Teaching a few drunkards a lesson was not difficult for you. Wait, are you not supposed to be killing a mage? Thank you for helping me out. I really didn't know how to deal with these drunkards. The girl expressed her gratitude to you. I am a mage on my way to practice. I'd like to join the team. The girl smiled and stood up, saying, You invite me to join it. You on an adventure? What a lovely proposal, but I'm still very weak. I hope you don't mind. My name is Lily. Please take good care of me. Lily the mage can now be recruited as a companion in the tavern. Okay, so. A brawl caused a bigger commotion. A bunch of drunken adventurers joined the fray. Alright, sir. Alright, Lily, what are you doing? Duck or something. Oh, there's 50 drunks now. That's a lot of drunks. That one's got a door or something. Took up a stool. Oh, look at that guy's hat. He's uh, Spartacus, I guess. Or uh, Maximus. The Gladiator. Whichever one that was. That's Maximus, right? Probably. Dang, these things don't die very fast for how many of them are there are. The table offers protection. So you start shooting those dang arrows at me. Whoops. 
Stop hurting my mage lady. Oh, she gonna die, bro. She's weak. God bless America, that archer dude. Okay, I'm killing the archer dude. He's pissing me off for real. Too bad my healing spell doesn't seem to heal her because she is the one that's getting hit by everything, it seems like. I'll catch the blows. I can heal myself at least. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die anyways. Jesus Christ, dude. She's so squished. Get out of here. You're getting me killed. Oh my gosh, she sucks. She's trash, actually. God bless. You rubbed your boots on that poor sap. They continue eating your meal. Oh, she's dead, so... That was pointless. Oh well, we tried. God bless, bro. Yeah, I'd bring her back to life or something, or she just screwed? Oh yeah, I can bring her back. All right, sec. Doesn't matter then. Can I put that on her? Can I give her stuff? Because she is weak as hell. Fireball, meteor shower. Brother Chicken. Uh, okay. This mission <laughs> gonna last forever, actually. Wandering Merchant. Did I talk to him already? Or is this a different one? On the road, you meet a dwarf merchant trade. Everything guaranteed to satisfy. The merchant laughed and put down his pack, taking out a few pieces of equipment. Okay. Uh, I'm poor, actually, so... Bandits. Oh, same one. Okay. Where you at? A group of lazy and useless people who think they can get rich by robbing others. You use your fist to make them understand the hard truth of self-reliance is the only way to get rich. After begging for mercy and offering all their possessions, you... Ban the idea of handing them over to the cards. That was different, I think. First part seemed the same. Hmm, that just had nothing in it. Caravan cart, wandering merchant. Let's do the caravan count. You enter a merchant caravan. This is the merchant caravan. Something seems off! This is a trap! This is a merchant caravan disguised by thieves! There's the leader. That was easy. I'm overpowered. You subdued all the robber in a large tent. You found the kidnapped merchant. After being rescued, the merchant thanked you and gave you a reward. Um, I guess I'll take this one. Yay, treasure. This one, obviously. More shots, the better. 
that was awesome. That quest gave me all the stuff, actually. I'm rich. Get all gems and gold on the map instantly. That seems really nice. Why do I need pickup range if I have that? Like, for real. I don't know. Open fader. Let's do one we haven't done before. Oh, hell. A ragged old man suddenly blocked your way. The old man was wa wearing rags and a pierce piece of gauze on his head, looking poor, very poor and pitiful. Sir, please give alms to the poor ma old man. I'm sure he's just going to scam me, but here. The old man looked at you in amazement, his eyes filled with joy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Your generosity will not be forgotten by this old man. He pulled out a small package containing some precious treasures and said, This is a small token of my appreciation. Please accept it. Thanks, dude. Uh, I guess he didn't scam me. Nice. Thanks, man. What a homie. What a good guy. Oh, uh, is that Winds of Fate just a one time use thing? I guess so. That makes sense. It'd be too OP if it wasn't. Elder the Second. Oh, young man, just... Oh, wait, he had quotation marks. Just as you were about to cross the river, river, an old wizard with a tattered hat and gray robes stopped you at the bridge and said, For the sake of the gods, could you help an old man out? Yeah, I guess I can. I knew you were a kind-hearted person, the old man smiled. My cane accidentally fell into the river, and the riverbed is too slippery for an old man like me to retrieve it. Can you help me get it back? Yeah. You successfully retrieved the cane. Return to the old man. Ah, oh, you're such a good person. The old man expresses gratitude to you. You see, one of my shoes accidentally just fell under the bridge. Can you help me get it back? Yeah, I guess so. Although you felt like you were being played, you decided to help be a good person in the end. You accidentally slipped on the bank and fell hard. During the pain, you retrieved the old man's shoe. Alright, man. The old man didn't take the shoe, but instead he rudely extended his foot and said, Here, help put in me put it on. Yeah, okay. You were about to explode, but then you thought that you, since you already retrieved the shoe, there was no need to be too upset. You suppressed your displeasure and respectfully helped the old man put on his shoe. <laughs> the old man br suddenly burst into laughter. Indeed, young and promising, the young can teach the old. As he spoke, and strong light emanated from the old man's body. My name is Alvin, we'll meet again. The old man's words echoed in your ears. After the strong light disappeared, the old man had disappeared without a trace. In his original position, a beautifully carved treasure chest appeared, surprised. Was this old man a great sage? Or an incarnation of some deity? Despite having a head full of questions, you decided to continue on your journey. Maybe you'll have the chance to meet this mysterious old man again in the future. Scholar Alvin can now be recruited as a companion at the tavern. Okay, so... It was worth it. I regret nothing. This game is one of the few games where being a good person actually pays out and you don't get super screwed by it all the time. Which is nice. That's kind of rare nowadays, honestly. Holy warrior, you continued on your way with the Liberty City and you daydreamed, uh, I don't have enough of that, about various adventures and exploits. A holy warrior blocked your path. Commoner, passage is prohibited now. Attack. I don't have enough magic to deal with you. Why are there always unreasonable people? The holy warrior side, it seems that they won't learn without low pain. I got you, sure. Watch him be OP as hell. Aladine! Oh, that hurt. Or her, anyways. Didn't really hurt me, but... Seems like you're the hard-headed one, actually. Yeah, there you go. You are indeed very strong. I admit your strength. Go ahead, may Barloa be with you. The holy warrior bow to you and let you pass. That's what I thought. Heathen. Defeat the blocking holy knight. Mm. 
messed with the wrong man, heathen. And not to be trifled with. You see all these things going on? It's awesome. Chicken is OP. He has so many basketballs, bro. Basketball king, one might say. Wow, he's still got nine minutes left, bro. This is insane. This is insane. Am I even doing the right thing? Should I be opening all these faders? I guess if we get all the faders, we'll probably get most of the achievements. Caravan. Oh, we haven't done this one. A treasure chest in a dungeon. You discovered a chest at the end of the room, but it's obvious that there's something strange about this room. Pro treasure chest. Oh no, you triggered a mechanism. Charge forward. Oh no, Ron is collapsing. A computer <laughs> suddenly shouted. Immedi everyone immediately ran towards the exit, and the dungeon began to shake violently with de deadly poison seeping out of the walls and during intense nausea you finally managed to escape the dungeon with a loud bang the entire dungeon was buried under a rope man all i've been doing is leveling my luck and i still don't have enough to get that stuff that's crazy and i'm hurt look at my health ah you hurt me you heathens how dare you there's a box over here i don't want it okay ah another holy person yay holy lady Hey, holy lady. Plague of insects. As you walk through a field of flowers, you step on something and hear a crisp sound. A sticky liquid spreads out on the sole of your shoe and you can smell a faint fishy old odor. Suddenly, the previously calm field of flowers buzzes and countless small black bugs fly out and quickly gather into black clusters in the air, rushing towards you. Oh, it's bees! The bees! Or flies. Those kind of look like flies to me, but I don't think I know. The battle between humans and insects ended in victory for the humans, but you are left covered in the bodies and slime of the bugs. Now all you want to do is leave this cursed place and find an end to take a hot bath. Oh hell. I ain't got enough magic for that. A half elf girl wearing a tattered dress that holds a bottle of red liquid in her head and keeps shouting to pass her buys. Come see it. Magical unicorn blood. Not only can it make you full of energy, but it can also cure all diseases. Only one bottle left, selling for 2,000 club coins. I'll buy it, I guess. Although you feel quite suspicious, you still can't resist the tears in the little girl's big eyes and buy the bottle of liquid without hesitation. As you are about to inspect the good, the little girl grabs all the gold coins and disappears without a trace. Okay. Well, it's actually kind of nice. Purchase a half elk girl's potion. Eh, it does, it does something. I can actually kill things without having to do the fader. Nice. Uh oh, the boar's charged at me. Rude. Rude! Give up on the chest. I know what happens. Oh, hell no. So the card you succeed on, flip over. The card you don't succeed on, stay flipped face down. That's kind of cool. 
That's nice, because that lets you know what you've done already. Sick. Those big blobs give those trophies too, which is nice, I guess. Okay, so that's not permanent either, it doesn't seem like. I wish it was though. Or is it? I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. Some of it's not permanent because it says for 10 seconds, so I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, I can open another fader. Oh my god, this treasure chest, dude. Go away, please. <laughs> you know I can't do you. Okay, dude. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> what are the chances? It seems like the chances are one in four, but hey, actually. One and two, because I already have the other ones unlocked, so I'm not picking those. 50 50. But dang, boy. A 50 50 wrong, like, <laughs> four times now. Goblin Crisis. You know several gar injured goblins from a distance. Probably the ones who escaped from the guards' pursuit. Attack directly. Oh, poor goblins. Y'all is dead as hell. <laughs> Actually. first battle went quite smoothly. Looking at the goblin corpses on the ground, you felt like you had defeated a dragon. Well, the day of dreaming ends here. There's still a long way to go to Liberty City, so keep moving forward. Nice. Alright, so these are my only choices. I like the caravan cart, actually. Oh, this is an actual caravan cart. Uh, visit, increase gold. I'll take the strength, actually. And might take the skill attack range, too. And the gold, too. You know, I mean, you might as well take it if you can. I do like that the vents aren't RNG, but like collecting those trophies, I think that's really sick, actually. But if I can, I gotta turn up the difficulty next time. It is a little bit too easy on normal. Five minutes left. Hold on! Oh, 
Hold the line! What you got? Uh, should I rob him? Yeah. The merchant took a deep breath, put down his pack, and put his hands on the handle of his axe at his waist. Robbers? Come fine. Come and take it if you dare. He acted calmly. <laughs> Obviously not the first time he's encountered this situation. Alright, bro. He looks like he's going- it's like Gimli, bro. That's what he looks like. Alright, bro. The paladin is tougher than you are. Watching his goods being taken away, the merchant almost welled in despair. You scoundrels, how could you do such a thing? You will surely face retribution. No matter how he cursed and shouted, he could only watch as you took all his gold coins, his face full of anger and hopelessness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Is that evil? Beholding the evil and the good. I just wanted the achievement, honestly, but I didn't really need the gold. Caravan cart. Encounter merchant caravan. Visit. Morning. Morning. I never did find that one guy again. Oh, it's the Goblin King. What's up, dude? Oh, he tanky as hell, actually. Huh. So if it doesn't have a level associated with it, I think it's just like a certain amount of time that it works. So. I kind of wasted some points taking that potion so many times. I didn't quite understand what was going on, obviously. Oh, this Goblin King doesn't seem to do much. Except for that, that mm, I guess not. Because I'm sure these are not just one time. Well, I might not have a level on these yet, so that might be why. You don't get many gold coins for these things, considering how much I've leveled up my luck. Maybe the warrior just has naturally low luck, I guess. I don't know. I know this dude ain't dying, though. Tanky as hell. Maybe the poison will do something to him, I guess. I don't know how that works, actually. Cause this says I have a level up, and I'm pretty sure I've taken that multiple times as well. Probably. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I should kill him before the timer runs out. I'm trying, bro. He just ain't going down, it feels like. He just ain't going down. Die, Goblin King. Jesus, dude. Oh, we got him. Sick. Victory. Huzzah. Did he even drop anything good? It didn't. It don't look like it. Absorption, increases experience pickup range. Oh, penetrate would be good for my holy shot thing. This caravan's got some good stuff in it, though. If I got too close to something and to kill me, oh, that'd be miserable. That'd be so sad, actually. See, this doesn't get like a level number, but it should. I feel like I don't know, maybe because it's a stat gain only thing, but I don't. Know. I don't know. Pick one man inside my arm, I don't like that. I did get more of these flame slash abilities, it doesn't feel like. Because I said if I got six of them, I'd get like a heritage skill, but I never got more than one, I don't think. But I'm poor. Well, I'm just trying to use the faders in case something does randomly show up, but I think all I can do now is the merchant caravan. Because I felt that treasure chest one so many times, I don't think it's going to pop up again. First run was a win, but like I said, it's on normal mode, so it's kind of super easy. Victory! Yay! Unlock Flaming Strike. Uh, adventure begins normal, survive 14 minutes. Survive for 10 minutes with any character. Survive 5 minutes with any character. What did mo Sweep did most damage? Oh, no. Death Wrap did most. No. Flame Streak Legend did most damage. When did that level up? The Legend. I don't know. But it did the most. How much did Holy Light? Holy Light did no damage for how much I leveled it up. I think I maxed it actually. Power up. Okay, so I got these crystals I can use. I'd like to get the luck thing boosted. In one second, I'm thirsty. Alright, let's see what we can invest in, boys. Dark resist- Oh, so everything starts at one. There's not like one super expensive skill to buy. That's kinda neat, I guess. Holy damage, thunder damage, luck. That's what I want. I couldn't finish that stupid quest because I didn't have enough luck for it. So that, is that a plus on experience or the range of my experience gain? Probably the range of experience gain, I would assume. Probably. 
There's experience acquisition, that's what I want. It's pretty much whoever you're playing. You could the more XP and money you gain, it's always useful, it feels like to me. Alright, let's see what we want to do now. Start game! Play my blade! These voice actors are great. I want a fireball combo. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. All right. That's cute. The voice actor. That's cute. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Is that TTS? Maybe. Dragon Slayer sends a ball of lightning, summon golem. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, I guess we'll play the uh, the scholar this time, I guess. Ominous sign. I want this on hard, actually. How do you change the difficulty? Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. That's gotta be TTS. Oh, okay, you gotta beat it before you can change the difficulty. Uh, let's do this one on hard real quick. Clear adventure begins at hard to get. Okay. Then I can get the moon cat with some... What is, language is that? Is that J Japanese or Chinese? It's, it's one of them. So oh God. I guess we'll start with Brother Chicken. It's me, the wizard. Mon yeah, I'm on hard mode. I just want to see what the difference is between normal and hard real quick. Oh, I don't have what, what? Do something, man. Oh, my golem's the only thing that hits. I don't have an attack. Okay, sick. <laughs> okay. Magic missile. Weight spin. Enlightenment. Exclusive increases the skill of the characters. I gotta get some kind of actual spell that I can hit with, cause that rock guy ain't the flavor. It is a cute game though, I like it so far. It does have a lot of reading in it, but that's okay. It's like a mixture of a visual novel, like I said in uh, this, whatever this is, uh, roguelite survivors type game. Use the spin! Thank you. say this guy's a lot harder than the warrior was but it, I mean I am on hard mode too maybe that's got something to do with it I don't know does that give me two golems That's a special, that's one of his actual abilities, the Dragon Slayer or whatever. Not a general ability. Oh, Frost Jet's nice though, that hits like a lot, actually. I like that. Get the Fate of him. I will try to, give me a second, I'm trying to pick up my treasure. Uh, did I not hit Zeke? I thought I thought I hit, oh, I leveled up, okay. I was like, I am very confused. Tavern, we've done that one. Let's see this one. Altar of the Gods, you see an altar head. Would you like to go and pay your specs? Yeah, sure. Aceleus Altar. This is an Aceleus Altar, whatever that means. Read the inscription on the altar, I'm guessing. The Black Moon Queen, the Mistress of Desire, the Creator of the Undead. Good and evil are relative. Evil is just the justice that few people believe in. 
Lives are the most beautiful art in this world, as long as it benefits oneself. Even death should be fully utilized. Okay. Desecrate. You desecrated the deity of Asrath. You lose darkness, you gain light. Take that. Cool. Pity the fool. Plague of insects, I've done this one before. Slow AF boy, get away from me! <laughs> Chase an old man down, boys. I probably won't read things I've already read before. Just a heads up. Nice, that'll be awful. And I got a cool hat. Kill these guys and then open the fader. Fader. Oh my god, those bats just murdered me, bro. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> well, my bad. I didn't see that coming. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Like a sage. Let's try that one again, actually. Dang, boy. My bad. I didn't think they were gonna do that to me, to be honest with you. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Read thousands of books like a sage. Ice spike, flame jet. Let's do ice spike, I guess. And frost. Nah, meteor shower. I haven't done that one before. Holy light's good. Yeah, I'll take holy light. Oh, I'm poor. Next time. Oh, it's a Fetstanelophiel altar. The Lord of Chaos, the Master of the Red Moon, the God of Despot, Debauchery and Disorder. Disorder and Chaos are the wings of power. Only the weak seek order and compromise, and stagnation leads to rigidity. Mm, desecrate. Alright, no fire, more ice. More Landia. What's my luck stat? Where's that? Luck. Am I blind? There it is. Okay, 27. Still not good enough to rob that place yet. That's a good... Well, I did take Meteor, didn't I? That's a fire spell, but... Let's we'll stop taking fire spells. Because I pissed off whatever his name was. Festalafiol or whatever. Need another magic missile. Magic missile me, bro. My golem really do be slacking. Mr. Golem, take him out. There we go. We got him. We got him, boys. Oh. 
Oh, we're getting robbed. Robbers and bandits and stuff, oh my. No fireball. Uh, big dragon slayer, I guess. Get away from me, ah! <laughs> Naughty. Seems like the quests are the same though, even though it's on hard mode. Oh, hey, all my health! Alright, run in a straight line. They're too fast. Too fast, too furious. You to back, Satan! Or two. I'll take this one because they keep hurting me. Oh, we're starting to get some damage at least. We just gotta watch out for the flying bats of doom, bro. <laughs> My god, they murdered the hell out of me. That was awful. Oh, there they are. Run! Everybody run! I did not see that coming with how easy they died in the other one. On the night. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Right, I need to do these faders. I know I keep getting trophies and stuff, but... Just want the treasure. Right. Like the van sacks. Oh my god. Spikes are nice. Kind of like the cobweb, but with not as much range. AoE, I mean, probably as much range, just not as much AoE. Tavern melee? I've already done this one, bro. Oh. I go and get the same chick again. I mean, it's, she's okay. She just dies real easy. Oh wait, I got 500 people. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of people. Ow, got me in the face. Oh, they'll die eventually, I'm sure. You just gotta believe. They are so tanky, bro. Killed three of them. <laughs> Lord. Take that one. Oh, maybe the Ant one doesn't have like a level on it because you can do it forever and the ones with levels have like a level max probably I would assume maybe maybe that's the difference ow you hurt me Four. don't do it Almost faster than me. I think I'm a little bit faster, but not by much. Being a wizard is hard. <laughs> this is the longest fight, bro. For real.
Oh, he got me. Need some heals or something. I know I'm trying to heal myself with the holy light, but it barely heals anything, it feels like. Uh. Well, I know it's hard mode, but Jesus, dude. <laughs> it's crazy how tangy they are. Crazy. Why are you being so crazy? Oh, oh ow. I might die here. You're looking that way, for sure. Well, they're getting me off, oh, fudge. Ah. Can I get my health back if I level up? Because I need that. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah. Heal me! Did I get heal? No, hell no, they didn't heal me. Oh. Oh, that's tragic. Now I'm some of my health back, I guess. I could probably take one more hit now. Now I could've. Oh, Jesus, I got stuck on the bench. Now they're stuck on the bench. Payback. Retribution. No mercy. I might have to level up some more before I do hard mode again because this is miserable. Huh. Ow, dude. What the fudge? Don't kill me. I'm almost there. I feel like. This is so stressed, bro. Uh. Six more. Six more. Yeah, this quest was not worth it at all. Am I gonna have to kill a thousand of them after that chick joins me if she does join me? Go away, dude. Go away. I'm glad he didn't attack me though, because he was all up in my butt. Yes, we did it! You rubbed your butt boots on the poor sap, and then continue eating your meal. Okay, sick. That was miserable, actually. Give me one second. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one too. I guess it was worth it. I did get a lot of money. And money is half the battle. Was there about to be a chunky blob that spawned on that area? Or is that just a glitch from switching spots? tavern melee. In a lush forest, you stumble upon a dilapidated and abandoned carriage. Search the carriage. Perhaps there was something valuable left behind. With this in mind, you begin to search. But as you open the door, a pair of huge pincers snap, suddenly snap towards you. Quickly hide. I'm screwed. 
Although you no narrowly avoided a blow, the sharp pincers left a deep gash on your hand. Several huge beetles crawled out of the carriage. It was obvious that this had become their territory. They were very angry with the intruder and raised their pincers as you attack. That is a huge beetle, actually. It is a walking beetle, and it is kind of weird. Well, I can't do nothing about those ice things. I can't even get past them and don't look like. I'll teach you. After clearing out the beetle's nest, she found a treasure chest in the carriage. It seemed like it was all worth it. Yay. As long as it seems that way, that's all that matters, I guess. Goblin Crisis. Attack. I'll say those ice blocks do a good damage of helping me CC these enemies. Crowd control, baby! Yeah! Alright, first battle went smoothly, blase blah, we did it. Yay, dodge. Let's get out of dodge. Seems like the 3,000 gold buy is like the end of the upgrade tree for the level spell, typically. Seems like. Maybe. Bargain. Hey, dear sir or madam, I'll sell it for 1,500 gold coins. This price cannot be any <laughs> Okay. Thanks. I like it anyways. It's a good item. Yes. Not as good as she hyped it up to be, but it's okay. Wealthy merchant ready to you this very important shipment. Must see, yeah, I'll accept it. What? Check my pottery, I will make sure you regret it. The heavy Okay. Fine. What? Oh, okay, I'm slow. Sick. Escort goods too. Finally, you safely delivered the cargo after before dusk. After handing over the goods to the buyer, you had shiny gold coins to spend again. I like shiny gold coins. Not that many though, apparently. Scam. Alright. Yay, thunder damage. Ice shields for everybody. And lightning for everybody. Yay. Unlimited power. We're finally becoming a little bit more powerful because God bless, this guy was a struggle at the start. Open the fader. Oh my god. Leave. 
So have we done pretty much all the faders for the easy level? It seems like it. That I can do anyways, because I don't have enough luck to do that one thing, obviously. Now I can max out my Dragon Slayer, though. That's exciting. Dragon, dragon, pump the dragon, dragon balls in. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know, the guitar riff is pretty sick though, however it goes. <laughs> Those spike things were kind of tripping me out because I thought they were going to hurt me, but then I walked over them and they didn't hurt me, so I'm confused. A little bit. Okay, screw this. I'm not taking that one anymore. Uh, Wandering Merchant. Is he going to still be pissed at me? Okay, no. Oh my god, I'm poor. I thought I had money. What happened to my money? Huh. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I'm trying to get to those chests, but they're blocking me off from me, bro. Get away from me, Satan. Get away from that treasure chest, god darn you! God darn. the ability to cast more spells because I'm not casting enough spells to keep everything dead. I want everything to be dead. Nice. I don't have enough money, bro. Bats. Well, at least I can kill them now without them murdering me, so that's good. Bad. I think by the time I can get there, I won't be able to do anything. Go to the caravan cart. At least I get a lot of treasure for killing the bandit leader. I should have done this a little bit earlier, actually. Yeah, that stun's pretty strong on the dragon lightning thing. Dragon Slayer. We did it. I'm poor. I need that, but I'm poor. I wish I could have picked the stuff up before I did it. What is this? This looks cool. Whatever it is. Holy Fire releases Holy Light Strike, deals 200 damage, and restores 6% of the damage value. Six bonus damage. When Holy Light hits enemies, it would ignite. That's cool. Holy Light advanced. 
that the Vance? Oh, wait a second. How do I get to my bag? Don't tell me. Oh, that's the Vance version of that one thing I had. Okay, that's cool. Sick. So if you max something, you can get the Vance version if you're lucky, I guess. Mm. Oh, hell, that keeps going. I'm poor, bro. Cool. What did I just do? Whoops. Yeah, somebody threw a spear at me, bro. Did you see that? Oh, there's the holy light thing. Cool. That's really cool, actually. No. I wonder how much damage it does. We'll be able to see at the end of the battle. Seems like the advanced skills are pretty balling, so I have hope. We're killing things super fast now, at least. Six minutes left. Hold on. Get back. I want the treasure. The treasure shall be mine. Mine. Yes. Yes, treasure. This is a fun game. It's very satisfying to watch, in my opinion. Satisfying for me to watch. I don't know if it's satisfying for people watching my video to watch, but I think it's aesthetically pleasing to see all the skills and the explosions. It's kind of nice. Uh, did I even try, bro? I know I haven't killed as many things as I did on my Holy Warrior yet, though, because I killed, like, what, 9,000, 10,000 things on him? I only killed, like, 3,000 on this guy. Hard. Kind of easier when you can just walk at things and they die, versus having to not do that. I don't have, like, a constant damage source. So this just increases attack range, right? I was kind of hoping to increase my intelligence, but I don't think it does. Ah, whatever. I'll level it up anyways. I think my attack range is, like, super far anyways, though, so I'm kind of confused how that's helping me. Probably not helping me, and I'm dumb, but it'd be like that. I'm having a hard time killing these slimes, that's for sure. I want to be able to loot that treasure, but I know I can't. And I've failed at it so many times already. Alright, just the thick boys. And I kill him, that's a good question. It seems like we're doing pretty good damage to him, actually. I'd be doing better damage with this guy than I was with the other guy. Where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, there he is. Did he teleport? Like, <laughs> how'd he get over there? Took that gold acquisition thing, it's still hard to tell how much I'm not picking up a lot of gold, I don't feel like. Like okay gold, but not rich gold. Rich people gold. What's the difference between the water merchant and the caravan cart, I wonder? 
I mean, I could rob this guy, obviously, but... Feels like they have the same type of items. I don't even know if I have anything that penetration would work on. I should've took this, actually. Oh well. Next time. Hmm. Uh-oh. It's not like I'm not killing things, it's just that I'm not killing the things that I needed to kill, honestly. I'm killing a lot of things, just not the things I wanted to kill that are like super close to me. Granted, I do have all that skill range, but dang, man. Prioritize the things in the front, please! Pushed around it like crazy. Help me, Rock Man. I get the choice, I'm definitely gonna do the pickup skill again because I'm so having a hard time getting around to pick up things. so I can kill things a little bit faster, I guess. Maybe kill this boss finally. He seems kind of stuck with all the eyes. Yay, we did it. Victory. Huzzah. I like how you get the victory music after you beat the boss, that's really cool. Actually, I, I enjoy that. The simple man. Little things impress me. That's what she said. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm gonna watch too much of The Office. God, darn. I have the worst habit of getting things stuck in my head when I've heard them enough. Kills are almost caught up with our guy. Our other guy. How much money do I have? 3,000. I'm gonna go to the tavern. Recruit companion. The tavern was filled with laughter and music, and the air was thick with the smell of ale and roasted meat. It was a good place where people come to seek out new companions. Oh, okay. Uh. Well, I'm gonna take her, obviously. Okay, so that's how that works. I was gonna get a chance with the cat since it was on hard mode, but maybe if you take a companion with you, you can't get a new one. I don't know how that works. Oh, we're about done here. Ah. Approach the treasure chest. Escape quickly. Yeah. I almost had the ability to escape though. One point off. Yay. Oh, we did get the moon cat. Okay, sick. Alright, who did the most damage? Holy fuck. Oh, Ice Spike did by far. Jesus. That makes sense, actually. 
There's a first ability on Max, so give me one sec. Thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Like a sage. How about a fireball combo? Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll see my blade. You'll see my blade is what he's saying, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's an extreme mode now. Patronus, Mooncat. Many a strange tale has come to the ears of the whole city of orcs in great numbers that laid waste to a farmstead of black robed men that made sacrifice to a fell power in the wilderness or fall fair maidens that were, uh, of far, excuse me of fair maidens that were taken from their homes and never seen again and the hearts of the people are troubled the hearts of the people are troubled and whispers of dread are heard in the streets for there is a shadow growing in the land and a hidden plot of malice you feel a call to adventure in your bones mooncat what i need for meow night Oh, I gotta do the other one on extra. That's okay. We'll take him for now. Grom. What is, how do you get Grom? Complete event dark ritual. Yay. Stick to 22 minutes. Come on. Oh, he sends a star out. That's cool. He's a banana. Not, oh, he is a moon. I, I, he's kind of a banana. I think he's more a banana than a moon. Yeah, his ability is a lot better than the basketball duck or whatever it was. I think. At least she starts with Fireball and not Summon Golem. Summon Golem's okay, I guess. Magic Missile. I think I'm gonna take this one, actually. And then... Meteor! And then... Flame Jet! All the fire spells. We're going fire this time. Might take Magical Knowledge instead, actually, but then... Get it later, maybe. Gods, visit the altar. Which one are you again? You're evil, right? Uh, the dead. Oh yeah, I'm actually using her. So pray. Yay. Who needs healing? Holy light. When you can have. Demons! Oh. I have to give up search already. I know it's. Well, I get stuff for doing it, so I might as well. Oh, wait, I got lucky? Oh, nice. Thank you, game. Bats, bro. Those bats are murderous. Is that the mission? Oh, 
so cast two fireballs or why would I take this again? I guess this one is special. I guess there's rare versions of spells too that you can get. That's cool, I guess. Flame Jet has a low cooldown, that's nice. Yay. Did I pick the new area? Because it seems like this is the same as the other area, honestly. Used. It just seems like the normal version of the other area. Probably. Oh, that was a waste. Hell on. No, it's gotta be different because there's more time on it. Yeah, there you go. That was that proves it. I was about to say. I was, hard. I was actually thinking about like quitting and checking because I was like, bro, am I doing the same thing again? Ah, uh, no. You won't be fooled. What, unicorn blood? Won't fool me again. I actually don't mind that item, but probably would have actually helped since I'm not taking holy spells this time, but it's okay. Oh my god, leave me alone, little girl. Jesus. Barbet in a rundown tavern, you boast about your adventure stories to a group of drunks. Continue. Hey, stop bragging. How about we play a game? A few farmers took out their pocket poker cards and invited you to play a game. I'm gonna lose, bro. Oh, I ain't got the luck. I already know I don't. Such a coward. Talk big, but I was like, well, get off me. <laughs> get off me. The game of my luck stats sucks, even though I've been leveling the heck out of it. At least we did get a different uh, thing though, so that's nice, I guess. Oh, he got kind of excited, didn't he? He started hopping with fear, <laughs> with passion. Hoppy boy. It doesn't seem like gold disappears, luckily, so that's good. Busy market, what is this? The market in the Liberty City was filled with a festive atmosphere. Both sides of the street were lined with fairy stalls, and merchants enthusiastically shouted and tried to sell their goods. Street performers displayed their magical skills, attracting some uh, crowds of onlookers. Wander around. Originally, you were just trying your luck for entertainment, but you got deeper and deeper into it until you bet your last coin and even planned to bet your weapon. The dice table was kicked over with a foot. This is a scam. But look, they're cheating. A ranger-dressed girl pointed at the overturned table and shouted, 
you snapped out of it and saw a sophisticated little mechanism under the table. And I didn't know it was a girl. That uh, under the table that could control the dice on the table. Darn busybody, you won't leave here safely today. The girl's actions clearly angered the game members and the onlookers scattered. Okay. I got a new person, yay! I wonder if she has high luck skill. After the gangsters were all knocked down, you and Aria, oh, I didn't know her name was Aria, Aria, quickly left the scene before the guards arrived and caused more trouble. I didn't expect you to be so skilled. My name is Aria, Ranger. The elf said, extending her hand. If you don't mind, let's team up. My archery skills are among, also among the best in the tribe. On a long journey, having an extra companion means more care. Elf Ranger Aelia can now be recruited as a companion in the tavern. Okay, sick. Welcome to the team. Defeat the gangsters in the market. They're poisoned in the water hole. Increase the whatever that is for the characters. does disappear because I definitely didn't pick up all my money. That sucks. Maybe when you leave for a fader the money disappears? I'm not sure. Either way. Suck. Money gone. There was so much money I didn't have time to pick up. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. My soul. Face with the fire jet. God bless. Hitting everything but him. If anything needs a blast of the face, it's the katana wielding slime thing. Slime lord. Oh my god, there's whatever those are. Pissed off slimes, too. That thing won't die. The thing with the katana, it is not there. It goes finally. Jesus. It's like that boy is not dying at all. That's all! I can do the busy market. Let's do something now. Uh. Let's go to a busy market and eat instead. You enjoyed a delicious meal. Ah, oh, useless. Uh, and the myths. Oh, I'm not strong enough. <laughs> the sweaty, chubby man in the light blue loin cloth shouted, I, Lucas from Skywing City, the legendary swordman, who dares to challenge my strength? Hey, you, I'm talking to you. Bet your wealth and let's have a strength contest. If you win, you could take double the money. Now, I am poor. Actually. And weak. Abandoned altar. Translate that I'm not strong enough to do any of this. As you enter the ancient altar, you find a, it covered with a thick, very uh, 
thick layer of dust and filled with a mysterious atmosphere. On the altar is a huge stone with the very ancient writing on it. Translate it. You successfully deciphered the writing on the stone, which tells the story of a king who, in his ambition, restored to resorted to using the power of a demon, only to be consumed by it in the end. The great mage Eleanor sealed the demon here. The last line of the inscription reads: "Leave the altar calmly." Well, at least I didn't summon the demon, but I would have liked to kill it, probably. Oh, well. That probably would have gave me that one guy. That's in the, the compatriot guy. Or whatever they're called. Hmm. I'm hard, I always have a hard time killing these slimes. So tanky, bro. I would say get all the stuff instantly, but I like the luck thing. Because maybe one day I'll get enough luck to win an event. I like now that I'm playing the wizard chick, I get all the strength stat checks. One day I'll have enough uh, out of game power ups so I can just win everything. Hopefully. I get windfall because I've killed a lot of things. It feels like I want to get all that stuff. Ah, uh, hell. Uh, still wait until we get windfall. I want my loot. There's loot everywhere. like that game. Okay. Kill this thing and now I'm gonna do the fader. Even though I'm too weak to do half of them on this area. Angelic Institute. Angel Academy was founded by Felony AUOGN as a school to teach all types of knowledge, arts, basics, art basics, specialized skills, item creation skills, and esoteric, esoteric magic skill theories to all magic learners and scholars in Andor. Still a great library. The most crowded Omers is the only house in the academy that doesn't have a principal and regular teachers. It is not actually a formal academy, but the core library of the entire Angel Academy. Okay. Oh, one second. The Great Library has a collection of valuable books from all over the world, so contributors of all kinds of books were more than welcome. Many adventurers who found uh, some precious books in the collection would bring them to the Great Library in exchange for a magical blessing or even in exchange for a new skill. I'm gonna take elemental magic, even though I do want to take the precious orphan books. If you find elemental related magic books in your travel, hand them over to me and I will teach you the knowledge of elementalism. Where's the fire? Fire doesn't count as I guess that's the orphan one. The most crowded omers is no the only house in the academy that doesn't have a principal. What's this? Precious orphan books. Find some specialty books during your journey, give them to me. I don't have any books, bro. Okay. I don't have any books like that, I don't think. Go to other areas. I'm very sorry, today is not open today, except for the Great Library. All other areas of the Academy are off limits to outsiders. Leave so Angel Academy. Okay, well, I ain't got none of those books, so. Whatever. I 
figured it'd be like to get the skills to a certain level, not actually find books. But apparently, we gotta find books. Actual books. That's little mini groups. Look at that. strength, but maybe it'll help me on one of these daters. Goblin Crisis 2. Okay. You can't remember how many slimes you've smashed today. You thought you would spend the day without any waves, but suddenly there was a fierce fight in a deserted farm not far away. A holy warrior was surrounded by a large group of goblins and seemed to be in a bitter battle. Your hero complex kicked in and he needs your help. Okay, that's your fam. Oh, 200 of them, huh? That's a lot. One of them shooting magic at me. Rude. Very rude. Oh, you are killing the hell out of these things, though. Yay, killing things. Woo! Fire mage. Chaos. Yeah! That looks cool. I've never seen that ability before. I will take this one. Keeps trying to give me the ranger stuff. No, that's not a bad one, though. Did I really take frost shot at some point? I guess I did. Thank you for your help earlier. It was very dangerous. The holy warrior bowed deeply to you. My name is Leo, a holy warrior. I was investigating the disappearance of st livestock in this area, but was ambushed by a group of goblins. If it weren't for your timely rescue, I might have returned to the holy temple as a soul. He continued, meeting you must be guidance of the holy gods. I am currently undergoing training as a holy warrior and hope to join your team. Welcome to the team, God. Now I have two people on my team. Sick. Squad. I probably killed your cousin, bro. Some pouting guy that wouldn't let me cross the bridge for some reason. The sacred field. Uh, uh, seems good. Actually, for my person, because I do use elemental spells. That's pretty dope. Man, she kills things like crazy, bro. You're a monster. any of those books. I wouldn't know if I did. Eventually I might figure it out. In a remote cave, you found a skeleton from the clothing and relics of the skeleton he was an adventure in his lifetime. After a fierce battle, he finally fell here due to exhaustion. Ah, uh, bury him. You buried the adventure remains. Thank you. A loud voice sounded in your ear. When you turned around, you found a delicate chest in the corner of the cave. Oh, nice. Thanks, guys. No problem. Would do again. Skeleton Barrier Alpha, that's what they call me. Maybe. What you got? I can't cross the drawbridge, bro. Look for other paths. The canyon blocked your way, and the canyon below was covered in fog, making it impossible to know its depths. A broken suspension bridge spanned the brick canyon on both sides. The cold wind blew, and the wooden planks on the bridge made creaking sounds, as if warning you of the danger. 
You decided to take a detour and waste a lot of time, but finally found a suspension bridge across the canyon that was obviously safer, and you successfully passed through the canyon. I wonder what stat that is. What is that? That red... Uh, I don't know what it is, man. Doesn't even have it here that I know of. Curse? It's a, oh, it's curse. What does it do? Will it tell me? Well, at least it has, like, the words, um, the names of the things, even though it doesn't really tell you what they do too much. Except for the obvious ones. Obviously, I don't need to know what uh, firepower does, because it obviously does firepower. But curse, I don't know what that means, honestly. Maybe if you get so much curse, you get an achievement. Windfall things, wind sweeps, or whatever. What's that noise? Bandits? Oh, hell. Y'all done goofed. Have you seen my party, bro? We are stacked. Got a paladin, wizard, ranger. We're pretty much a full party, actually. <laughs> Is that what you used to say in Tekken? Chicken! <laughs> I used to love that, bro. I'm so. Ah, hell. I forgot. It goes away after you go to the fader. Oops. Caravan. Suddenly, you heard a loud scream on the road. Not far away ahead, a caravan was being attacked by goblins. The goblins waved their weapons, roared loudly, and the merchants cowered in fear under the carriage, with only one guard protecting them. Several soldiers and goblin corpses lay around. Is anyone there? Help us! The guard shouted while fighting. I got you, bro. Goblin bears? Okay. Bug bears. Actually. Probably. Look like bug bears to me. The last goblin fell. The merchants were very grateful for your sacrifice and were willing to give you some good re as a reward. Nice. I love goods. Especially that one. That's a really good one for me. Rescue the attack merchant caravan and an achievement. Wow, thanks guys. Heck of worth. Alright, give me one sec. I gotta blow my nose again. My nose is running like crazy. Who's shooting out them blue flames? Is that me? Yes, it's me. Weird. Oh, I can't win. I don't want to. If I was stronger, I could. I could beat him up, but I can't, so it's okay. I'm weak. I know it. Thank you.
Gerçi kül niye sorgulun? Here cold, cold. Yeah, yeah, boy. Ah, what you got? Oh wait, no. Wait, we want to collect our stuff. Give me my money. Windfall. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, Peter. As you were about to enjoy a large mug of oatmeal beer in front of you, a servant-dressed man politely bowed and said, My master wishes to see you. Except, you followed the servant to a luxurious mansion. As you walked through the courtyard, you marveled at the various luxurious decorations of the mansion. But before you knew it, you realized, excuse, realized something was wrong. Several big, big, man, big men had already surrounded you, and the servant who led the way was nowhere to be found. Alright, guys. Big man, where's the big man? Big man about to catch these big hands. Servant gonna catch these hands too if I find them. Just saying. These hands are rated E for everyone. Noble. Ah, oh, he looks like a Castlevania guy. As expected of your reputation, a nobleman dressed in a gorgeous clothes appeared in front of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Herbius Donald. A few months ago, I was attacked by orcs while hunting in the wilderness. Although I managed to escape, a very important ring was lost in the chaos. The nobleman continued, I believe the orcs took the ring, so I want you to retrieve it for me. I will offer a great, generous reward. You gladly accept the nobleman's commission. After all, there was no reason to refuse. I mean, I mean, he did have me attacked by big men. Let's, let's not forget that. Oh heck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. You discovered a mysterious hidden path and your strong curiosity prompted you to explore it. Okay. You walked along the winding path and the road became narrow, narrower and narrower. The <laughs> narrower. The <laughs> sunlight was blocked by dense trees and the atmosphere became a bit chilly. You always felt that there were countless pairs of eyes staring at you from both sides of the jungle, but this was not an illusion. You had already entered the territory of the tree monsters fight. Triad. Oh no. Tons of Groots, baby. Dead Groots. I'm super effective, bro. I am shooting fire. You, t you tree people have picked the wrong person. Can you not kill the little things? Because they don't have health bars. Or maybe they're just... Nah, you could probably kill them. I would assume. They just don't have health bars because they're weaker beings of some sort. You chopped all the tree monsters into pieces and the crisis wasn't resolved. You quickly began to clean up the battlefield. Yay, cleaning up the battlefield is tight. God darn it. <laughs> God darn it. It is what it is. Chicken. Where's that royal guy's quest? Onto mansion in the northern part of the old city. There is an abandoned old mansion that has been making eerie noises at night. Nearby rumors say that the mansion is haunted and several adventurers who like to explore have entered and never returned. It must be the ghost of Old Frost, the former owner of the mansion, causing trouble. E everyone says so, after all. Leaving a haunted mansion in the city is not good for its reputation, but it cannot alarm the noble lords above for such a small matter. So the city hall has entrusted the adventurers' guilt to investigate. Okay, investigate it. I'm weak, bro. The old wooden building, which has been neglected for many years, occupies a large area. The paint on the exterior walls has faded, leaving only mottled trees. Bushes around the yard indicate that no one has set foot for here for a long time. The mansion gate is tightly locked. Investigate the surroundings. The creature hiding in the grass suddenly launches an attack at you. It turns out to be several disgusting black slimes. Uh, 
was easy. After a week of surveillance, an open window was found on the other side of the mansion, and you easily entered the mansion. The interior of the house is already in a mess, with broken furniture and dusty floors. The light shines through the holes in the roof. Obviously, you have invaded the territory of the rats that have lived here for ge several generations. These guys are as big as half a wildcat, are running on the floor and jumping towards you in the air. 300 of them. Oh yeah, they are hoppy boys. Very weak hoppy boys, apparently. Uh... Yay, money. Look, can I break these barrels, you think? No. Barrels are unkillable in this world. In this world. You rampage inside the mansion, and now the rats have nowhere to hide. You are satisfied with your work efficiency. Investigate the first floor. On the first floor, there's not much meaningful discovery, except for a tightly locked cellar door on the kitchen floor. Check it. The cellar door is made of metal, and it seems brute force alone cannot destroy it. Investigate elsewhere. You decide to check out other places. Second floor. As you climb to the second floor, you feel like something is staring at you. When you look up, you immediately spot the source of a gaze. I have a huge bat hanging upside down on the ceiling. How many rats does it eat to grow this big? The, to the bat, you are just a bigger piece of food. It flaps its wings and swoops down toward you. Alright, whatever. Who's the food now? Well, Ozzy Osbourne, this bat. The fallen giant bat has a key tied to one of its feet. It become, seems that someone intentionally made this giant bat the keeper of the key. It looks like there's definitely something hidden here. Investigate the cellar. Cellar door is made of metal and it seems that brute force... Yeah, I know. Using the key, you unlock the cellar door. As soon as the cellar door opens, a strange smell of potion hit, immediately hits you. During the strange smell, you enter the cellar. The cellar is not very big. And you quickly discover a crack behind a wooden shelf where there's a faint light and the sound of machinery. Could this be the source of the strange noises? Goblin robot. You reach out your hand and click its simple hidden door. Oh my god, behind the hidden door? It's a basement and a group of goblins are busy around a huge machine. In the center of the basement, for the sudden intruders, it triggers their innate and reckless defensive <laughs> defense reaction. A goblin dressed as a craftsman, speaks in a degraded orc language, and quickly climbs onto the machine and starts it up. This huge goblin robot and a group of goblin minions attack you. Oh, there he is. He's got a big sword. Can make a laser beam after making a giant mecha, bro? Oh yeah, I guess the sword shoots laser beams. More advanced than I initially thought, I guess. Magic. Magic. Eat magic. How about some more magic? It's magical. The goblins have actually built a base under the city, and the back door of this base is connected to a deeper underground passage. It seems that these evil monsters are using the tunnel like ra tunnels like rat nests to roam around the underground of the free domain, and everyone was unaware of it. Complete the investigation. The sun is already set, and the current situation is not suitable for further investigation. You need to quickly report the results of this investigation to the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Sick, we did it, I guess. Yay, piercing. I'll help with my fireballs. We do do a lot of damage, it seems like.
Ah, oh, tavern melee. Alright, bring it. Bring it, heathens. This isn't hard mode, you stand no chance. Wow, she is blasting arrows, bro. What the heck? Why? It's like, I gotta blow my nose again. Because, Jesus. Drunks are so tanky, bro. The strongest enemies in the game, drunk people. Do do do. What are you doing, Paladin guy? Get off that. Hopefully I can, I'm gonna try to 100% the game. Hopefully I can do it before like, I don't know, nine o'clock. I think that's when my draft starts for fantasy football. Yay, we won. Oh, that's nice, I need that. And that, I need all this stuff. Meteorite fall, a huge meteor rain falling from the sky within range, which will cause great damage to the enemy. Luckily value, lucky value six bonus damage. Okay. Oh, cool. That's pretty dope. Excuse me. Oh, it's the mecha guy. What's up, dude? Probably kill him before we leave. We open the fader. Yeah, we did it. Take that, loser. Can I get one fall? Oh, oh my god, bro. I almost have enough. No, I don't. I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate those people. <laughs> Lord. Oh, look at that evil slug. He's weak. Alright, weird. Textures, I guess. I don't really like any of those other choices. Maybe it'll help me with some of these quests, I guess. Magic mist. Unconsciously, you are enveloped in a strange white mist, and the gray mist spreads everywhere, making it possible to discern your direction. Attempt to dispel it. Oh, hell, I'm not magical enough. Through the white mist, you find yourself walking into a vast forest in the center of the forest. A beautiful woman catches your attention. She is wearing a long green dress, and on her head is a crown woven with flowers and jewels. Her long pointed ears and a pair of crystal clear wings on her back suggest that she is not a human. The woman breaks the silence by saying, I am the, I am the princess of the fairy realm, imprisoned here by an evil wizard with magic. Brave hero, can you help me escape from this place? Uh, no, but I'll try. Thank you, my hero. 
the wizard resides in a tall tower deep in the Whispering Forest. As long as you can break his magic, I will regain my freedom. The fairy princess says, handing you a magic bag. This is fairy dust. When you find the wizard's tower, you can use it to break the magic lock on the tower. Sick. Help the fairy princess. Alright. You taught me into it, I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, fight. As you were getting into the story, a fight broke out in the corner and you got caught up in it. See, this is a lot easier than the stupid other one. <laughs> I'd rather fight you losers. Actually. You fell right into my trap. You rubbed your boots against an unlucky guy and took his bag, whistling as you left the tavern. Yay. You won't laugh at me again, I don't think. Fools. Abandoned well on the way, on the way, a mysterious and eerie atmosphere surrounds Ancient Well. Throw a coin in. You toss a coin, and suddenly a deep roar welcomes from echoes from the well. A huge, as a huge monster crawls out and attacks you. Okay, whatever, dude. Good luck with that, Brendo. The wolf guy, cool. The dead wolf guy, actually, but. Stars for days! Stars for everybody! You finally defeat the monster. Suddenly you hear a clear laughter and turn around to see a fairy who is looking at you with a smile. I expect you to help me kill a demon. This is a small token of my appreciation. See you later! I don't know what kind of elf it was, so... Ooh, sad Pokemon! You discovered a group of black clad people performing a strange ritual from the patterns on their clothes. You determined that they are were, were followers of the god Fat by Phaeton. Purely speaking, there are not many noble people who worship this deity. Attack. You obviously angered this group of cultists as their ritual was interrupted. They appeared quite angry and pulled out their knives to charge at you. Okay, guys. Interesting. Interesting decision. They shoot stuff too. It's hard to see because I'm shooting stuff. <laughs> really hard to see, actually. It'd be pretty. Oh, it'd be pretty tanky. I do have that health regen thing, though. Luckily. Die, die. Oh, maybe I'll get that one guy. You ended the lives of the cultists when searching for loot. A black ore caught your attention. Although you are currently not, sh are not currently sure of its use, perhaps you can find someone who knows how to use it in the future. Take the ore. Obtain some kind of magic power. Beat the cultists. We did it. Chug. 
check it. Journey of the Soul, in the tavern you often visit on an ordinary afternoon, afternoon, you were enjoying wine and music, when suddenly you felt someone staring at you. You looked up and saw a beautiful woman in a white robe standing at the door. Her fair skin and light blue hair reminded you of an avarial. The woman walked in through the crowd and came directly to you, smiling and saying, Hello, my name is Morningstar, a priest is serving the goddess Lathant Lathander. I heard that you are an excellent adventurer and I hope you can help me. I guess I can. I felt a little surprised and didn't know why this beautiful woman would come to you. She continued, I want to go to the dead city in the soul realm to bury the bones of a friend. There is the only Millil temple on the continent, which is where he wanted to go most in his lifetime, but the journey is very dangerous and I need someone to protect me. I have heard about you and as long as you come to me on this journey, I'm willing to pay you enough for Lord. I agree. Although the journey to the Soul Realm's dead city is quite far away, how could a how could a hero refuse the beautiful lady's request? You readily agree to her. The priest thanks you happily. We should not delay. Let's go now. We're going. Working on it. All right. So she's doing the party, kind of. I don't think that buff is going to help during events, though, probably. I need to find bosses so I can do the thing. Quest, fate, fader, whatever. Five minutes left. Hold on. Holding. Beetles everywhere. I'm boy right here. Okay. Sad poet, I guess. On the road, you see a man sitting under a tree, humming a sad song. His clothes are tattered. And he looks like he's been attacked. As you approach, the man stops singing and looks at you. Tears streaming down his face, he says, A group of goblins attacked me, and I could only watch as these little monsters took away my love. I can never see her again. Offer help. Oh, praise be to Siska, hero. Please help me find my love. Okay. Dang, our party is getting thick, I think. Where'd the bard go? Did he not actually join? Got a priest lady. <laughs> we actually have a full party now, for real. <laughs> Alright. I need chunky boys. Can I swim? No. I haven't seen any big boys recently. Small boys. There's one. Hey, what's up, guy? Can I actually go into this forest? No. Warning, warning. Boss fight. What is it? I don't even see it. I saw a health bar and then it disappeared. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, sick. What's up, dragon? Oh, it shoots out wind thingies. Get back, Satan. Okay, 
my abilities are not going towards the dragon for some reason. There we go. Much better. I'm frozen. Uh oh. Hmm. Help me, Mooncat. I would like to move. Thank you. Do I have to start the fight over if I go into a fader while I'm fighting him? Don't know. I'm about to find out. Journey of the Soul 2. You travel along the northern route, and passing through countless villages, towns, forests, and mountains, and during several days of long-distance travel, finally you arrived at the border town of Mosca just before sunset. This was the border between the free domain and the soul realm, and it was also a place where you could enjoy cold drinks and hot tea during your long and boring journey from the capital city. The city appeared unusually quiet as the church bell rang, the damp gray darkness dimmed the sunlight, and the shadow of dark dust could already be a horse. I don't know what I'm supposed to say there. I must have missed something. A horse scream pierced through the city, sounding somewhat unreal. You followed the scream and ran towards it, only to witness a terrifying scene. The city gate had been destroyed, and a crack appeared on the long, neglected gate. A large group of skeletons and zombies were trying to squeeze into the city through the crack. The untrained guards who had not seen war for decades were already scared and lying on the ground. Quickly provide support for this group of undead broke through the city gate and caused irreparable damage. You had no time for further contemplation. Okay. Oh, they're kind of cute. Hopefully that dragon doesn't get his health back. Uh -huh. Yay, we did it. From dusk till dawn, the undead's attack gradually weakened until the last skeleton was shattered and with the morning sun once again covering the border town, all evil things seemed to have never appeared and turned into smoke, disappearing into the void. As for why the city was attacked by the undead army, you were extremely exhausted and had no attention of investigating at the moment. At least you needed to get a good night's sleep first, confirmed. Okay. Nice sleep. Hey. Orvin Liquor gives crit rate. Fader! Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Ah, that's okay. Fader. Goblin camp. Oh, that's where we get that thing. Following the clues provided by the poet, you discovered a goblin camp. The guards here were lax and the goblins didn't notice your presence. You fearlessly launched an attack on the goblin camp. The sentries were alerted and with the sound of a longhorn, the goblins poured out and charged towards you frantically. I think the dragon disappeared because the music changed in the other world, so that's kind of lame. Oh well. That was easy. You took down all the enemies after searching the entire camp. You found no trace of any hit kidnapped hot. Hostages, as you were wandering, you found a beautifully crafted harp on the body of a goblin shaman. Perhaps this harp belonged to the poet, so you should return it to him when you meet him next time. Take the harp and leave. You can play beautiful music. Increases experience pickup range by 30%. Magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the dragon. Never mind, he's not gone. Yay, he didn't heal. Sick. That's good. I don't know if we'll be able to kill him in time. He doesn't take much damage. He's not moving. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna bargain with her. Yep. 
thank you. Try get stuck on tree. I'll teach him. He is so tanky, bro. A little bit. Is he hitting me somehow? I'd like to finish these quests, but I don't think I have enough time. Oh well. Oh, well, it looks like we might kill the dragon at least, so that's something. Die, dragon. <laughs> we did it! We killed the dragon! Yay! And he dropped us crystals. That's nice of him. Thanks, guy. Dragon tanky. Yes, yes, approach the treasure chest. It's mine. Charge forward! I can't get it. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. Oh, hail my health. Ouch. What if I died here because of that? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not finishing that chick's quest. My god, dude. Not enough trophies. Ah, hell. Oh, well. I tried. Unlocking Ranger. Survive for 15 minutes. I'm gonna sign the normal. Survive 20 minutes. Survive 20 minutes with any character. Cross the sword. Oh, we unlock new. Oh, uh, bar joints team. Priest joints team. Unlocking. Okay. Sick. Locked Paladin. I don't know if I actually unlocked those characters, but I think it's talking about like actually put them on the party. The Fireball did the most damage, really? Yeah. Huh. Cool. How many achievements do we got? 21 out of 51, nice. Honor is my life. My dream is to soar like an arrow. Read yeah, we didn't unlock them, track. but we got Thousands close, I guess. Like a sage. We had to finish their quest probably to unlock them. It is what it is. Uh, Rangers, what's your attributes? I need somebody with luck, bro. Three luck? Nobody got luck, bro. You'll see my blade. He starts with pretty good luck, but not enough. Does the Paladin have tri tri mm. tributes? Strength is 120. Her strength is better than the Paladin's. That doesn't make much sense. I'll play her. Screw it. Um, Soul Wasteland. Maybe because of your fame, the Trade Alliance and... I did you to a feast. After the wine and food, the leader gave you a black iron box with a serious face. Deliver this to the Wing Patrol Association headquarters in Plain City by noon in three days. You agreed without thinking. To reach Plain City in three days, you had to take a shortcut through the dead soul wasteland. By the time you realized something was wrong, your feet were already stuck in the hot and filthy swamp mud. 
Silent Pirate. No one knows... Joy f oh, I got him. Nice. No one knows his real name except that he was a pirate notorious and has a great love for gold coins. So oh God. Yar. Those bombs, that's cool, I guess. I'll take Cobweb. Packing Arrow. Seems like her type of ability. Warhammer throw. It throws two Warhammers to attack, dealing 200 damage. Drop two Holy Spears from the air. Yeah, oh, poor. Never mind. Altered the gods, Dipmesis Altered. With the inscription, King of Order, of the Lord of the Silver Moon. So is this no that's not what the Ice Guy's name was. Old Fawn to the Chaos, what are you? Pray at the altar. Lightning, okay. Cal is better than Bomb Pirate. Well, Bomb oh, never mind. Bomb Pirate has a sick attack, actually. <laughs> He's got like a splash AoE attack. Cool. That thing's kind of scary looking, actually. Running from me? Run at me, not from me, bro. What? I need to kill you so I can get the fader from you, bro. I'm killing these things. Jack him up, pirate! Can the pirate punch him yet? Please, pirate, punch him. I don't worry about it, he's too fast. I ain't chasing him no more, for now. Looks like he got stuck though, so I'm gonna go up there and see if that's what happened. So yeah, where are you gonna go now, guy? Drop something awesome. I doubt it, but he better.
Um. Ah, plague insects. Oh, this fence sucks. Oh, hell, my bad. Well, I'm not in hard motor. I probably would have died there, actually. Beatles, whatever they are. Bandits. Yeah, like I said, I'm skipping the ones I've already read before. Waste spin does a lot of damage. It just has a long cooldown. Help a little bit. Sad poet, let's get your stuff down. Or try to, anyways. Yeah, we'll take your thing too. Busy Market Angelica Institute. As a rising star in the world of adventure, your future holds endless possibilities. People are already taking notice of you, seeking your help, like the person standing before you. In your usual tavern, on an ordinary afternoon, a ragged farmer approached you. Please save me, he pleads. Someone has desecrated my mother's grave. Her head is missing. It's truly horrifying. I can't find every anyone else to help. Please show me some kindness. Judging by the farmer's appearance, you suspect he can't offer much in return, but what value is there in digging up the grave of a... can't read it. Oh. That the mission. Grave robbers, now that sounds intriguing. You dislike anyone desecrating the dead, whether they are poor or rich. Since you have nothing better to do, you decide to take on this task. You learn some details from the farmer. There is a graveyard near his village where the poor rest eternally. A few weeks ago, a stranger was seen lurking around, and soon after, the graveyard was dug up and the skulls disappeared. One by one, three, then six, no one cared. No one asked. You inquire about the location of the graveyard, pack your belongings, and decide to investigate, hoping to uncover some clues. Let's go. Journey of the Soul 2. Read this, kill undead people. Hey, paladin people. Wow, these things are tanky, actually. Well, I'm not as geared as I was last time I fought them, I guess.
slowly but surely. Not as bad as that one boss fight still, so that's something, I guess. Definitely use the skill range ability on this chick, that's for sure. For this blade spin, if that could be wider, that'd be really good for me. Oh, they about killed my priest lady. Oops. Get back. Don't kill the priest lady. It doesn't really matter if they kill her, but still. so much cars you can do something. Translate ancient text. I'm too weak to move it and I don't have whatever this is. That's not curse. That's something else I think. Successfully decipher. I can't do anything so I'll just leave it alone. Stonehenge. Stonehenge was already an ancient legend when the world first opened. It consists of countless mysterious stone pillars surrounded by amazing powers. In the depths of the swamp, you vaguely see the foggy Stonehenge in the distant distance which has been tainted by evil magic and release a dark aura. And ahead lies the land of the undead Lord Victor Dracula, which is shunned by the locals. Find out what really happened. You, in, I'm assuming that means step into the swamp, stepping further into the mud and slimy pools. Suddenly in the mist, you notice the silhouettes of several massive beasts walking slowly towards you. It's time to fight. Bring it. Yes. Oh, hey, let's see things. They take forever to kill. Maybe not this time. Shells of monsters gradually dissolve and unmelted lambs in their bellies fall emitting a sickening spell, advancing against the something. The turbid, stinky air not only makes you disgusted, but even your skin tingles. You keep going. The fog is gradually disappearing. You catch a glimpse of a figure rising out of the dark water, and it clo is closing you. It is closing on you. Closing in on you. You heard a horrible scream and realize you're dealing with a death banshee priest get him the priest quickly recites a holy prayer you successfully defend the banshee's psychic attack and this horrible ghost comes at you furiously find the flight i'd say oh hell this isn't good 
I'm stuck. No. Sick. Hi, right, everybody run. I feel like priest. You got this. You got this girl. Yeah, she tanky, actually. Do you mean it like physical attacks or something? I don't understand. Well, it seems like range attacks work, but I can't hit her with my blade spinning thing. And it doesn't seem like cobwebs hit her either, because she's dark type, obviously. But whatever, she'll die eventually. It's gonna take a while though. Ow! God darn it. Seems like the main thing you don't want to do, though, is get on the side of her because she does bullcrap if you do. Get her, pirate. Back her up. Oh, yeah, I got stunned again. It's gonna take forever, dude. This, oh, it does hit her sometimes, I guess. It doesn't hit her. She got her your box, I guess. Very weird hitbox. Oh, hey, I'm dying. Oh, I can't move. She stunned me forever. Help. Okay, we gotta get away from her. Jesus. Bruh. Yeah, I must have got on the side she was attacking on, because God, that hurt like crazy. Help me, cleric. I don't want to die. There we go. Fights take way too long. Granted, it's my fault for being weak, but it is what it is. I better get something awesome. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Most preface, if the fight takes forever, I should get something awesome. doesn't like attacking this way, so that's good, I guess. Hey, heal. God bless. Try to hurry this up a little bit, even if it means taking some damage, because God bless, bro. It is kind of pointless if I die, though. Kind of defeats the purpose of everything.
Please die, lady. God. Good thing we got the priest for this fight, though, because I don't know what would have happened if she didn't protect me from whatever this thing was about to do. And even with that protection, I'd still take years to kill her, so I need the heals <laughs> because I like to play dumb and try to make things... I'm impatient. That's the best way to put it. That's what I was looking for. Impatient as hell. Did it. But dang, that last, last bit of health was lingering, bro. You take the banshee back to the gaseous dermis, dormant state and move on. Oh my god, we keep going. Gradually, you see the outline of Stonehenge in the distance clearly. A group of undead beings awaken from their cursed slumber. It seems they are not surprised by your arrival. It's time to flight. 600. I hope they died better than that banshee did. Oh my god. Well. But yes, they do. I guess. Help, pirate! Help! What are you doing, guy? Stop being stuck. These you can hit with physical, I know it. God, we're getting surrounded so bad. They're everywhere. I'll hail the priest of dawn. I, I gotta get around these things somehow. Run, priest, run! You gotta get out of here. It's a trap. Oh, she dead, I guess. Rest in peace. They are not dying very easily. I'm just... Oh, gosh, that must be my buff then. She does have a healing thing, but I don't know what it looks like. Oh, we are so surrounded. All right, well, we might be dead here. Oh my God, they're everywhere and they're so strong. Jesus, no! Ah. What? Okay, well that sucked. 
Oh, that sucked. I don't like the elf. I'm not gonna play the elf. Obviously, I. Is it? <laughs> yeah, man. Alright. Oh, that's mine, whatever that means. I'm gonna stick with the warrior, I think. Dang, that sucked. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Mooncat. I don't think I really care too much for the pirate. He's okay. Dang, that sucks, though. Oh, that was lame. That toll part sucked, actually. Spent so much time on that banshee too, just to get surrounded and murdered by undead people because I didn't have enough damage. That's so sucked. Ugh. Swamp Swarm, the depth of the swamp was unpredictable, so you have to hold your important items over your head. Letting your feet step onto the blank blanket of blackened and rotted rotten plant roots that formed the bottom. The scorching sunlight made the horizon slightly disort distorted, and you weren't sure if you were going in the right direction. A few gloomy cypress stream trees appeared in the distance, forming a temporary guide, but soon they would probably suffer the same fate of drowning. Next to the dense ir irises, a large mass of black mosquitoes seemed to perform seemed to be performing some ritual. They gathered and pulsated with some discordant rhythm, like spasms of an invisible creature's heart flying towards you. Alright, sick. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh hell. I haven't even killed any of them yet. Get away from me. Get away from me. Well, it doesn't seem like they're attacking too often. Let me jinx that real quick. Why does Flame Jet use strength? I wonder. I think that uh, sounds like it'd be a magic spell, but it's not, I guess. Weird. Hmm, weird. Yeah, they're not really fighting back, which is good, because I would have died. <laughs> Honestly. Spell too, I guess. Weird. I guess they do attack, it's just not very often. Rel Countless mosquitoes sucked your blood, leaving patches of red and swollen marks. This pain and itchiness would torment you for at least the whole day. Darn mosquitoes. Darn mosquitoes, bro.
piece character and allies. I guess that's defense. I don't know. Four. Yay, that's a classic. No reading for the bandits. Ow. Under scripture. Thought I should take that warrior mobility if I see it again. Leveled up, but I didn't get a level choice. That's kind of weird. Oh, there it goes. I guess. Hammer noise? Jesus. That's aggravating. <laughs> Lord. That's a noise. Hopefully we'll remember not to take that spell ever again. Because god dang, that is annoying. More bugs. Hmm. Can't wait till we get a ton of them and then we'll really be making a racket. Throws the front one and the rest of them just stop, bro. <laughs> Trekking down the swamp for a long time, the gloomy air and rotten smell made you feel exhausted, so you stopped at the slightly cleaner place, set up a tent and lit a fire, intending to rest for a while. The burning fire was like a beacon in the night. Unsurprisingly, it attracted the attention of a group of creatures, rat men. These vile and greedy creatures silently approached your camp and suddenly lodged a sneak attack. Oh. Not, not to have done that, rat people. Too actually. Are they really tanky, actually. My gosh, dude. Everything tanky. Assume it was the right people, but you never know. We did it. 
The rat men fled into the, the swamp in a panic and mud and dead leaves splashed in the air. They were swallowed by the reed cover water. You finally stayed by the camp with relief and then took off your boots. As you expect, there were no less than 10 dark blue leeches stuck to your calves and ankles. <laughs> Take a break. Okay, disgusting. Hate to hear that. Yay, fake unicorn blood. The classic. That poet. Alright, let's start this dang quest again. Oh, wait, what? Oh, maybe you have to have something to be able to talk to him. It wouldn't even let me. There was only one choice. Whoops. Darn it. Accept the mission. Let's go. Journey of the Solo, the next page. Agree. Thank you. Let's do. Let's try to finish your quest finally. Maybe. up a little bit. No, oh, I should have took the attack right my bad. Whoops. Country Cemetery. You arrive at a graveyard, the farmer mentioned, only to find the dire straight state of affairs. Ah, oh, crap, I'm so close. There are no proper tombstones, no nearly neatly arranged plots, not even a basic fence. In this land, all you see are covered wooden crosses piled together, like a dead forest of dead trees. Goodness, you certainly wouldn't want to treat be treated like this after death. The condition of the graveyard matches the farmer's description, with several graves dug up and skulls missing from within. Wait for the culprit with no further leads. The only option you can think of is to lie and wait and hope the thieves return. The airy atmosphere in the gar graveyard deeply affects you and you constantly feel like something was whispering in your ear. The night passed and nothing happened. Continue to wait. The second night passed and still nothing happened. Wait for the third night. Just as you doubted whether your initial decision was correct, a mysterious figure appeared. Carrying a shovel, they skulked around in the middle of the night. It's him, you charged out. Stop, Tomb Raider, you shouted loudly. The other person was clearly startled, startled, dropping the shovel and turning to flee. You immediately regretted it. You should have approached quietly before taking action. Now it's too late. You swiftly chase after the Tomb Raider's escape route, entering a dark forest. It's already late and the forest is dense. The Tomb Raider is surprisingly agile. Their slender figures shimmering and elusive, making it difficult to catch them. After a pursuit, you are just also disturbed the forest's inhabitants. Who seem unhappy with the... Uh, whatever. Time to fight, I guess. Yeah, dialogue definitely got cut off in this game. Really badly. Plug, people. Sweet. Money for the sweet. Nice. I 
hope this is the rogue. That'd be nice, because I'm sure their luck scale's high enough to rob that stupid treasure. Probably. After a few hours of chasing, the trail of the Tomb Raider abruptly vanished amid a cluster of small trees. What happened? As you cautiously investigate, the cluster of trees in front of you produces water-like ripples. It's an illusion. The culprit must be hiding inside. They can't escape now. But who knows what lies hidden ahead? A despicable sorcerer or a group of cultists devoted to the wicked god? You decide to arrest and recover before proceeding further. Confirm. Okay. Fight me, even. Cat. Ventures remains, bury that sucker. No problem, homie. Next time I'll look for treasure. I forgot, but I did that already. Yay, super worth though. Bury the soul too! Heathen undead, bring it. Almost there. Sleep. Already did this. Mosey boss. Words. Yay. Uh, skill factor. Oh, defense. I think. I don't know how much defense actually helps in this game, but can't hurt. Who's this? Up, oh, bro. 
You met the poor wandering bard again by the fountain in the town square. He smiled slightly when he saw you and... Oh, that's why he was sad, because he had my heart from last... Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. I don't know what happened. He smiled slightly... I picked up a heart. I don't know. When... He saw you and walked towards you. Excuse me, have you found my love? Returned the harp to him. He took out the harp from your backpack and handed it to him. The bard recognized it at a glance as his lost treasure. He took the harp with excitement, stroked in tears flowed down his cheeks. Praise the goddess Siska, this harp is my love. She has finally returned to my arms. He looked at you with enthusiasm. Thank you, adventurer. My name is Alex. How can I repay you? Let him sing a song. This is a new song I just created. Please enjoy it. Oh man, I was hoping they TTS it with the weird voices. That would have been hilarious. He took up the harp and began to play. Forget it, my friend. Let's forget it today. After another day of suffering, another day of joy. Put down the dull sword. Throw away the broken toy. Under this bright sunshine, open your arms and brace. That's a weird song. Ah, let's be proud of ourselves and sing with grace. The cowards have turned to dust and the weak have fled. The goddess Sisko watches over us, Marloa's glory on our head. Under this bright sunshine, the hero's anthem is loudly said. Leave. Alright, thanks, dude. You said goodbye to the wandering bard with a happy heart, knowing that you may meet him again at the tavern and invite him to join your team. The wandering bard Alex can now be recruited as a companion in the tavern. Okay, so <laughs> well, at least we oh, what is that B thing called? Oh, angry ass thing, dude. Hidden Tower. After navigating through carefully laid camouflage spells, the culprit's footprints began to extend towards a three to story tall tower. Fantastic. Perhaps you uh, can uncover a grand conspiracy and capture the, both the Tomb Raider and their mastermind. Becoming a true hero, you eagerly arrive at the front of the tower and forcefully knock on the door. At the moment, you see in horror as the stone statues on either side come to life, launching an attack towards you, with some even flying in the air. Alright, you decide to give it your all. Time to fight. Oh, this game has a ton of reading, bro. Oh, hey, all they shoot stuff. Rude. And they're kinky. Gosh. They're slow, though, so that's good. I killed one. Yes. Yes. It'll take forever. <laughs> ah. Nah, physical damage. Where's the bard at? The bard is not in my party. No matter what the game says. But I guess I'll be able to play him and see what he does. Because I remember when I beat that one run, it was like, have the priest and the bard join your party. The bard did not join my party. That's good though that I found the harp. I think that actually made it where I could complete that quest even though I didn't do the second part with the goblins on this run. We just wanted the harp anyway, so... Ow. Kill me, priest lady! Halfway there, whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear her. One more! Just one more! There we go, thank you, game. Smashing those useless stones, you kick open the door and enter the tower. On the first floor of the tower, you see the target of last night's chase, a young and slender sorcerer. He looks at you with fear, clutching a staff adorned with the human skull. A necromancer. You immediately understand this person's identity. These individuals have quite the notorious reputation. Not surprising to find a necromancer dabbling in tomb raiding. 
you decide that this individual must pay for their sacrilegious acts. Don't, don't come any closer. The sorcerer warns anxiously, but it only strengthens your resolve. Soon after the un an unclear and brief incantation, the skull staff in the sorcerer's hand emits a radiant glow, conjuring a bone wall that separates you and the necromancer. Numerous skeletons also appear. Hi, where are you at, dude? Oh, banana cat. What's up, dude? Oh, hell. How do I kill him? I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, his scythe thing stopped, so maybe I can hit him now. Now, I back up. He's not super tanky, but can't hit him with most of my abilities because they're melee. Heal me, priest lady. Heal me. after I kill him. Stop digging up graves, weenie. She seems to be like super strong against his attacks because I think she's taking the brunt of it since I, I'm kind of putting her in front of me on accident. Not really on accident. I don't have that much control over it. What's that spinner thing he's doing? Rude. He copying me? He mocking me? You and your companions display your might, dismantling these bony constructs one by one just as you raise your weapon prepare to deal with the trembling necromancer lying on the ground a voice commanding voice to interrupt stop all of you stop the person speaking is an elderly man with deep colored skin wearing extravagant earrings he is adorned in a dark robe with purple trim exuding a mysterious aura he walks silently down the stairs and stands before you in a courteous yet aloof manner Greetings, adventurers. I am Ames, the owner of this tower, the dean of the Iris Academy, and the mentor of this young girl. Oh, it was a girl. I don't know. You must have a purpose for coming here, and I believe there may be some misunderstandings. Could you please enlighten me? You exchange glances with each other while keeping a tight grip. Trust him. You decide to trust the slight sincerity of the sorcerer and recount the villagers' ordeal to him. After listening, Ames glares angrily at the apprentice behind him, before bowing and apologizing to you. This is my responsibility. I was the one who allowed her to craft the bone staff, but I never expected her to entertain the idea of desecrating the villagers' graves. I will personally make amends for all of this, and it will never happen again. At this moment, you finally take a good look at the young necromancer's face. Her eyes shine like stars, and her silver-gray medium-length hair cascades gracefully her complexion is slightly yellow, but not dark. Her face blushes bright red as she suppresses the urge to cry, <laughs> revealing a pitiful expression. All the accumulated resentment you held towards her vanishes instantly. Ashley, Ames said, I hope your team can make it take in my wayward apprentice. She has been with me for many years, and it's time for her to venture out and gain some experience. If you're willing to take her along, I would be immensely grateful. Of course I agree. After obtaining your agreement, the old man turned to the young girl and said, Adeline, perhaps the time has come for you to resolve your long-held grievances through this journey. The girl wanted to say something, but swallowed her words, merely nodding silently. Adeline bowed deeply to her teacher, who had nurtured her for years, her eyes filled with tears and, with tears, and her heart burned with gratitude and reluctance. She departed from the tower she had called home for so long, Following her newly found companions embarking on an unknown journey, Necromancer Adeline is now recruitable as a companion of the tavern. Okay, sick. Welcome to the team, I guess. Oh, I got the good thing. Nice. The good ability. Well, at least we got two people so far. We might get the priest too if we keep going. Uh, I get away from it. Bom, 
bomb, bomb. God, I hate camera noise, bro. I hate it so much. Might as well get more of them. Priest's journey is pretty long, well, like actually one of the harder ones because it's so long, bro. Yeah, it takes so many faders to even have a chance at it. Long night, is this her thing? The night was dark, the clouds were thick, and the stars were dim. You woke up from a nightmare, feeling a chill. In the haze, wisp of pale purple fire flicked, flickered in the reeds. The elegant nightlight emitted a bewitching glow, and you wondered for a moment if this was still a dream. Spells willow the wisp. The Donna, mother of light, source of mercy, you are the protector of life. Your grace fills the world. Your light dispels the darkness. In this time of peril, I beg you to grant me shelter and guidance that I may resist evil and banish evil spirits. The priest recited the prayer. The ghost fade fire wait, what ghost fire gradually faded, leaving no trace. But you were not allowed any respite. Countless ragged figures emerged from the swamp, slowly approaching you a horde of zombies. Zombies, not zombies. Too, no less. Come on, priest lady. I think that's the priest mission still. zombies wanted to drag you down into the swamp, but you swung your blade cutting off their heads, and with a nauseating roar from their hollow mouths, the corpses finally sank into the mud. The dead were gone. They returned to where they belonged. The crisis was not over yet. A gray mist suddenly rose around you. Oh my god. The cold was <laughs> biting, and the dark shadow silently surrounded you like ghost. Bye. Oh hell. The whispered curses from the underworld, their withered figures, fingers pointed at you. You felt a heart-wrenching pain as if your soul was torn apart. Oh, hell no. Ooh, run. Heal us. Heal us, priest. They even hurt the cat. Oh, jeez. She's dead. Uh oh. Okay. Heal me, please. I need your heals. Heal me. Heal me. I don't want to die! Can't heal me, bro. Can't heal me at all. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to dodge. Oh, 
Yes, you finally healed me some. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eh. At least they're now super tanky, it doesn't seem like. Oh, heal me again, please. Oh my god. That was rough. Your magic ended the ghost's existence. It silently vanished into the void. All your wisp of blue smoke and cold loneliness remained. The eastern sky was already showing the dawn. The long night would pass and the dawn would come. Get some sleep. Boy, that was rough. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really rough. Invitation. I've already done this one. Hi, big man. I don't see the necromancer. I know she's here. I just don't see her. That mission. Yay. Trick. Before we do that, the mastermind behind the undead attack on Mosca has been identified not long ago. God bless, I never. A black robe monster legally purchased a large piece of wasteland in the northern, northern suburbs of the city and built a black obelisk there. Paying a large amount of coins, it is said that the wasteland was once an ancient battlefield. And who knows how many bodies are buried under the land. Ahem, undead, black robe monsters, and black obelisks easily lead people to think of the necromancers who blasphemed to the law of the Holy Mother Milia. Did the ruler here lose his... I don't know. The lonely black obelisk stands in the center of the wasteland, and unknown symbols on the body of the obelisk flicker with eerie red light. Emitting a continuous humming sound, the ghostly whispers seem to be constantly echoing in your mind. You quickly get rid of the harassment of the whispers, and residents here also wake up at the same time. Obviously, they do not welcome outsiders. Bell bones drilled out of loose soil piles and rusty and damaged armor and swords silently told of their past glory. Start the battle. Ooh. Where's the black obelisk at? Oh, there it is. Jesus. Oh, hell. Things are running at me pretty fiercely. The Skeleton King. Hang. Get away, Skeleton King. You don't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. I surrounded myself. Whoops. Run! Run, priest! Run and heal! I'm gonna kill these guys, I guess. I don't know if I'll summon more of them if I kill them, but they need to die. Oh, she's dead. Oops. Ow, he hurt me really bad, actually. Rude. Oh, he's dead now. I gotta get back to the top to do damage. Oh, hell. I'm gonna die, actually, yeah. This ain't good. I'm so dead. God bless, dude. That is so hard, actually. Well, I got the bard. I unlocked the sound of ero erosion. I unlocked the necromancer. Ah, oh, dang, bro. That was rough. You see my blade. My dream is to soar like an arrow. Her quest is so hard. The priest. Jesus. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a my sage. Soul, my friend, my tail. <laughs> the TTS kills me, bro. Him of healing, cross sword, the character throws a cross sword in front of him. 
Sound of wind erosion uh, deals damage. Regard death as life, as life as death. What? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Whatever you're saying. Hmm. Only 666 damage. That seems good. Cowboy advance. We'll play her, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one on hard, I guess, because I gotta do it anyways, and I keep failing. Oh. Necromancer girl. Okay, she starts with the summon like the sage does, I guess. Jeez, dude. That place is hard, man. That priest's mission is so hard. I'm gonna have to get something more to drink. All this reasons make my throat dry. I'll do that for this mission, I guess. Curse body, necromancer, elusive, and the sound of wind. Sure, let's see what that does. We're going magic, obviously, so I need magic spells. And it keeps giving me non magic spells. Oh, they killed my guy. Summon him back. No, it's a pretty strong, actually. Maybe the priest mission will be easier on this stage. I know you can get it here too. I just didn't finish it last time because I didn't have time. By the time I actually picked up the spell. You know what's sad is I had a lot of defense upgrades last time too and I still got murdered really badly. Anyways, ah, here we go. <sighs> I got no health. Did it just heal itself? Skeleton boy at. Rush him into the woods. 
where beetles belong anyways. Oh, that took a bit, but it, we did it. Oh, that's good. A good item. I feel like I never get enough luck to do anything in this game. Like, <laughs> ever. It's so bad. Skeleton. Poor skeleton. Which one is this? Uh, I don't know what that means. Born in nature, serving nature. Uh, okay. Increases the earth, decreases poison. That's uh, fine, I guess. Should be able to get the advanced cobweb, I guess. Hmm. I'm having a good time with killing these boars, it doesn't seem like.
Uh, yeah, I guess I will. Yay, gold. I remember getting killed by the bats. Learned. Oh, it was an item. Okay. That's one, I guess. Journey of the Soul. Yeah, good luck, me. I'll try. Again. Oh, that quest is hard, though. What's this thing? Got a portal thing. Kinda get one more skill in that shadow scythe thing before I move on, but or fader or whatever it is. I don't really want to take any strength abilities if I can help it. Took an ability, but it wasn't the right one. Ah, okay, there we go, we got it. Ah, can't afford it. Get out of here. Caravan cart. This is the merchant caravan. Oh, okay, these guys. I do like the moose you nests know, because they tend to linger, it seems like. That took forever. Okay, trade. Let's see if we can afford anything for 800. Nope. Like I said, I wish you could get the money first and then try to trade them, but it's okay, whatever. Oh, that was my thing. Whoops.
feel like instead of doing like the random fates, if I just stuck to like the caravan and spent my money there, I'd do a lot better, but I'm trying to get all the achievements, so that makes it hard to do that. Tossing a coin, you hear a faint sigh and see a ghost in white slowly emerging from the well. Its eyes filled with sadness and let it outside. Communicate. Should the priest do it? I'll try. Uh, let the priest do it. Although it's vague, you understand the ghost's meaning. The ghost was a nobleman in life, betrayed and brutally murdered by his own family, and ultimately left to die in a well. He wants to find the person who framed him and seek revenge. Okay. After you promise to help, the ghost. Its expression becomes much calmer and slowly dissipates into a white mist. In its place, the treasure chest is left behind. Okay, I'll try to help you, man, if I can actually find whoever it is. I can't pick up all this money. But things won't die fast enough. your money or a third of your money because it gives you a lot of good stuff pretty much <laughs> most of your money back anyway so big one but I'd love to if I could. I'm pretty sure that might be how you get the road, but I don't know. You have so many skeleton guys. Get them, skeleton guys. Skeleton guys don't do much damage, it doesn't seem like, because I don't do much damage either. Oh, could that be a problem? Oh, okay, no, it's not. I was about to say, could that be a problem? get the sound of for whatever the wind thing he is. Collect all the stuff. Kill.
much as I thought. Everything that has so close to me, I can just pick it up, I guess. The Necromancer has like really low skills and like stats for some reason. Like on everything. Right. Leave him for that. <laughs> well, one day, I guess. Well, this is hard mode, but dang, boy. I mean, I got like all my skills maxed out, and I'm still taking forever to kill everything. Oh, paladins! behind everybody <laughs> so maybe I'll survive everyone else is expendable pretty much jeez that was rough bro I was just hiding in the corner the whole time hoping I didn't die the whole time Does that additional projectile thing last? Because it does look like I have an additional sight now. So maybe it does last. It's just the speed boost doesn't last. That makes sense. I think that's what actually happens. I think I misunderstood. One, two, three. I still have four sights. Oh, I don't know. We'll see if I keep... Now I have five. So, yeah, I guess it does last. The skill shot part does. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it seems like it does. It might just be a visual glitch too because I should have six here if it did last. I don't know how it works. I'm confused. Oh, I'm surrounded though. Four 
cemetery, worship gods here, can't do anything, so worship the gods, I guess. The deity responds to your prayer and a shot of beam pointing to the tomb, following the guidance you found a metal chest with only someone's coming on. I'm surprised they listened to me because I didn't have the stats for it, but I'll take it, I guess. Sure. Ring one. Find the clues provided by the nobleman. You track the orcs' footsteps all the way. In a clearing in the woods, you found a group of orcs, but unfortunately, they also found you. Strangely, the orcs didn't attack you immediately, but sh instead shouted loudly in orcish. Stop talking against the orc. Now, go away. Looks pretty fast, actually. much damage either it doesn't seem like everything doesn't take much damage I'm weak boy probably won't be able to kill the dragon I don't think all right we won we subdued the last orc and tied them all together after a careful search he found a smelly sheepskin map in an orc's pocket from this map, which looked like it, child scribble, you barely recognize the location of the orc camp. Okay. So even more health regen. Health regen out the wazoo. I can't even see the portal because there's stuff everywhere. Witch hunting mission. Despite the summer season, finding a warm place to stay tonight seems more important now. As the grand ideals are gradually defeated by bad wine and black bread, and this forest path seems to be teaching you the importance of reading maps on its long journey. What is that? They'll hear, you hear cries for help and screams ahead. A group of ragged farmers have tied up a woman and are about to take her into a bonfire. The woman begs for mercy, but the others ignore her and curse and then saw her. Burn the witch, burn the demon. Bribe the villagers. Villagers hesitate and abandon the idea of burning the woman alive. Maybe you're right. She's not a witch. The woman who is saved glances at the burnt stakes and swallows, speaking in a trembly voice. Before you arrived, I was accused of being a witch by a stranger, and everyone in the village believed him. Given the fact that the stranger instigated them, the villagers looked ashamed. You tried to search around for the instigator, but he seems to have already disappeared into the night. Anti-Dragon Wave. Fires eight lasers around you, dealing 500 damage with a chance to stun for two seconds. Oh, that's cool. Guys. It's a light show! And it does a ton of damage, apparently. Yay, damage. Finally, I can kill things. It's amazing. This is just going for... I can't see, bro. <laughs> I'm blind. That's a pretty strong spell, it seems like. Now if I could just get something to pick up all the stuff around me. I got everything spinning. I got Psy spinning. I got light beam spinning, bro. Everything's spinning. Man, before I take the fader, I want to get... Dang. Collect all the things item. Because there's a lot of things on the ground right now that I can't even see half the time.
That's a lot of uh, skills. Let's go. Yay. Oh my god, bro. How many times did I just level up? Like an unlimited amount of times or something? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what happened? The laser beams are OP! What is going on? I can't hot. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, during the Soul 3, that's where I died last time. Got an obelisk. I'm only reading the new stuff. The Eric Whispers made... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Okay. Go! Actually, I have a lot of money. Well, I'm maxed everything, it seems like, with more money, anyways. Well, except for those. The priest abilities. Oh my god, he just punched the hell out of me. Ooh, I need to heal. Heal me, please! I don't want to die. No, no, I'm gonna die here, bro. Oh my god, that's such crap. Why can't I kill them? Oh, I should have looked at the damage of the dragon beam. Literally, I had everything like. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked, dude. Oh, I'm pissed. Maybe the percent, I don't know. Maybe this will help. I don't know. Regardless, I know I'm not doing enough damage, so. Oh, heck. That's not what I meant to do. What is this? Oh, that'd be good. That's expensive, though. Jesus. So there was something that was more expensive to upgrade. I'd like to get more projectiles, period. That'd be nice. Okay, so curse, that's what curse does. It makes everything stronger. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think we're good for now. Maybe I'll have the damage to kill something now. Let's collect. Oh, these are all the things I've gotten. Man, I've been trying, dude. That's hard. Read Whatever. thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. How about a fireball? You see my blade. Tributes, that's what I want to look at. What's the sages of tributes? At least he'll be able to pass. See, his attributes are awesome. But I don't see anybody with like super high strength stat. I mean, the warriors is okay, but 120, 140. I'm not going to use him because I don't like that warhammer throw. That is actually no. Eh, I need to play him anyways, but I'm not taking warhammer throw for sure. I actually don't like any of his abilities really, except for that. Uh, sacred ground thing. God, I can't believe I got murdered. That priest quest is so hard, dude.
Nice boomerang. Sick. Boomerang acquired. Why can you summon a skeleton soldier? Sense. I guess we unlocked it with what's her face, even though she couldn't even do that. She could summon a wizard thing, but well, at least he kills us a lot faster than she did already. I guess. I don't know exactly how that one works, to be honest. I guess it's just the ability he uses every now and then. Maybe. I like how the fire and ice go to the same place, so it looks like they're fusing. Pretty cool. What do you do? Read the inscription. Nice one, I think, right? Uh, I'm alright. I'll leave you alone. I think she's the nice one, though, from what I read on the earlier thing, maybe.
Still not smart enough for that, so. <laughs> oh my god, she's harassing me, bro. I'm all bad anyways. Your opponent finally fell to the ground, the crowd cheered and congratulated on a new victory. Sometimes you don't even have to have the stat and you still win somehow. I don't understand it, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, I'd rather win than lose when I'm supposed to. Search. Search the equipment, everything around the skeleton, and found quite a good few good things. Okay. And it increased my curse power, so everything's strong now. Nice. You get for not burying it. Allegedly. Intimidate him. Villagers hesitate and embarrass. Uh, okay, I've already read this. Before you arrive, uh, uh, okay, we'll go find him. I guess we'll try to, anyways. We'll see what happens. And the spell evil. Nice. I just spell evil on my paladin. Aladdin. As soon as you entered the village, a group of angry villagers suddenly surround you. It was them. I saw it with my own eyes. They're the kidnappers. A familiar voice. Remember a few days. Wait, a familiar voice. Remember a few days ago, the owner of this was voice was inciting the villagers to burn a girl alive in the ignorant village. Calm them down. No matter if you threatened or tried to reason with them, the villagers were completely unmoved. They seemed to be possessed by the hatred toward you. There was no other way but to use force to quell the conflict. Okay. Oh, you did it to yourself. Done. The villagers could finally calm down or regain their senses, sewing down their weapons. They look quite weak, obviously suffering from the side effects of some kind of an enhanced magic potion. As for the reason, the villager has had the village has had four children missing in a row, and they are so young. Please, sir, Satan children. So that's why the villagers are so angry. Of course you can't refuse such a request. Ask about the instigator. We don't know the person either. Shortly after the children went missing, he suddenly appeared was very enthusiastic about helping us find the children. His words were like magic and everyone trusts everything he said. Oh, by the way, he calls himself Marcus and comes from Haven. Search for the missing child. Oh, 
Vader, Jalk Institute. Still don't know if I have any of those books. I'm gonna go to them. Consciously, oh, I've done this one. Attempt to dispel the white mist. The white mist gradually dissipates, and you suddenly find yourself surrounded by two huge figures. Two trolls. Hey, brother, fresh meat, they say with a terrifying laugh as they approach you. Okay, troll bros. Kind of goofy looking. Kind of tanky though. At least they don't seem to regenerate like trolls usually do. Okay, I think when you have this at your feet is when you're actually using your invulnerability, probably. You defeat the two troll brothers, search for loot. Yay, loot. Oh, we should have went to the fairy lady again, but that's okay. Too late for that. everywhere now. Okay. Ancient cemetery catches your interest. Oh, I don't have the luck, but it's okay. As you walk into this ancient and sacred cemetery, you feel a silent atmosphere. Ancient stone walls and pillars surround you, each with strange symbols and inscriptions. You can feel the history here is very long, and there is a mysterious and frightening atmosphere, as if an incredible power is lurking here. It's boring. Walk along a winding path in this ancient cemetery, surrounded by green trees and fresh air. With a floral scent, you continue to explore and discover an ancient stone tomb with unique patterns and great attraction. You reach into the tomb and find a metal chest. Okay. Nice. Metal okay, chest. Let's go. Guys, right me, I guess. Then I die doing this last. I'm pretty sure I did. 
This time may be different, but probably not. Seems like damage is like capped at some certain points, it feels like. I just don't feel like I'm doing much damage. Move the stone. I doubt I can, but I'm gonna try. With the stone falling, there's a loud rumble. Oh, I guess I can't remember. Black smoke rises from the altar and dissipates into the sky. Finally, free echoes in everyone's ears. At that moment, you sense a disturbance around you. Oh, nice. Good job, mate. The treasure. Worth it. Everything's so strong, I can't kill it. Uh, approach it. Oh, I got it. What? You gathered your courage in into a room, but everything was silent. Nothing happened. The old lucky chest in front of you seemed intact, at least. Hopefully there are good things inside. Yeah, okay. Kick the chest open with all your might and open it. Wow, that's weird. I don't know why that happened, but I'll take it. Okay, treasure map. Wow, well, last night was really chaotic. With the mist rising at dawn, you drank a horrible, strong, horrible tea and reminisced about everything that happened last night. All you can remember is drinking, bragging, gambling, fighting, oh, and winning a map from someone you can't remember. You searched your pockets and pulled out an ancient parchment. Could this be a treasure map? Yeah, treasure hunter. Ah, hell. Bounty hunter, following the clues provided by the map, you arrived at the ruins of an old castle, but several other adventurers have arrived. They seem quite unhappy with the sudden competition. Intimidate them. With your powerful aura, I don't understand the numbers. The treasure hunters backed off. After a brief discussion, the rel they reluctantly threw up their hands and said, Well, tomb robbers have visited this place countless times, so there's no valuable treasure left. Let's just go our separate race. Watching the treasure hunters walk away, you continue your treasure hunt in peace. The castle wasn't very big, and aside from a broken treasure chest and a strange stone pedestal, there wasn't anything useful. Oh. After looking around for a while, you decide to leave. You had already experienced enough trouble today. Busy Market Manor. Manor. After s arriving in Haven, you quickly learn about Marcus, a nouveau rich, I don't know, who made his fortune selling bootleg liquor and the locals don't have much love for him. Recently, there have been rumors of young girls disappearing overnight in the suburbs and the constant presence of black cloth clothed figures and covered wagons coming in and out of Marcus's estate only adds to the suspicion. However, because of the lack of evidence in Marcus's bribery, of Almost all the town officials, the guards turn a blind eye to such matters. Night Raid the Mansion. Marcus's estate stands out in this, this remote town, and the town hall in Haven is like a broken house compared to it. In the evening, you arrived outside the walls of the estate, and it was clear that you were still far from your target and needed to come up with a plan climb over the wall. Your movements were too loud and attracted a few guards. Get out of here quickly or else. Oh, hell. There's a lot of them. They are tanky. Everything's tanky. Everything's tanky. Ah, get away from me. I do have HP regen, but god dang it, dude. Ah. I killed one of them. I have pretty good move speed, but they're still so much faster than me. Kind of rude, actually. Eh. Hey, 
we did it. Huzzah. Quickly climbed over the wall using an ancient human ladder. Continue exploring. The guards of the city quickly discovered its strategy. Well, at least I'm actually failing my checks I'm supposed to now. Uh oh. Now there's archer out. Uh, guards, I guess. At least I'm pretty tanky, so that's something. Go away. Waking ability yet, whatever that would be. <sighs> Yay, Mooncat killed them all. There's a small shabby door at the back of the great <laughs> building, which is definitely for service center and exit. Look, looks like they didn't even bother to change the lock to a stronger one, and you kick the door open with ease. Continue exploring. It's getting late, and there isn't a single light on this in this huge building, very suspicious, and the sound of the broken door earlier attracted quite a few guards as well as black robe mages. Of course it did. I didn't even get my treasure from the last place because you moved me, you heathen devil. After dealing with the guards, you made your way to the spacious hall in the dark. All the windows in the hall were covered with black curtains, and you found more black-robed mages holding dim candles, chanting unknown spells around an altar at the end, other end of the room. There seems to be two people on the altar, but you didn't have time to look closely. Even a fool could guess what they were going to do next. Disrupt the ritual. There's no time to hesitate. You leaped out from the shadows and launched an attack. God, I feel like I'm about to get murdered. As per usual, when these quests go on for too long. Darn you, hooded figures. Oh yeah, they're hurting me. Yay. We have continuous damage on them, at least. That's something, but dang it. Thank you, dude. Everybody tanky. Except for me! Oh, I'm tanky too, I guess. What the heck? Surrounded. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on because of all your spells and whatnot, and then you just die. Well, you can see your health at least, but you die really quickly in this game. Quickly rushed to the altar. There was clearly a young woman lying on the altar, and a man in a black evening dress and yelling beside her. <laughs> his golden monocle revealed red pupils, and there was blood on his mouth. A vampire! Oh god. The ritual was successful. I finally have the eternal life. You recognize the voice as Marcus, the mastermind behind the villagers' agitation. Tonight you will be the witness of my rebirth, and also the new sacrifices I offer to my master. That's what I like to hear. Being a sacrifice. The best. Uh oh, bats everywhere. That's expensive. Where you at, bro? Oh, what's up, man? Marcus, loser, weenie. Get away from 
away, bats. Get away. Bats are bad. I like them. Oh, he charged at me. HP regen because I don't have the priest to heal me. Even though she likes to take breaks from healing every now and then, which is frustrating. It's like, oh, hell no. Oh, don't kill me, please. At least they didn't kill me like when I was playing that chick that one time, bro. That's just murdered me. Drive by. Yeah, we did it. Okay, what you got to say now? The children have already been sent away, and they will become living sacrifices offered to my master. You will never find them again. It seems that there is no more useful information to be obtained, but at least you know the children are still alive. With the final immortality, you freed Marcus from the course of curse of immortality. He turned into a pile of ashes. Nice. As the morning sun showed down, you breathed a sigh of relief. However, the children still haven't been found, and the adventure is far from over quickly packed your bags and set off on your journey again without hesitation. I don't think it's so fast, but there's a lot of reading in this game. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell when they're doing their attacks or not because it looked like I could just run through here most of the time, but I guess it depends on the enemy because these guys are obviously not attacking back, which is weird. Yeah, I'll accept the mission. I got you, bro. Oh, there's the Dark Ritual. God dang it, I took the wrong quest. <laughs> that was a... Uh... Rescue the Caravan. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Dang it. I'm supposed to do that dark mission thing so I can unlock that one guy. As a companion or whatever. I think this is the one I want. I think this is a good one. Pray at the altar. Yeah, that's, that's kind of good. It's not the one I thought, but it's okay. That was gonna be the holy one, but it's not. Virtual, alright. 
After several days of tracking, you finally found some clues. According to reliable information, a cargo wagon registered under the name Morgus had just left the Liberty City and was heading to something. Towards the ancient wood city. You followed the trail of the wagon and arrived at the Twilight Forest. As night fell, you heard faintly heard eerie singing. Following the singing, you quickly arrived at a clearing where the missing children were lying helplessly on a huge magic circle surrounded by a group of black robe cultists. You immediately realized that these people intended to sacrifice the children. Launch an attack. The appearance of you and your team did not seem to surprise the black robe people as if they were already prepared. They began chanting strange spells and suddenly countless skeletons emerged from the ground. Okay. Let's try not to die here. Oh, he's pretty squishy at least. Skeletons don't seem to be dying, but he does. I'm Star Cat, Moon Cat, whatever cat you are, Banana Cat. Yeah, I didn't get no awakened spells this time, it doesn't seem like, unless I get them later. You aimed your blade at the throat of the cult priest. He stared at you with blood red eyes and threatened in a hoarse voice. You had stare to oppose the blood source sect. And there's only one way to die. You sneered disdainfully and didn't take his words to heart. He was just a despicable murderer who was willing to sacrifice innocent children to achieve his goal. You decisively ended his life and rescued all the children. Nice. You returned to the village. The villagers came to celebrate your victory. At the market the next uh, um, at the market of New Day, you often told your story. You had long forgotten about the blood served sect. After all, for the challenges you were about to face, all of this was just the beginning. sword thing and just looked weird. Uh, go to Wandering Merchant. Trade. Uh, that's all I got. And the old man gratefully puts smiles and puts the money in his pocket, saying, Thank you, sir. I know it's a little bit of base killing magic. Let me heal your wounds. No, that's fine. Oh, well. I couldn't give him 30%. I didn't have enough money for 30% to be worth anything, I don't guess. Scam. taking damage right now, but I'll take it. Because I don't seem to have the thing on. I don't think. Open fader. 
Start with coin, man. You toss a coin, it takes a long time for the ground to reach you. It seems that the well is dry and very deep. But you wait for a while, but nothing happens. You know you have to leave, but you feel a sense of relief. No, I'm not chosen. Claim. Not the chosen one. Approach treasure chest. Charge! Ah, oh, hell. I get it. Lame. Enchanted farmer. As you pass through a village, a poor farmer's wife begged for your help. Please, please save my husband. He's been possessed. But ever since he caught a deer with antlers and sold it a week ago, he's been running into the forest every day, staying there all day long. Oh, neglecting his work in the fields. The woman sobbed as she poured her heart out to you. I've tried to persuade him several times, but he just wants to listen and even hit me. The village elder said he must have been cursed by magic. Please help me bring him home. But please don't hurt him. It's a pretty demanding task. Believe it, I can't get it. Well, I could have got lucky like that one time, I guess. FF Core 2? Okay. On this day, you decided to take a break from work and rest. You patrolled, strolled around the town to pass the time, and ran into a half elf girl who sold fake magic. Shouldn't be fast enough, but we'll try. Around the town to pass the time and ran into the half-elf girl who sold fake medicine. Of course she saw you too. You both stared at each other for a few seconds before the little girl suddenly ran away. Quickly catch up. But you still instinctively chased after her. The little girl ran around the run-down streets, getting, creating very, uh, various obstacles along the way. Unknowingly, you had ventured, ventured deep into the most intimidating slums of the Liberty City. The place was clearly not suitable for respectable people, and the roadside was gradually filled with beggars and residents who were no different from them. The little girl made a sharp turn and slipped into a gloomy alley. You followed her, but a wall attacked them. The <laughs> whoever it is. to fight off the thugs, some of whom were pinned against the wall and covered in dirt, while others were thrown into nearby barrels filled with foul-smelling liquid. Hopefully they would have nightmares tonight. Continue chasing the little elf girl. You continued to chase after the little girl and saw her disappear into the inconspicuous earthen house. You have to admit that you didn't think much when you rushed in. However, you saw stepped on a tripwire, and to make matters worse, there were not just one, but several crossbow traps behind it. 
Despite your quick reaction, you were unable to dodge all the crossbow bolts and unfortunately suffer some damage. Darn it, continue chasing. Aha, a secret door, there must be something hidden behind it. But how to open it? Break down the door. The acrid smell of smoke hit you as you entered the room, where a group of thieves were busy burning documents and packing up their belongings under the supervision of their boss. You scanned the room but couldn't find the half-elf girl. It wasn't until your gaze fell on a small feral figure curled at the feet of a tall man that you saw her. The man had a large cage behind him, containing several ragged-looking children. It was clear that this was an evil human trafficking operation. As for you foolish adventurers, the boss suddenly stopped whipping and turned to look at you and smirk on his face. I just decided to hold a grand funeral for you today. The darn human traffickers, they won't see the sun tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see. You. My health is hurt because of the stupid arrow trap. Take that human trafficker guy. It's unclear who tipped off the city guards, but they arrived in the center of the slum, surrounding the building in a grand procession. The thieves were all tied up and taken away in prison wagons, and the children were rescued. Unfortunately, the documents in the iron safe had already been burned to ashes, and information about this Bahar person's plan would have to be extracted through interrogation. Confirm. Oh, I can do that. No. On me. That's not my job. Defeat the leader of the thieves. Road deeds. Where's that exit portal? Oh, it's in the ta table. Half-elf girl, what's up, girl? Encounter the half-elf girl, or at least she looks happy. Again on the street, and she looks like she's doing well. She recognizes you immediately and comes over to greet you. After thanking and praising you, she slyly smiles and pulls out a bottle of red potion from her bag, offering it to you. Sir, real unicorn blood, would you like to buy some? Yeah. Oh, it's actual real. Okay, buy the real unicorn blood from the little girl. What else do you have to sell? The little girl asks with a smile. Buy diluted unicorn blood for something. Okay, fake unicorn blood. I'm asking her, dude. Any other items? Oh, she sells all kinds of stuff, actually. Say goodbye. Thank you, sir. See you next time. The little girl bows to you and happily leaves. We did it. That felt good. It's nice finishing a quest and having good stuff happen. I'll take it. I need a meter. I'm gonna pick up all this money and stuff, bro. Money. I just want to make sure I have money in case I go to a shop on my fader or whatever. Thank <laughs> you. 
like to level up and be able to collect all the stuff, but I'm not guarantee I'll get that ability either if I do level up. I am close to leveling up though, so I'll probably wait. What is this one actually? What's that one thing called? The suck everything up a bit thing. That's what I want. So I can get all this XP. I know there's XP everywhere. Well, at least I'm collecting a lot of fader, so once I do get it, I can leave them. Or I'll be able to do a lot of things back to back, I guess. Kidding me. to open the fader regardless. Man, I really want to get that dang thing though. Man, it's kind of hard though, because like I know I have all this stuff laying on the ground and I want to collect it all. I could do it if it, it just hasn't been giving me the ability, which is kind of weird because I usually get it pretty often. Not right now, I'm not. for this because I would totally reroll this and see if I could get it. I guess it doesn't cost me anything but XP though, so Level up, then we'll check. Maybe after you've taken it so many times, you just can't get it anymore, or it's just bad RNG one of the two. I don't know. Oh my god, 
Okay, screw it. Oh, I've done this one. Break down the door. I haven't done that yet. It's all one building. You full, you're full blow directly knocked off the entire door panel. After the dust settled, you saw that the interior house was already in a mess with broken furniture and dusty floors. The light shone through the holes in the floors. Obviously, you have invaded the territory of rats. Uh, I've already had that part. Uh, that just cuts out some of the bell, man, really. Okay, go to the second floor, get the key, go to the fourth floor. Oh. Did I not beat this earl? I'm pretty sure I beat this one, didn't I? On the other run? I mean, I died that run, I think, but I still beat it, I think. Mean. Yeah, this is the goblin people. Yeah, I've done this one, for sure. Investigation. One second, we did it. Okay, the violent storm was about to come and to avoid it, you found a cave. However, various signs indicated that the cave already had residents. Enter cave boldly. It's obvious that you have already alarmed the residents here. Yes, I live here now. Chicken. Oh, it's a goat thing. What the hell? Reindeer. Where'd you go? That's what it is. Probably. Now we're freezing to death. Take that, Dingus. Oh, I'm moving now. Freeze him. Ha ha ha. I've been vulnerable for like the longest time, actually. I'll teach you. Politely calm down. Ah, it is a one to go. The residents here and search around. Search for loot. Yay, loot. Canyon. Should I try to cross the drawbridge? Canyon blocked your way. Yeah, I'm going for it. By the grace of the gods, you safely cross the suspension. I'm wondering if it's like a percent chance and you have like a complete 100% chance if you have more, but you can still win without it. Okay, what's going on? Oh, dragon. I ain't got time for that right now. Here, narrow path. Fight the trents. Or dryads, whatever. They're ants. They're not dryads. In my opinion. I think dryads are like the half deer chicks. Ants are the tree people, or trance either way. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I got that thing I haven't got yet. And angel statue. Oh, hey, I'll hide it there. I'm gonna try. Sure. Ring one. Well, we finally got that one. Okay. Stop talking and get to work. There's no way we make it to the undead ladies thing, I don't think. Or the priest. It doesn't hurt to try, though, I guess. I'd like to go to a shop and spend all my money, but...
Treasures at the Cape. Wind Whisper held, holds a nursery rhyme called Redskin Cannibals. Redskin Cannibals landing on the coast and killing endlessly. With knives, guns, and flames, they plunder villages and steal gold. Don't ever provoke these the Redskin monsters. Quickly add your gold, silver, and jewels. In the blood war of the age, a group of remnants of Ace's army once plundered this area. And it is said they can even looted the Temple of the Sea. The thought of the large red cross marking on the map at the Thieves Guild indicating the location Wind Whisper hold crosses your mind. Can't help but feel a scent of hidden treasure still lingering in the darkness start. Treasure hunting. You originally thought that on the long and winding coastline of Wind Whisper hold, searching for a wartime bunker or hidden cave would unfold, yet as you wandered aimlessly along the sandy shore, all you encountered were endless waves and lost footprints no more. The world's vastness left you in awe and contemplation, but just as you were ready to abandon your expedition, fortune smiled on you and granted a stroke of luck as you stumbled upon a go goblin and ratman scouting pack, both sides froze, standing apart, eyes locked and gaze, but it was the enemy who... Oh, they pissed. I don't care. Take this. Be mad. Oh, the priest. Oh, yeah, I did pick up the priest, didn't I? I did, I did. Well, at least I did get a lot of gems off this one. Oh, she's dead, but I'm here. Ah, oh, you're getting me killed, lady. God dang. Priest's curse, bro. <laughs> Anytime you take the priest, it gets hard to Fleeing like startled birds taking wind, the goblin and rat goblins and ratmen did flee, accidentally guiding the way forward for you to see. Though you tried to block their path with might, some managed to slip away from sight. Ah, oh, that's rhyming. Uh -huh. In that moment, a decrepit gray fortress came into view with a dozen orcs cooking, their campfire burning true. The scouts cried out, panic spreading far and wide, alerting the orcs who rallied for a fight side by side. Time to fight. Oh, I can level up her stuff, I guess. After this run, I'm gonna have to take a break for a bit. Yeah, I clear out my throat and stuff. Get stopped up when I've been reading for too long. Mucusy. Got the phlegm. I don't even try to rescue her. Like I said, she's cursed. <laughs> she's cursed, bro. What ensued was a battle fierce and grim. It's more. Orcs joined, the odds became dim. It's time to fight. Yay. More fighting. My luck went down. Oh, it's because her things were out. It's a thick boy right there. I haven't seen thick orcs yet. But now I have, I guess. Now she dead again. Bruh. <laughs> Bounty must be super tanky, because he's not dying even though she's getting murdered. Well, he does it every now and then. Not as bad as she is. God, these guys are tanky too, though. Well, 
they really not dying or are they just not counting towards my kills? It's God, dude. Pretty sure I'm not, they're not counting towards my, there we go. Wow, they are tanky, Jesus. If that was the third one. Killed the big ones before I've even like killed it. barely any of the little ones. The little ones ain't dying, bro. For real. They're like tanky as hell. They die, bro. Well, we're a tenth of the way there, I guess, but geez. How many buffs I've taken, and these things are still tanky as hell. So tanky, dude. Wake up. this treasure worth it? I do not know. <laughs> At all. I wonder if you move the screen, does it like teleport these guys around and kind of break up the blob? It might. I don't know if it's new people spawning when you move around or if it's like actually the people that are off screen teleporting to like a closer location. Regardless, these things take forever to kill. Banana cat, take them out, bro. It doesn't seem like my numbers are really going up, even though I've taken so many like strength buffs and whatnot. I don't understand. Give me a sec, I gotta check something. I do like the big statue though, that's kind of nice.
Well, I'm legitimately trying to kill these things, and this is so sad. How long this is taking me, bro? Uh. Halfway there. Gosh. I hope there's not another one after this that's like kill 600, even tankier people. God bless, bro. After this one, I think I'm gonna go to the shop regardless of what fate. Nah, it depends, I guess, what fate shows up. But I do want to go to the shop. Seems like if you run in a straight line, they don't really attack you, which is kind of weird. Oh, well, I guess they do, because they killed the hell out of her. Seems like their attack has like a wind-up of some sort, though. Most enemies. Some of them attack way faster than others, for sure. Destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and this fight's taking forever. I want to win. Oh lord. Only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. Me. It'll be me. It'll just take a very long time. Pretty good at dying. I wonder if there's an achievement for resurrecting your companion so many times. So close. <laughs> we are so close to I being mean, no one. I don't resurrect that loser, but she's enjoying being laying on the ground, I guess. I don't know. Not 
to get low. Down goes Frazier. It within and without, no one was granted reprieve as all met their doom. The souls forced to grieve, search for loot. Please, no enemies. The treasures within the fortress were scant and small. Grabs squandered by orcs are not valued at all. Or maybe they he simply held no worth. Only the fortress itself, knowing the true spur. Ace was missing, nowhere to be found. Leaving you with the solace profound. Gathering the spoils, you took your leave. Before the sun set, your departure you did achieve. Okay, guy. That's toxic. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously spoils. I got a lot of money here, I think. I don't know what we're looking for, but... Great boomerang. There was a huge boomerang in each of the six directions. Nice. We finally got our legendary thing. That looks like a shark to me, but I don't know. Ring two. Track the fortress directly. This is where I died, right? Following the scribbled map, you finally found the orc fortress hidden in the valley. Unfortunately, the guards of the fortress have already discovered you and they shouted mate, and made threatening gestures, probably telling you to leave quickly. The orcs must die. Actually, I think I died not on this quest, but on the priest quest or something. I don't know. I died somewhere. Where's the orc chieftain at? Oh, is that him right there? Or Chieftain looking old. Or Chieftain looking fragile. Chieftain died late. Yay. After a hard fought battle, the Orc Chieftain finally became a soul under your sword. And the remaining orcs scattered. You looted the entire fortress, including the family ring, a magical ring that shimmered with mysterious light. Nice. Family ring. Donald family heirloom brings good luck. Gold acquisition plus 20%. Orc army flag. Orc honor represents the honor of the orc. If taken by other races, it is the greatest humiliation for orcs. They will do anything to get it back. Extra skill shot plus one. Oh, that's really good. Sure. This place is awesome. Sword of heavenly punishment. Light spear vance. Oh, I actually got two advanced skills. Cast three spears of judgment at once to attack the target, raining down the curse upon hitting. Water sandwich. Nice. Oh, look at that. It's actually a projectile now instead of like an actual rain down thing. Oh no, wait, is that it? What am I shooting then? I don't know, dude. I'm confused as hell. Actually. <laughs> Devil's deal. It's a restless night, and suddenly a demon with flames all over its body appears before you. Mortal, my master admires you, and for a small price, you can gain my master's power. Attack it. Shut up! The holy warrior leaped out of the team and stood between everyone and the demon, holding up its holy armor. The holy armor army is above. He evil cannot shake my faith even a little bit. Today is your end. Go back to hell, demon. The demon's expression twisted, his eyes flashing with anger and contempt. The flames on his body burned even more fiercely, and you were surrounded by a sea of fire, you foolish mortals. I feel like there was more he wanted to say there, but it got cut off. Where's he at? Oh, what's up, guy? By the way, I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, he did do a lot of damage for me, I guess. Look at those holy beams, bro. They are holy in the crap out of that man. Actually. <laughs> Rest in peace, son. When the final blow hit, the demon disappeared into the flames with a groan. You woke up in the morning and found the unburnt ashes on the ground. Last night was not just a dream, confirm. Demon ashes, a precious crafting material for mages. Eliminate the de demon minions. Nice. Got an achievement. I can't fade her again yet. But soon. Not can. Rain 3. You are several miles away from the Skywing encounter when you encounter Herbius again. Apparently he has been waiting for you here for a while. My men have seen you get the ring. Well done, Commoner. Give me the ring and you'll be off the hook. Leave me off the hook. 
I didn't get the ring. Thinking of the tr that a trace of cleverness can deceive me, betrayal is what I despire most. Your days as a lowly peasant are numbered. No, it's because I'm rich. Because I have your ring, son. Okay, these die. At least. Unlike the orcs. God bless, bro. Strike down the last Marty mercenary, but Herber... Herberus has long vanished into thin air. Let it be, then. Just an air getting out of man's rant. At least you've gained something. Probably should have gave it back to him, but it's okay. I thought I might get an achievement for killing all those people. Oh, hell, the dragon ran at me. Bad dragon. Oh, there's a thing down here. Go away, dragon. I'm trying to do faders. Wizard Tower. Oh, okay. So it keeps some of your things from previous missions. That's kind of nice. In the distance, an ancient tower caught your attention. You were very sure that a strange green light had just flashed from the top of the tower. With a strange curiosity, you decided to go explore. Sprinkle half of the parry. You found the entrance to the tower, but found that it was sealed by powerful magic. You sprinkled fairy dust on the magic lock, and a burst of sparks appeared. With a few crackling sounds, the magic seal on the entrance disappeared. You cautiously entered the tower. The first floor of the tower looks, looked like a laboratory, but everything was covered in cobs west, cobwebs and dust. It was clear that this place had been abandoned for a long time. As you tried to enter, find a way to the top of the tower, a piercing scream echoed through the entire tower as a banshee. Holy warrior resist. The paladin quickly recited a holy prayer. You successfully resisted the banshee's mental attack, but it wasn't over yet. Two pale banshees oh, passed through the ceiling of the top floor and flew straight towards you. I hope they're not as tanky as that one banshee. No, they're not. They are squishy compared to that one banshee. Rest in peace. Succubus. Those pitiful ether ethereal creatures were purified and the screams they made before disappearing seemed to be a thank you to you and an accusation against their master. Continue exploring. After some searching, you found a passage behind a bookshelf that led directly to the top of the tower. When you reached the top of the tower, you quickly found the source of the strange green light, a large green crystal suspended in the center of a magic circle. The formula used to extract the magic circle is quite complex, and its function was probably to protect the crystal at the center of the circle. A sprinkle of rain and fairy. As the power touched the circle, blue flames ignited. Several flashes of light flashed like thunder. With the sun, with a burst of explosion, the suspended green crystal and the magic circle were scattered, shattered. Everything fell silent, and you didn't plan to waste much time here. After searching for a while, you left the tower. Well, at least I got an achievement. And I think the fairy should be free now, so that's something. Elf shoes. Oh, did I kill the dragon or something? What is this? Oh, no, that's just a kill everything thing. Except for the dragon. Dragon up here. What's up, dude? Dragon tanky, bro. I mean, I'm tanky too, but that dragon really tanky. Killed the priest. Oh, well, that's not too shocking, I don't guess. Yay, we did it. Dragon slain.
Yeah, we got a lot of magic crystals on this run. I mean, it's been a long run, though, so it makes sense, I guess. Man, I'd really like to get that one thing that grabs all the stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get it. About to use the fader, but I'm trying to see if I can get one more level up to see if I get it or not. Hey, windfall, finally, dude. Best reputation. As you wander around the trading post, a merchant stops you. I heard that you are a very reputable, per reputable person, and you also have strength. I have a sum of money that needs to be entrusted to you to take it to the trading post in Odapar. After your job is done, the other party will give you a good reward. That. I absolutely believe that you are a trustworthy person. Please take care of this money. The merchant takes out a money bag from the box at his feet and hands it to you. There are 50,000 gold in here. Be careful of thieves and bandits on the way and don't drink alcohol. I have 50,000 gold, bro. What? Uh, enchanted farmer. I know I don't have time for Journey of the Soul. You finally found the farmer. He was sitting on a stump doing nothing. Negotiate with the farmer. You know what happened last week right here in the spot? The farmer excitedly pointed to the stump he was sitting on. A deer with antlers were suddenly rushed over and hit the stump right in front of me and died. I sold the deer with antlers and got three months worth of food for my family. I think if more deers were with antlers keep hitting the spot, I won't have to work on the farm anymore. Maybe I'll even become rich. Persuade him to go back. Get out of here, stranger. Don't inherit. Interfere with my fortune, no matter what you said, the farmer was unmoved. Right now. Seems like this situation can only be resolved with brute force. Ah, oh, I wasn't supposed to hurt him though. Oh well. Hi, farmer. Beat up the farmer and dragged him back home. <laughs> Despite his swollen face, the farmer's wife still welcomed you and gave you a bag. This was left by a traveler in our home. You can have it. Receive the gift. Yay. Maybe I can get one more fader done? Maybe. Yeah, sick. I don't want to spend my money, but... Best reputation, too. Uh, you must be the one delivering the money, right? A dwarf merchant looks at you and asks you. Yeah. Uh, not a single coin less. Very reputable. Take it, my friend. This is what you deserve. The dwarf merchant happily hit, hands you a treasure chest. Okay, thanks. Increases gold gain by 10 something percent. Well, at least I completed that quest, too. The only one we didn't complete was the priest class, which kind of sucks because I'm strong enough to do it, but... Oh well. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's my priest. <laughs> Just lying there being dead. The classic. Dang, we killed a lot of enemies though. 20,000, that's a pretty good amount, I think. Ah, and we got a fader just before he ended. Ha ha ha. Alchemist. You come across a... Recruitment met oh god, he's one of the people I need. Message on the Adventurous Guild bulletin board that catches your attention. Looking for experimental science assistance. Simple work. Just need to be in good health. No risk involved. Generous compensation. Alchemy Master Brock Blask invites your participation. Accept a mission. Brief recruitment message seems to be seem to hold a lot of hidden information, but enticed by the promise of generous compensation, you decide to give it a try. You made your way through the market to the factory district where in the, the era of bloodshed it was the largest weapons manufacturing area on the continent. Countless dwarven craftsmen worked day and night to create various weapons for the front lines. Now that the war has been over for many years, the area has gradually become deserted. You arrived at the old factory that has been converted into an alchemy laboratory. A sign hung at the entrance reads, Do not disturb. Alchemy Master Brock Flask. You knocked on the door and it was almost 
opened by a gnome wearing a white robe who seemed excited and grabbed her hand, saying, Oh, you must be an experimental assistant who came to apply. That's great. That's great. Come with me. The gnome led you all the way to his laboratory. The room was filled with various bottles, tubes, smoking boilers, strange instruments, and piles of messy books. Welcome to my laboratory. Currently, I'm developing a new potion and need some volunteers to drink the potion. The potion has sour smell, but you still drink it. Maximum health reduced. How is it? Did you notice anything strange? The gnome started at you, stared at you carefully. You obviously didn't produce any more interesting results than a loud burp, and he seemed disappointed. This is a noteworthy result, but not what I was looking for. It seems the dragon urine alone isn't enough. I still need a bottle of your king. Her unicorn blood. It should be difficult for experienced adventurers, right? I got it already. Come back to me when you found what I need. The gnome gently, happily escorted you out the door. But I have it already. You suck. I don't have time. Ah, oh, you turd. Well. Unlocking Grom. Unlocking five rainbow crystals. Unlocking unicorn blood, unlocking family ring, unlocking orc flag, unlocking demon ashes, unlocking fox, unlocking five rainbow crystals. We should have a lot of rainbow crystals. Darn alchemist, you fool. You foolish fool. What's this do? All dark resistance? I don't need that. I might take this just for... Nah, it's fine. I need more damage and stuff. That was a pretty good upgrade. Alright, so we've done the Paladin, we've tried to do her. By the way she talks, kills me. Thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. She's the last one actually, which is kind of weird. I might play her again. I hate that her scythe is power uh, strength related though. Well, her stats kind of suck, too, to be honest with you. I don't really like her. I'd like to get the Alchemist, but... Priest is hard. Rogue, I haven't even unlocked yet. We've unlocked a lot of the characters, though. How about the you see my blade? Uh, I might do the Sage again, because he's smart. I don't know. Uh, let's give the Necromancer one more try, I guess. No, I can't. I can't do it. Alright, we can get Grom. Earl from Hell, make good use of him, and you will get everything you want. Fox. Cute little fox, I can use simple and magic. Nice. Let's give Grom a try, I guess. I feel like I've seen that sprite before. Oh, are those fire things? This is, wow, that seems strong. I've definitely seen that sprite somewhere before. 
for sure. Summon Golem, Lightning Arrow. We'll summon Golem, because all those. I'm obviously going to use magic, so. I don't need all those strength spells that they're trying to give me. I must hit E on accident. I don't know what I meant to do. I'm taking a break real quick. I'll be right back. I forgot to take off that dang banner again. I got it off now, but dang it, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, well. It'd be like that sometimes. Ooh, flames everywhere. a dang bird again, bro. At least it's not running to the edge of the stage like it did last time. That's nice, I guess. That's something. Crystal Barrier. I've already maxed out that one before, so I'm going to go Crystal Barrier for sure. Could go Cobweb as well. That doesn't go hard enough, I don't guess. Magic Missile. Oh, I'm poor. I'm poor. crystal ball thing. Oh, I'm dying. What's killing me? Is it him? He ranged, actually? Plot twist. Yeah, he must have glitched or something when he ran across the stage because that one didn't even try to. He actually, like, stood and hurt me, I guess. I think that was him anyways. It could have been something else, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go crit rate. Crit rate! And then I can open a fader. A fader! Oh, let's be bees! Probably killed... Mm. I don't know, I'm about to die, it looks like, actually. It looks like I'm about to pass. Seems super strong. Grum or whatever, however you pronounce it. Grum. I don't have any healing of any sort, I don't think, but. I should have took the potion, actually. It's okay, though, I think. I think Rum killed both of them, it looked like. Something did. Alright, I'm gonna open the fader. Maybe I'll get a chicken or something. Chicken! Search the carriage. How much luck do I have? 47? Okay. Quickly hide, it's definitely gonna work. Oh, am I dead? Okay, at least the percent of health things can't don't kill you. That's nice, I guess. I have a total of zero health. Zero health. Go spooky ghosties, go! Finish him! Spooky ghosties have short range, actually. There was a treasure chest, so this was all worth it. 
Especially if it had chicken in it, but I don't see no chicken. Uh oh. It was not all worth it. I have 2 HP, bro. What? <laughs> um, chicken? Oh, bugs. Wanting to buy chicken? Get away from me. I have a total of 2 HP. It's an help. Yes, chicken! Yes, we got some of our health back. It's a miracle. Christmas. I like how it gives me all the windfalls now that I'm on a new run and I don't need it. Toxic. Oh, it's a portal again. I will say, I very much struggle with finding the portal. There it is. Wow, wow. Bandits? Well, we're getting all the generic quests. yet. Continue. Continue. Primordial powers and tell- uh, skeletal reduction. And help. Took a crit there, my bad. Whoops. Swamp Swarm, the depth of the swamp. I already read this. Yeah, I already read this. Start the battle. Some more bees. The bees. Uh, at least health here regardless, because that they're mosquitoes, I guess. Whatever. Mosquitoes. Darned mosquitoes. Yeah, there goes ten of something. I lost ten of something there. Yay, ring of intelligence. All the intelligence. Nah, I don't want to do the camp. Oh, here we go. Can we do her quest? Her quest is so hard, bro. It really is. Do, do, 
my trophies, I need them. Uh, now I would like to get that thing Windfall or whatever it was called. Please and thank you. I think it's supposed to be fate. I don't know why it's fader, but <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that I get one falling out level up since I've seen it so many other times so far. I'll be like, nope, you've got, you had your chance to get it when you didn't need it. Yeah, I knew it. That's scam, bro. I'm gonna wait till I get it. Keep fighting things. killing things pretty quick, which this guy does start out with like a ridiculous amount of intelligence, so that helps a lot. Oh my god, dude, you gotta be kidding me. It really is not giving it to me now. It's so toxic. Flails, morning flail, I think it's a flail. Looking flail like. Hey, we finally got it, let's go. Just gotta believe. Fireballs, but why? Oh, she's always happy now. Yeah, I'll buy the unicorn blood. Encounter the half elf girl on the street. She looks, I think, the same. Yeah, I'll buy it from you. Thank you. I'll buy the delivery one too. Any other items? Uh, harp is okay, I guess. Uh, I'll take the fairy powder, actually. Say goodbye. See you next time, little elf girl. 
I'm glad that she becomes like a regular. I love how the stories kind of like progress and they stay progressed. No matter what run you're on, instead of like resetting every time. That's really nice, actually. Like world builds kind of makes it feel like you're making an impact on the world, which is nice. The Devil's Deal. I guess I'll trade him. It's a restless night. Apparently, only certain ones can kill him, I guess. And suddenly, a demon in flames. Uh, yeah, I'll take your master's power. Agree to trade. Clever mortal, I like you. The demon stares at you hungrily and reaches out a hand as if to grab something. You feel a part of your soul being dragged into a hellish abyss. Your soul is quite delicious. My master is pleased. The demon, demon grins. Take it, mortal. It's what you desired. Is it? It's just a treasure chest. What? You sure? <laughs> you sure this is what I desire? I don't know. I don't even think I have thunder magic. Damn. Oh, fairy princess. In a sacred forest, a beauty, beautiful fairy appears before you. She asks in a thorough voice, Mortal, I can grant you a wish. What do you desire? Uh, attack the fairy. Why? The fairy looks at you with confusion <laughs> and sighs. I can never understand the thought of creatures in the material world. I want achievements. That's uh, that's why. Oh, hell, she's, oh, she's pissed. Uh, I can't blame her, but I want achievement, girl. No, she... Not a threat. Achievement? You do have extraordinary power or favor on mortal with the dazzling light, the fairy disappears. Did I get an achievement? Oh, I got another fairy powder. Sick. No, I didn't get an achievement. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I did. Ha 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 ha. Defeat the fairy princess. Heroic deeds. <laughs> is that really a heroic deed, though? Where the hell's the exit portal? There it is. Killing things? That's heroic. Oh, you never know. She might have betrayed me or something. Maybe it was heroic. She's sure to think twice before messing with humans. Journey of the Soul 2. Again. penetration. Particularly strong right now fighting these creatures, honestly. Do do, ba do do. Oh hell, I got stuck on that thing, so I couldn't run all the way through. Whoops. 
Super magic missile. Now it shoots this green booger out with it or something. Oh, wow. Alright. Busy market camp. This one. You discover him path. Oh, this is worth the trees. Hey, tree people. Missile, magic missile. I hey, guess what? Magic missile. Archer bracers. Sick. Soul 3, that's where we die, typically. Did I already do your quest, bro? I'm gonna do Journey to Soul 3. Go to the obelisk. Yes, I take damage. Start the battle so I can lose the classic. Black obelisk is so tanky, bro. Oh my god, what did I just get hurt by? The black obelisk just hit me or something? What is hitting me? Stop it. This area sucks! Get back! This area's huge, actually. Yeah, they definitely teleport. That's definitely happening. Oh, I'm so dead, actually. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that part's so hard. Oh, lord. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Like a sage. Just sage things, bro. Fudge, dude. It's our game. How about a fireball combo? Bro, they're chat. Uh, okay. I haven't played the bard yet, so I'm just gonna play him. 
I'm telling you, that's so that lady's quest is so hard. I'm gonna play the fox. Just see what he does. Wow, he looks weird. <laughs> that's not what I imagined him to look like in game, considering his profile picture. Huh. Got catfished by the bard. Uh, I'll take him healing, I guess. Am I going to go f attack or I'm going to go magic, I guess? Because that's what Sound of Wind is, anyways. I want that one, though. I'm going to take Holy Light for sure. He moves fast. Is that like his special powers? He walks fast. Uh, even faster. Oh, I'm still poor. God dang it. Even poor socks. There we go. I got it now. Is that what that always looked like? I don't remember. I guess it did. I don't know. Hmm. Bomb swarm. Skeeters. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ah. Bees. Struggling with these bees or whatever swarms and mus mosquitoes. They're skeeters. Skeeters, get away from me! Ice Spike did really good for me that one run. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that guy's going the distance like the other one did that one time. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Oh, now he's coming back. Okay. Or maybe he's not. these ones.
Do I have two different uh, sound of wind spells? It looks like I do. Weird. I don't know how I ended up with two different ones, but that's interesting, I guess. Do they both work? Gods, visit the altar. What you got? Sure, we're friends, I guess. Oh, it's Earth. That's okay. That'll work. get the holy light one again. I got that before. Well, actually, you can get multiples. I know you can. I saw that happen. I'm gonna talk to him. On the road, you see a man. Uh, didn't we already say goodbye to the poet? Okay, well, I've already done that. I don't know why that's still a quest. I don't understand. Weird. I am that guy. <laughs> Honestly. I'm playing that character right now. I know that man. He is me. She's not mad about it, but yeah, I'm poor. Refuse the demon. You foolish mortal, refusing our deal is equivalent to refusing your future. The choice will inevitably make you pay the price. Instantly, flames ignited around you and had nowhere to escape, completely consumed by flames. Suddenly woke up from the nightmare. Nah, I killed him once. That was the best ending, actually. Best end. I've already done this one too, actually. I'll accept the mission. I might just do it differently, I guess. Entry cemetery, wait for the culprit. Can I do that? No. Continue to wait. Can't do that either.
Let's let the music notes pop off. Rest and recover. Heck yeah, boy. Rock throwing worms are hurting me. Come on, music. Now it's killing. There you go. I need to get my luck up. One, my healing thing's not healing too much. And two, I'm not getting much gold from these things and all these coins. The coinage is failing me, bro. Far bet. Start the fight. It doesn't seem like the damage from our music notes is necessarily bad, but it doesn't seem super good either. It's middle. It's mid damage. Rub my boots. Try to pry open the chest. Yay! Oh wait, you tried it? I'm weak. <laughs> oh, dang it. I'm weak, boy. Oh, let me click this. What is it? Oh, this is the Z thing. Yeah. I was like, oh, is this tips? Is this gonna explain some things? Are things about to be explained? Nope. Gold acquisition. I like gold and acquisition of it. So is this the map I just came from? It kind of looks like it, don't it?
Die, stuck plant, die! Hmm, he might be immortal. Nah, he gonna die eventually. There he goes. Yay, money and XP. Ah, oh, they're killing me. Ouch. Just wanted my money and XP, bro. Alright, let's get out of here. Can I move the stone? I don't think so, but I'll try. Yeah, I'm weak. Throw a coin in. I'm going to attack it. Swing your sword <laughs> without hesitation and attack the ghost, not understanding its words. Hey. Did I get an achievement for that, maybe? Oh, hell. The Vengeance Ghost. Oh, he's kind of weak, actually. Poor guy. Alongside, the ghost gradually turns into white mist and dissipates into the air. In its place, the treasure chest is left behind. Sorry, bro. I just wanted to see if there was an achievement, but... It ain't looking like it. Release Holy Light Strike deals 200 damage and restores 6% of life. on the ground. Life still spell, or the holy life spell, whatever it is. It's it gives me health for damage. It's life still, pretty much. Uh, want longer life? As you wish. The fairy way. Oh, she's nice. Actually, <laughs> well. Alright, that's after I put her in her place last time. <laughs> obviously, she was going to do something bad. Until I killed her, obviously. I'm the good guy. That's how this works. I'm having a hard time killing these things. As with most things. Crater, a group of orcs block your path, and you can see the anger and hostility in their eyes. For the for the chief, revenge. You can guess the meaning of from the angry shouts they make. Okay, yeah, I did kill that guy, but that was a long time ago, bro. that work out for you. As the last war orc warrior falls into the a pool of blood, you can take a deep breath and survey the aftermath of the battle. The ground is loaded with the bodies of the defeated orcs and the air is thick with the smell of blood and sweat. You can feel the weight of your fight of the fight on your shoulders, but you know that you must press on. Confirm. You have the black thing they had last time? No? Oh, okay. That's cool. Whatever.
the Church of Rains. Bury that bad boy. No problem, dude. I've done that one before. Hidden Tower. I guess I'll do it again. Why not? It's time to fight! After navigating through carefully laid camouflage spells, the culprit's footprints began- Oh, this is the thief person. Or the necromancer. Alright. Sick. Can I get two... Oh, it's a gargoyles. Oh, heck. Kill them. Remember them being rather tanky last time? Do to do, do to do. About time for a fantasy football draft. That wasn't my cue, that was just me making the noise. You couldn't tell. My spot on ESPN impression. Where's that sports center? ESPN sports center? I don't know. Ah! Oh heck, they're killing me. Good thing I have the power of healing. Ah, they're so tanky, I'm so weak. We did it! Alright, young slender sorcerer, it's time to fight, necromancer lady. I'm kind of confused why it's letting me do some of these again. I don't really make much sense, but that's okay. Get back, Satan, I'm trying to pick up the money. Ton of damage to her, that's for sure. Uh, trust him, I already got her. I know. <laughs> I think that's a glitch. I don't know, dude. That should help some. The penetration should help a good bit, actually. Oh, what's this? Frostville. Cast snowflakes to attack the gr enemy. After hitting an ice tree, will grow on the ground and continue to damage surrounding enemies. That seems good. Oh, I know why it's like that, because she's probably invisible in my party now. Probably. Ice trees look really pretty. They look really pretty, actually. That's pretty sick. No, she's not part of my party, or I would be able to level up her abilities. I don't know, man. Enter Cave Boldly. The boldest. Oh, it's a Windy Goon. Yeah, we're 
When you go, god dang it. I do watch when you get in a lot, but that's not <laughs> god darn. <dumping. laughs> Whoops. Man, those trees do the damage, boy. Let's go. When God Sonata release three huge notes that keep dealing damage to the enemy. When the notes disappear, it releases more small notes to continue damage. Allegedly, is what it said. I don't know, some of the text gets cut off. The Hymn of Healing. Maybe this is the one where I'll be able to do the priest. Uh, demand treasure. As you wish, the fairy... Okay. Yeah, I won't kill her anymore. She's kind of nice, actually. I got a lot of damage now, finally. The damage, the command, the respect, I mean, the respect I deserve. Approach the treasure chest. Escape quickly. Can't take it. Two. are sick. Uh, I was supposed to get the fox. Whoops. Awful, but maybe I'm strong now because I got the Christmas trees and all kinds of stuff, so maybe it won't be as bad. Well, this part's going well. It's the next part, so that's the part that matters, though. damage that sits on the ground which is kind of cool in the old build okay that's where it gets toxic oh no this is going well actually sick thank goodness because god dang that last time I had to do this it was not going so well at all. Yeah, we're kicking the, killing the heck out of these orcs, bro. These Christmas trees are messing them up. This was the part that took forever, I guess. I thought that... Um, I was confused, I guess. Well, hopefully this still goes as well. I'm hoping. Because God bless. It is not. It is not. We were not killing them near as fast as we did the other group. What the heck? 
Well, still faster than I did with that one uh, build, so that's something, I guess. Definitely going better than that one time, but still very slow. This quest is just hard, man. Which I had the choice to leave, I'm pretty sure. I just didn't, because I wanted the treasure. Even though Ace isn't here, and they took most of the treasure anyways, according to the game. Make a Christmas tree like fortress around me by staying in the same spot. We'll see if they actually start hitting me. I might die doing this, but I'm gonna check anyways. No one can penetrate the Christmas tree fortress. Can't penetrate the Christmas tree fortress. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Pretty dope. Oh, there they go. They're hitting me. It took them a while, though. Christmas tree fortress did a pretty good time. Pretty good job for a while. of music, cacophony. Magic Dome Light fires eight large magic missiles in a fan shape, dealing 250 damage and releases two magic missiles that swirl around. Nice. Swirl around. That's actually four. But yeah, two, sure. <laughs> At least I'll get to see which one, which ability's the best, I guess.
damage wise, even though I've had some longer than others. I think it's gonna be the Christmas tree ability, honestly. Oh, here we go. Let's go! God, dude, I hope we can win it this time, but it's so hard. I'm gonna check this out real quick. To the Great Library. Book level 5, what does that mean? Oh yeah, I do know what it means. I think, I don't know, maybe. So those are the, okay, I think I know what they're talking about now. Yeah, I think I do. They're actually talking about the book that, books that boost those stats, which, I mean, I don't find them that often, honestly. I want a longer life. What a homie she is. Break down that door. <laughs> Tear down this wall. Should have took the arrow actually. Whoops. Actually, I need to pick this up. I think you move areas after you do this one. Actually. Actually. that get out of here get out of here the goblins again well, we got a lot of ways to heal ourselves that's for sure oh we killed the crap out of that goblin bro he was not ready So I think those are the type of books they're talking about. I don't know if that's one of them, but books like that. Those kind of items. Oops. Oh yeah, that's actually right. Good. Never seen those suckers before. Weenies. Big ol' weenies. This time I'll actually give him his ring if we complete the quest. Actually gotta get off here for the draft. I'll be back guys. Eventually. Next time, or this time we'll give him his ring. Uh, wait a second, let me grab.
Alright. New game. Where was I at? <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, trying to do the priest quest. I think I finished leveling up everything. No, I didn't. <laughs> Finish leveling up all my stuff. I gotta level all the priest stuff. But I have the Christmas trees. notes. lady. No! How dare they. people. Trying to get that windfall thing. <laughs> the classic search for the windfall. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to the merchant this time. Do some shopping with the merchant. Jesus. 
gather all the faders. I'm kind of excited to see what spells do the most damage once we get done with this, since we have like three upgraded spells. Music note, Christmas trees. Look at these fireballs. Am I surrounded? Is there a boss here or something? Or are they just chilling, I guess. goes when he goes everywhere I can't believe these Windigos drop uh, the red crystals. I haven't seen this many red crystal XP things before. Yay, finally. Sick. Dwarf Merchant trade. Okay, so these are the books. If I get level 5 of these books, I can take them to that one place. The library. Crystals are sick for XP, bro. They are actually so sick.
Very the soul three, like can we do it? <sighs> Gotta believe, bro. Hold your ground. Just they do so much is that obelisk kidding me? It feels like it might be. I take so much damage on this stage. I don't know if the undead people are like super range for some reason or what's going on. Defend me crystal trees. I don't know, this stage sucks though. It's hard, but the crystal trees are protecting me. Good enough. We finally did it, can you imagine? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's a miracle. Undead creatures came from all directions, with rusty weapons and slow movements that you could barely handle. But as soon as you shattered your skeleton, the pieces were immediately put back together and rejoined the fight after a moment. And your enemies grew more and more, soon to be in crisis. In desperation, you had to strike the obelisk until it was destroyed and lost its power to summon the undead. The voice coldly rang out from the air, your power is not yet mature. At the same time, an invisible and immense pressure made it almost impossible for you to breathe. An indescribable sense of fear arose. You barely looked up and saw a man in a black robe and mask floating in midair, emitting an indescribable evil aura. But obviously, he didn't care about you and continued to mutter to himself. Since the thing has been found, there is no point in staying here. After speaking, he disappeared into a portal leading to darkness. After the black robe ma mage completely disappeared, the pressure disappeared, and everyone finally recovered from this invisible fear. Praise be to Ladona, Morningstar trembled and knelt down to thank the protection of the goddess. This man showed that he was not an opponent that you could e currently challenge, and everyone secretly rejoiced that he didn't even care about you. Okay, dude. I would've kicked his butt, actually. If I killed that obelisk, I could've killed him, I'm sure. Actually. Fairy Princess. I want longer life. How much health do I have? God dang. Not that much, I guess. I mean, she only gives like 300 ish. I guess so check. Ah, uh, there's no more Wendigos, bro. The Wendigos gave so much XP. That was insane, actually. I like that a lot. Insane in the brain. I'm assuming there's Journey of Fate 4. Should probably just fighting that one guy that I apparently wasn't ready for, even though I was totally ready for him. Hmm. Creepy hands. of the soul four you finally arrived at the temple of Malur Malira the mother of the gods in the creation myth and the goddess who governs the cycle of all things the outer walls of the temple are covered with murals of various creatures from insects to dragons from plants to animals from humans to elves the inner walls of the temples are covered with murals about death from withered flowers to rotting dragons from peaceful eternal sleep to painful torture from natural extinction to violent destruction. 
Although the temple is sacred and solemn, there is also an indescribable something. Led by the gravedigger, you arrived at an idle tomb and buried the bones. Morning Star slowly closed her eyes and began to pray. After the prayer, she turned around, but deeply bowed to you and said, Thank you for accompanying me all the way. Priest Morning Star can now be recruited as a companion in the tavern, finally. Now I just need the rogue. And the alchemist, actually. I need the alchemist, too. The treasure chest. Go for it. Escape. <laughs> I will never have enough luck for that treasure chest. Good a busy mark. I haven't been here in forever. Wander around. Halfling stood at the corner, street corner, carrying a huge backpack and loudly hawking his wares. Adventurers essentials, quality guaranteed. Fair prices, no deception, come take a look. The backpack left a deep impression, seeming to be three times larger than his body, which was surprising. He wondered how he could manage to carry it. All the scriptures. So it seems like faders that only take you away from the area, like for quests or something, actually reset your area, like the map, which is kind of neat. Convenient. So it doesn't always reset, I guess. As long as you're just shopping or something like that. Counter merchant caravan. It's your boy. Something seems off. This is a trap. Hose trapped. How many achievements do I have? 33 out of 51. We're almost there. So fast. The fastest. Actually. I'm trying to get all the books for the library, really. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, Wendy goes. Yay. Might just stay for the Wendy goes. They're really nice. They'd be good to me. Well, now I might have enough luck to get that treasure chest, maybe. The treasure chest better have something to do with the road, because that thing is rough to like, deal with, honestly. Meet the dwarf again. Ah, uh, just trade him.
Yeah, I'm geared out the wazoo this time. Usually I don't go to the merchant shop that much, but now that I'm trying to get the books. I won't be mad if I get all the books and I don't get the library thing. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. How that works a little bit. I'm gonna go to this quest. I want coins, please. Oh, nice, thank you. Now oh, my priest lady's dead. Wake up. You can't even see my health bar. Too much stuff going on. Where am I? Oh, crap. I don't know what my crit rate is right now. It is... Something. Where's it at? Crit rate. Curse. Gold. XP. Pickup. CD. Duration. There it is. 13%. Not that high, actually, but okay. I'll take it. Alchemist, what's up, bro? I've already done this one. I have your unicorn blood or whatever. Uh, I'll drink it, whatever. Orc Raider. War the Chief. I'm the Chief now. Actually. may not have known it, but I've usurped the chief. Worship my strength. Ain't that what orcs do? Isn't that your job is the worship the usurper? Fair princess, I want more gold coins. Please and thank you. Yay. Oh, that's what that one guy wants. I think I already have his quest, don't I? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Four. Okay. Oh, 
Hold on. They need to hold on. They're getting murdered, bro. What? Who's the boss of this stage actually though? I don't even know who it is. He's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. I see him. Is he hurt? I know I'm not hurting him too bad. Oh yeah, I am. Actually. Yay. Actually. Yeah, like, I, I don't, it doesn't seem like my numbers are actually going up. It seems things are dying, right? But it doesn't seem like my numbers are climbing that I'm reading on the screen anyways. I don't quite understand it, to be honest with you, at all. I mean, things are still dying at a reasonable rate, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting, like, mass amounts of damage or something from, like, making it to the end game. Kinda of confusing to me anyways. Oh, he hurt me. Ow. At least I have like four different ways to heal, so that's something. That's a thing. You return to Brock Flask laborato Laboratory and the Alchemy Master was tinkering with his potion bottles. Oh, you're back. So did you find what I need? He looked up at you excitedly. Hand over the real unicorn blood. Good, good. Give it to me quickly. The gnome took the potion with hesitation, without hesitation and sniffed it. It has a strange taste. Maybe it's been stored for too long. It's like a healing potion mixed with alcohol, but it'll do. Wait here for a moment. I'll mix the potion right away. After the seventh controllable small explosion, the gnome took out a yellow potion and handed it to you. Although there were some small accidents during the process, the result was still smooth. Come on, the testing begins. Drink the potion. The taste of the potion was slightly better this time, with less of a sour smell. You drank it one, all in one go. Maximum health plus 2%. The gnome stared at you carefully for a while, saying that you obviously didn't produce any more interesting results than a loud burp. He looked a bit disappointed and said, This is a bit of progress, but it's still not what I, the result I'm looking for. This time I need a black lord called the Starfall Stone. The followers of Bahamut like to use this stone for all sorts of inexplicable rituals and it should be found on their altars how about it it should be easy right i mean i already have it from one run if i could use it i don't know if that's how that works but come back to me once you found what i need the gnome happily escorted you out the door i mean i did it in that one thing and i know some missions keep their progress so maybe i have, i still have it i don't know Victory! Doo -doo 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 -doo. We did it! Yeah! Collect all the things, hopefully. There it is. I think that's. No, that's not it. That's actually the demon ashes. What? I'm kind of surprised the magic on the ant ring doesn't go up in cost, it doesn't seem like. Because they know the ant ring doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Probably, actually. Didn't I get that stupid ore from the Marcus quest, which was like super long?
You returned to Brock Flask. Oh, I haven't found it yet. But you were startled by a loud noise. You saw the gnome lying in a pile of smoke with a black pot on his head and covered in colorful liquids. Next to him in a lab table was a strange creature wriggling in a little large bottle. Upon closer inspection, you realized it was a small white mouse, but it had, now, had it, now it had wings, horns, and a tail, and was making a piercing noise. After removing the pot, the gnome awkwardly, awkwardly, awkwardly smiled at you. I tried to turn this little white mouse into a dragon, but it wasn't very successful. He pointed to the mouse, I guess. What, you still haven't found it? The gnome seemed very impatient. Then don't bother me. I have a lot of work to do. Okay, dude. Dwarf, bro, or no, halfling, what is it? Creature. I need to do some faders for money. Ancient tomb, an ancient cemetery. Oh my god, I still don't have the luck, bro. You gotta be kidding me with this. Explore. Scam, actually. Until I get like luck to like the maximum amount outside of the stage, I'll never have the money. Yeah, I was hoping to get a lot more missions done with this build, but I just haven't had the RNG for it. Because I have the damage now. I can do all the missions pretty safely, it would seem, but... I played Vampire Survivors a little bit at my friend's house one time. I never owned it myself. I kind of want to do a video on that sometime, even though I know it's been kicked to death. And it's an older game, but still. I already have the ring. So, <laughs> whatever, man. Sun scripture and I have all those for the library. say this map doesn't produce as much enemies as the other ones. Obviously I'm not in like hard mode or anything, but still. I don't have your thing, bro. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to get anything from this, but can I hit the Z key? Oh my god, I'm at zero seconds. Nice. Perfect. Maybe I can give Donald his ring back, or whatever his name is. Or Chieftain, bro. 
He's like, I don't deserve this. Stop it. <laughs> This flag is sick, though. One of the better items in the game. Hi, right, boys. Can I hit the Z key fast enough? Yes, yes, I can. Hi, right, man. You can have the ring. I like smart people like you. Hercules, snatch the ring away. Commodore, take your reward. Forget about today. We w I thought his name was Herbert, and we won't see each other again. After speaking, Herberus, his name is Herberus, <laughs> they can't decide on his name, bro, left with his men without looking back. No, Herberus, how dare you, Satan? Unlock Glorious Arena. Okay, so Frost, no, Wind Gods. The music did the most damage by far. Wow. What did I get? What was my... I got some achievements there. Wait a second, what was it? Ah! Stupid achievement thing. I did that, actually. That's my fault. I closed it. I do hate it, though. I haven't mentioned it before. <laughs> I hate the new Steam achievements page. Viber level 5. Nice. We're almost there. Now I just need the Alchemist. Some other things. I didn't get a lot of crystals for that run. Like I said, though, it was on normal, so that's probably part of the reason. Oh my god, that's max? I'll never max my luck then. Oh, fudge. Well, it is what it is. Huh. Well, I hate that, actually. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, no, I just need the rogue and the alchemist. Are you lucky? I need somebody that's lucky, bro, because I never get my luck high enough. No, she's not lucky. What's your luck? Oh, I can't see her tributes because I ain't got her. The arena of the Plain City is the holy land of the ventures of Milabelia, where they clash with various ferocious beasts or spar with other warriors. Of course, to ensure, ensure the participants' security, the organizers have taken strict protective measures. Every match would attract a large crowd of audience to gamble. In fact, some of them even more than uh, the even more than the ventures who ramble and scramble on the stage. Ramble and scramble. I think Grom's probably the strongest I've had, actually. He'll fit right in with the priest, too. So I prize ended Herberus. I did end Herberus. Oh, uh, maybe I would have fought Herber. I don't know. I don't know, man. Whatever. I did Herberus' quest. Oh, the music on this stage is bumping. It's definitely going to copyright ID claim me. <laughs> Actually. Don't you dare copyright ID claim me. The <laughs> game. I'm just letting you know. I will fight it to the fullest extent of the copyright ID claim system. As per usual. It's bumping though. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Hopefully, the YouTube algorithm gods will have mercy on me. Because obviously, the point of the video is not to share the music in the game. At all. Herberus, bro. What a stupid name, actually. I hate that she starts with the heal, heal spell as her first ability, though. I want to take Fireball. And Meteor... No, nah, I've had Meteor Shower Max. What's banishing? A holy symbol rotates around the character. That seems good. I 
any money though. Okay. Fireball, fireball. Yeah, I try to take spells I haven't maxed yet because then I can see what they do when they are maxed. But we've learned so far that the music note is the strongest one, even though the crystal trees are sick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does this just go forever, actually? It seems like it. Yeah, the time's going the opposite way, I just noticed that. Oops. kind of nice though but I can do all the things I need to do I guess so that's why the uh, companions don't have anything for this area I guess makes kind of sense all the bosses Look at the achievements real quick. I'll see if there's like an achievement for surviving like a certain amount of time. Resolve the enchanted farmer event peacefully. Ended Herberus. Find the thief's hideout in the sewer. Take the gold coins from the altar. Discover a relic treasure. Find the amulet in the tomb. Survive for 35 minutes. Survive for 40 minutes. Okay, so we need to survive for 40 minutes. Okay. Man, I did all those things, I feel like, but I just didn't get the right ending because I didn't have the right stats, I guess. Lame. I tried to end the thing peacefully with the farmer, but he wouldn't come with me. Maybe you have to play the bard, I guess. Bard's charisma. Maybe you have to play certain classes and do certain things. Uh oh, it's a huge win to go. Win to go and friends, yay. Bosses don't want to die, it seems like. Why won't you die? Oh, I killed one. Nice. Get away from me, Satan. Team up now. Arena merchant. Oh, is this the only quest we get here? Okay. Fine. Hmm, I can't afford crap. Okay, useless. Let's check and see. Is that... Yeah, that's really all you get here. Team up in Arena Merchant. Oh, we're going through the survive 45 minutes thing right now, though. That's a goal. Oh, look at that thing. That's scary as hell. That's... I haven't seen that tree before. Oh, I almost died. All the rotations. Oh, another thing was I did have two magic notes skills last time too, so that probably affected it some. Oh, hey, I don't know what I was thinking, bro. My brain went, brain went to sleep or something, bro. They got me. My bad. Yeah, that was weird. My brain just, like, literally went to sleep.
I need money. Well, the fact I can't do regular quests here does make it hard to get money, that's for sure. money. Yay, money. to die again. Oops. Heal me. Heal me. Good HP back, baby. As long as I survive long enough, I'll eventually get strong enough to kill these things pretty expediently. I'm just not there yet. And these things seem to spawn pretty early, these big bosses. Big boss. that Wendigo drops red crystals like his homies do. Oh yeah, he does. Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, buddy. Need more of those. Kill this sucker. Keeps throwing things at me. Don't like that. Oh, he threw something at me too. That big tree threw like an acorn or something. <laughs> what are you, squirrel? Oh hell, that hurt. That thing hurts. Oh my god. I gotta drop Dodge the Red Crescent thing because that hurts real bad. Get out of here. I need some holy magic, boy. Oh, hell, what's that thing? It's got. Die! Whoa! Okay, man. <laughs> Alright. Well. Let's go do the other things on hard, I guess, as I can do my other quest, but yeah, that murder. He murdered me. My dream is to soar like an arrow. I like her abilities, but dang, bro, I keep getting murdered. Oh, I haven't read these guys' stories. I'll read them all once I get them all. That seems like the best plan. Who has the best luck out of all y'all? How about five all combo? What's the priest say again? What'd you say? Oh, now she don't want to talk no more. Okay. 
All right. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. My friend. My tail. In a distant death, that's love. That's love, that's death. It seems like all their luck sucks. Hopefully hers is good. Alright, I'm gonna try the priest one more time. I feel like if you get the priest far enough, that holy barrier is gonna be sick. Actually, let's go back to the beginning and do extreme. Get that out of the way. Get Meow Knight. Is that who? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Dynamite Boy killed the hell out of me, actually. Like, instantly. I thought since I dropped, dodged his Dynamite, I would be fine, but he just, like, slapped the hell out of me or something weird. Fireball combo. Oh, heck, I didn't mean to take magic missile. Oh, well. I can't believe the cap for luck outside of the game is 50, because god bless bro. You need so much luck for some of these quests. Kiss monster, bro. Time to hide. Oh, we failed? Weird. That never happens, actually.
no, get away from me, bats. I know about you. I know all about you, murder bats. Need the Holy Scripture. The Holy Scripture. Yeah, I'm glad your trophies seem to scale with your difficulty, though. That's really nice. Some of these missions are pretty long, actually. Especially since some of them I haven't even finished yet, apparently. Scripture again. Goblin Crisis. Alright. got me. Is that the holy book? Yay, the holy book. Sick. You, bro. Let me save up some money and I'll get the unicorn blood from the half half girl because I need that, but.
unicorn blood. Diluted unicorn blood. Here's adventure. Sick. Too bad. You don't really give me much if I give you the hundred gold. SAF boy. bro. Back.
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing we have a combination of healing things because I probably already would have died if I didn't. Myself. Maybe not. Yay, we live. Working on it though. Yay, Ladona, the girl. She's the one I like anyways. For this character anyways. Oh god! My fingers are off the buttons. Eh, hey, get away from me, bats. Oh, it's a mimic. Sick. Haven't seen that before. Bad rats. Bad. Owie. Oh, those are bats, actually. Bats and rats. Jesus. Everything. for me. Ah. Ain't going down easy, that's for sure. Gosh. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Okay, screw it. Actually, be right back. We're gonna get some. Alright. Alright. <laughs> oh, the glory of God shines on all creation. That's what she's saying. Or like an arrow. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. So she starts with the frost arrow ability, I guess. I thought she started with tracking arrow, but apparently not. Still cooldown reduction. Hit, I guess. love to know where the tracking arrow is going, to be honest with you. I would love to know. Uh, I think that one would have raised my fire, but lower my uh, ice, which I use ice too, so that doesn't really help. That one, I guess, even though I don't use intelligence with this. Get the closer things, man. God bless. Hmm. 
ground fire does damage, baby. That's nice. Fire arrow is pretty good. I like money bags. I have no idea what you're shooting at, bro. <laughs> For real, what are you shooting at, chick? Let me save up some money in the Albire Unicorn Blood. Well, actually, I have enough right now. But I probably want the fake Unicorn Blood too, actually, so. So, if I get the Alchemist Quest, I'll probably end up giving him the real Unicorn Blood. I guess she gives you the fake one for free, it seems like. This real one costs a thousand, and I only paid a thousand there, so. Makes sense to me.
ambush the goblins. Oh, I went automatically if I ambush the goblins. Okay, well, interesting. Meteor rocket fires 14 flaming arrows overhead. The arrows will fall again and the ground will burn for 2.7 seconds after the arrows hit the enemies. Okay. Cool. Fire everywhere. Yay. Chaos. What's this portal to? Why is there a portal there? I don't know. Can't go into it. Oh, wait a second. Aha ha ha. I don't know. Seems pointless. Pointless portal. I like how some of the guys in the melee are actually on your team. That's kind of interesting. Unicorn blood, heal me, please. Who has close, actually? Way hey, closer than it should have been. Go for it. Oh, I made it. Oh, it's a mimic. Ah, that's what killed me last time, actually. on Grom, I guess. That's what it looks like to me.
Yeah, we did it. Terrifying monster, but in the end, you still defeated it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Beat the chest, that was like 120 chance, but 100? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. me to do the altar of the gods for some reason. I guess that's all I can get here. Jesus. King and I, Jack, the Goblin King. Oh, there's a group too. Excuse me. Flop over animation, that's pretty cool, actually.
Yeah, you can nap merchants. run out. I could buy stuff, I guess, but it doesn't seem like you can get the library on this place. It doesn't seem like you can get much of anything from this place. I think you get more crystals, too, if you save your money, so we'll see. trees. people the thatch roof cottages Huzzah! Unlocking me, O Knight! My blade. How about the fireball come ball? Fireball's not a mage exclusive. <laughs> I've seen that one on other people.
Honor is my life. I'm gonna do her again. An adventurous little cat journeying through various times and spaces in pursuit of the true spirit of chivalry. Oh, that's cool. That's super cute. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. The homie. Cool. Kung Fu Cat. Oh my god. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> Leave me alone, Alters. Jesus. I guess I have a max hammer. Um, shoot, I don't know. No, I'm not using intelligence, but that's my only choice. I can still use it for quests, maybe.
believe I have this much snot in my body. It's insane. The body is made up of 90% snot. 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 Bruh. <laughs> oh well. the gods leave me alone I don't want it Are you shooting at? Thank you. Follow the clues provided by the poet. You discovered a goblin camp. The guards here relax and the goblins didn't notice your presence. Attack. Attack. right now they're not doing the help at all I don't know what the archers aiming at at all <laughs> at all there's nothing up there there she goes kinda not really what the, is wrong with her okay broken Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe that'll reset it where it'll like shoot something near us. There we go. There you go. Thank you, frost shot thing. God bless. Run for it. Okay, I'm too weak, apparently. Alright, bro. I would give you money if I had it. Not that under D, though. Another mimic. Oh, this one's gonna be hard though. Come on, because I. Oh, there we go. Get him, skeletons! Get him! I am done. What the hell killed me? Oh my god, bro. I didn't even see what killed me there. I just died, I guess. Nice. Eliminate 10,000 slimes is an achievement, apparently. God bless, dude. What killed me, though? I don't know. My dream is to soar like an arrow. You'll see my blade. How about a fireball fireball? Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Hmm. Uh oh, game froze. Climbing arrow looks pretty, at least. Oh, nice. Wow. That was a lot of luck. That was a bit of luck. That was a ton of luck. 
not to have to fight the stupid beetle or whatever. I uh, hit the E key, so I just instantly picked one. Nice. Let's win, hopefully. God bless. Oh, it's 100 gold, that's what it is. Okay.
Set the mission. Could take the 50,000 this time, I guess. That'd be different. Hang on, are there books in Jalk Institute? I'll just give it to him. He gives you pretty good stuff if you give it to him anyways. So, fine. It's fine. Stone finally free. I need his thing anyways, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Freedom! Come near me if you dare. Lightning arrow has some of the coolest effects, bro. I gotta help him. We will not punch him. Maybe. I don't know if they were going to punch him, honestly. Excuse me. Maybe if I have enough money, I can convince him to come home. You know what I mean? Let's let's save up money and then go talk to him. Seems like a good idea. Maybe that's all he wants. This is a sick build, honestly. What we got going on right now is pretty sick. Lightning arrow looks awesome, I'm just saying. Ten thousand gold enough money to convince him to come with me, maybe. I don't know how much money he would want. I know he said he made a butt ton off the one deer. That one deer he got. literally kills everything that comes near me, which is awesome. <laughs> so good.
Oh, screw it. Why not? All the curse. Curse me, baby. Dive the blood. At least four blood sites to drain life. That seems awesome. And curse gives me bonus damage, which is even more awesome. Awesome. Heck yeah, man. All the murder. Alright, I should have enough money now. Thunder arrow fires lightning arrows in the surrounding area to penetrate enemies in a straight line. Heck yeah. Dang, we've got three full abilities. Oh, that is so cool. That is cool. I like that. If anything breathes at me, it's dead, bro. Might actually be the favorite, like my favorite build I've ran so far. It is so cool <laughs> in so many ways. It's sick. Literally, like annihilating the whole universe every time the lightning procs and everything. Oh, it's a farmhouse. Cool. I can't go in, but it's still cool that it's there. Slime's revenge. You pissed off all the slimes. Countless slimes are surrounding you. Revenge has begun. Okay. You guys are so screwed, actually. Oh, wait. Those are big slimes. Oh, yeah. Y'all are screwed, actually. You've smashed the last slime, and the area is now filled with jelly-like slime remains. Perhaps it would be a good idea to have nearby villagers come and collect the remains and turn them into dried slime as a winter food supply. Slime core. Oh, sick. The core possessing <laughs> defeat the Slime Vengeance Legion, formed by countless slimes, possessing incredible magical power. Oh my god, dude. That was awesome. Millions of arrows into the heart. Nice. That was sick, bro. Strongest man in the universe is <laughs> my character right now. Almost like max every ability I got. We got 14 minutes left and we already have 15,000 kills, bro. Anything that spawns dies. Literally. Literally anything that spawns dies instantly. Is there any ability I have that hasn't been maxed yet? Uh, maybe the cross slash one, maybe? Or this, whatever it's called, where he's shooting out those beams.
I have $140,000, bro. Magical earrings give you an extra projectile, which is gonna be sick. Oh, this gives you an extra projectile too, actually, so. All the projectiles, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I run into the library. Let me make sure I got the money first. Let's get $100,000 again. Or gold coins, whatever. Dollars, gold coins, same thing. Starting to get a little bit framey from all the murders. I doubt he wants 100,000 coins though. I I might not even be able to convince him with this guy, but I'm figuring money might be the answer. Since that's what he wants so badly. the strongest build I've done. It's insane. It is actually insane. Oh, look at this place up here. It's like a little farmer's market. Nice.
Oh, 200,000 money. That's a lot. This ain't enough money, bro. You can't be pleased. Let's open the fader, go to the enchanted farmer, negotiate. Sweet him, bro. I have so much money. Okay, maybe you're right. I shouldn't have had such childish thoughts. I'll go back now. To returning home, the wife farmer's wife formally welcomed you and gave you a book. This was left by an adventurer in a home. We don't know how to read it, so you can have it. A Hilve Hilvia's diary. Adventurer Diary of an Avian Traveler. The handwriting is very neat and beautiful, and it records the adventure diary of an avian traveler. Oh, I probably need that for uh, that winged escort quest or whatever it is. Uh, I have a lot of faders, so. What's up, boys? Come get your revenge. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> okay. How'd that go for you? You feel very avenged? I still don't have 120 luck. Now I should though. We're really close to it. Fast as heck, boy. That's what I need for the alchemist if I ever see that. I don't know if you can get the alchemist on this stage, actually, but hopefully. Big deal. I only killed 70,000 things almost. I got books. I don't have all the books, but I have some of the books. If you find elemental books, I do have books. Maybe just not those ones. Let's see about the other books. Uh, hand over Sylvia's diary. Wow. Oh my god. It's actually a diary from the Yavi royal family. This is a treasure that sociologists and historians dream of. The old mage says excitedly and then passionately begins to tell you the story about the history and culture of the Yavi royal family. Find some special books. Uh, here's his diary. Wow, heirloom, classic adventurer tips. It's like a treasure of research material. After saying that, a spark of excitement shows shines in the old mage's eyes. And he begins to sweetly show more experiences and valuable advices about adventure to you, imagining the danger and raging storms, treasure quests in mysterious ruins, and thrilling confrontations with fantastic creatures. You're about to walk on a journey filled with danger, excitement, and the potential to forge greatness. Okay. He didn't give me nothing for that one. 
uh, combat skills. I ain't got that one. I almost do though. Religious. And in the canon of something. You hand the books to the keeper, he gently collects them as if caressing a treasure, and then gets to tell you the story about the earliest solar belief in the gods. Turn some of the books in. Not all the books, but some of the books. Storm. I could hide. I'm more in the cave, though. I like the windy goes. They give me lots of treasure. Oh, he ain't instant dying. That's weird. I'm not used to that. Break down the door. Maybe I'll find the rogue this time. Four. Oh my god. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, well, they chose to fight. What a bad decision. Ain't your average hero. Instant light slash. Send out a huge blade that pierces all enemies in a line. Nice. Now I think we do have all the things upgraded. Eat something. Also, I'm wrestler guy. I, Lucas, from Skywing C City, the legendary strongman who dares to challenge my strength. Hey, you, I'm talking to you. I'm gonna break his arm off. Bet half your wealth and let's have a strength contest. If you win, you can take it back and double the money. As a tough guy, you easily won the game. The disappointed strongman had to keep his promise. I want a lot of gold coins. I do have a lot of gold coins. Killing things too fast, bro. Killing them too fast for my own good. Yeah, I finally did it. It's stronger than me, bro? Oh, hell no. Nah. That's impossible. We have killed 70,000 creatures.
I don't know what gold coins would do for me right now, but... Actually, let me buy his stuff. Finish these books off. Creatures, beware, you're in for a scare. Get you leave me alone. I'm sorry, lady. You keep showing up too much. I mean, it's nice of you and all, but we can't. I can't have you taking all my fader things going over, over and over again. Not you. It's me. Cross the drawbridge. Ah, huh? Errol Descent. Thanks to your quick thinking and agility, you land safely in the cannon. And the canyon was not as deep as you had imagined. Creak, creak, as the sounds of bones collided, gliding echoed. Scattered skeletons caught your attention, and dozens of skeletons gathered around you. You prepared to fight. Okay. Yay. Your fierce battle, you finally sent- I had more than enough luck to pass that. <laughs> Undead back to the embrace of the goddess Milia. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay. I'll take all the curse you want to give me, bro. Alright, let's go help this guy. And then hopefully kill him so we can get our... ...quest or achievement done. Okay, highway robbery. A group of thieves suddenly jumps out of the nearby woods and surrounds you. One eyed thief walks up to you with a smirk and asks, Do you want to leave your money bag or your life? Reason with them. Why not? Maybe these are the rogues. Alright, alright, you win. You're annoying my, as my old lady. The thief leader seems quite impatient. 
Here, take this and don't let me see your face again. The thief leader waves his hand and throws down a box before disappearing into the woods with this instrument. Never mind. Oh well. Thank you though, I guess. Escape quickly. No, let's just kill him. Maybe escape quickly is what I need to do to do the achievement, though. I don't know. No, nah, probably not, actually. Oh, I'm about to get the. I already have an orc flag though. That's okay. No orc flag can't hurt. Oh, they actually hurt me. Wow. Bad orc chieftain. Bad. Throw a coin in. Nothing happened. Sad. Or as the kids nowadays say, Sag. Or for whatever reason. I don't understand it, but okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm old. Ring three. Okay. Deceive me. Strike down the last mercenary. Herberus has vanished. Hopefully we'll find him later for the achievement, I guess. I don't know. I know he didn't outrun me because I'm fast attack, boys. Move speed, 10. Which is really fast. I don't feel like the numbers reflect the stats. Fast attack. Oh, we killed a hundred thousand enemies almost. Cultist. Discover a group of black clad cultists. I've already read this one. Attack. I've angered them. Oh, they big mad, apparently. You ended the lives of the cultists when searching for loot, a black ore caught your attention. Although you're not- I know what its use is. I know exactly what its use is. Like you freaking get a hold of the alchemist. I got all the items, I believe. Killed a hundred thousand enemies. Let's go. Yay, the Angelic Institute. Go to the library. Elemental magic. I'm missing one still. You hand over the books to the keeper. He gently collects them as if collecting a treasure, and he begins to tell you about the ice element. You had the uh, same thing, wind element, and then lightning element.
You hand the books to the keeper, he gently tells, collects them as if caressing a treasure, and then begins to tell you the story of the ancients about Zoroast Zoroastrians and the King of the Red Moon, F Festo Lothil. I don't think there's an achievement for this, but it's okay. You hand over the books to the keeper, he gently collects them as if caressing a treasure, and then begins to tell you about the story how, about how Aethelus, after the Black Moon, tricked the mother goddess, Beleria, into creating undead creatures. Hand over the book of the Sass scripture. You hand the book out to books to the keeper, he gently collects them as if caressing a treasure and begins to tell you the story about the greatest assassin Z in the Dark Brotherhood. I only have one now missing. One book. It's the Earth one. I hope the game doesn't actually like crash, crash. How much money do I have? 70,000? Well, we can fix that real quick. Thieves Hideout. According to reliable information, a new Thieves Hideout Guild has been New Thieves Guild Hideout has been discovered. The City Hall has issued a bounty mission to clear the hideout. Should you get involved? Yes. Eliminating evil is an absolute duty. You quiet quickly found the hideout of these thieves, and this time there were no traps or secret doors, so you charge right in. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna give me the rogue probably. You have successfully destroyed another Thieves Guild hideout, and it seems your feud with Bahar will only deepen. Okay. Whoever that is. Bahar. <laughs> Bahar! Yeah, I got the last scripture. Sick. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I got your last book, bro. Alright, that's all the books. I know of. Still can't go to it. Okay, well, I guess that's it for that then. It's just a stab boost. <laughs> sweeping attack, blade spin. Use the golden cudgel to keep sweeping the surrounding enemies, dealing a large amount of damage and having a chance to slow them down. Cool. Yay, so many things going on. <laughs> Confused. Man, we got all the colors of the wind right now. Is this Pocahontas? <laughs> like for real. <laughs> Can't even see what, where I am half the time. Paint with all the colors of the wind. Nice blasting through the tavern melee without dying. How much curse do I have, I wonder? 95 plus. <laughs> That's a lot, actually. That's all right. It doesn't matter how strong they are if they can't get close to me. Fun fact.
Too bad I don't think I can get the... I don't think I can get the alchemist on this stage. Badly. Oh my god. Stop. Yeah, we must have done all the quests we can do here or something, or we're just waiting until we can. I don't know. Oh no, I'll pray at all the altars if it'll get you off me. Rescue the caravan! cursed. Oh my god, please. I wish I could kill that sucker, but it won't let me. <laughs> so. Ancient tomb. An ancient cemetery catches your interest. I actually have the luck to do this. You walk along a winding path. Oh, it's just a chest. Demon ashes, cool. Maybe the demon will leave me alone now then. Oh my god, he won't. He won't leave me alone. I get it, bro. I'm strong. I don't need you harassing me all the time. I actually bought all his stuff. Crazy. We are the ultimate sir soldier. Can you even drop me stuff anymore? I don't even think he dropped me anything. Spinning wheel came up. Alchemist, finally! Welcome to the team, bud. As long as the game doesn't crash all the way. Oh, wrong one. Ah, about the same. It doesn't matter. Apparently. Fake unicorn blood, really unicorn blood, he doesn't care. And over the... Okay. The gnome took the ore and carefully examined it. It looks like the quality is quite good. There will be definitely be a lot of progress in this experiment. After exper speaking, he kicked aside the trash on the ground continue to work in the laboratory. Very strange instruments began to work and different colored liquids were collected together in a large boiler through a dense array of test tubes. With a muffled sound, the gnome happily took a bottle of the purple potion from the boiler and handed it to you. This time it's not bad. There were no explosions. Come on, try my new potion. The potion still had a sour smell. You drank it all in one go. Maximum health plus 4%. The gnome stared at you for a while, seeing that you obviously wouldn't produce anything more interesting. The loud burp, he looked disappointed. This time it's not bad, but it doesn't meet my requirements yet. I still need some fairy dust. How about it, great hero? It's not difficult at all. Yeah, I already got it. 
You return to Brock's flask lab laboratory again. As you were about to knock on the door, you heard a loud explosion and the door was suddenly blown open. With the cloud of smoke coming out, you ran inside in a panic and saw a comical scene. The gnome was hanging from the rafters with his hair and beard burned and his clothes torn. On his lab table was a broken glass bottle still bubbling. The gnome saw you and coughed a few times. <coughs> I was making a new chemi alchemical bomb trying to make it more stable and controllable but I actually added a bit too much fire and over the fairy dust. Gnome did a somersault and flipped down from the rafters, excitedly taking the bag of powder. Oh, this is fairy dust. Fantastic, fantastic. After speaking, he kicked the trash on the lab table and continued to work on a new experiment. The huge copper boiler started working again, with the gnome busy putting in various materials and adjusting the pressure valve of the boil at boiler after who knows how long with the muffled sound a large amount of white steam spewed out from the boiler. Luckily, you dodged in time, otherwise you would have been burned. The gnome, on the other hand, was excitedly taking a bottle of green potion from the bo boiler and handed it to you. Quick, dry sip. This time, the potion had almost no taste. You drank it all in one go. Maximum health plus 2%. The gnome stared at you for a while, and he seemed... Oh my god, he keeps going. He seemed a bit disappointed. Definitely another interesting result. I'm not, still not quite satisfied. Um, can you give me some demon ash? Yes. Is that my second orc raiders? Actually. Don't die. Don't die on me. Yeah, I literally can't get any more items, so. Oh, there's two dragons. Nice. Bad dragons. Get out of here. How much curse do we have right now? They won't quit running at me. 125%. Nice. Get away from me. Bad dragons. There's three dragons, actually. Four dragons? There's a lot of dragons up in here. Hi, Alchemist. Where you at, bro? Trying to get all these magic crystals before I leave, though. It's hard when you can't see nothing, bro. It's hard. Alchemist 5. You return to Brock Flask Laboratory once again. What you saw shocked you. Portmaster. What? Brock was miss missing all his limbs. Only his torso remained. Seeing your horrified expression, you immediately laughed. Ah, uh, old buddy is here. It's okay. It's okay. My limbs are still here. This time, the invisibility potion experiment should have had insufficient potency. Just making my limbs invisible. They should recover in a while. Did you bring the demon ash? Yeah, I did. The gnome excitedly took the bag of ash and floated in midair. His torso looked quite comical. Fantastic, fantastic. This time it will definitely be a success. After speaking, he continued to dive into a new experiment. The strange machine started up again and the huge boiler kept emitting hot steam. You watched the gnome's limbless torso make move back and forth, feeling quite amused and before you know it, he fell asleep. Quick, wake up! 
In your dream, you were battling a huge fire dragon, and just as your blade was about to pierce his heart, the gnome interrupted you. The greatest masterpiece of alchemist rock flask in this century, rock flask miracle potion made it with thousands of precious materials and hundreds of precise processes, blah blah blah. He spent several minutes explaining the process and effects of the potion, and handed you the white potion. Drink it all in one go, I guarantee you'll be satisfied. The potion tasted sweet and had an excellent mouthfeel. You drank it all in one go, finally. The gnome stared at you for quite a while. Oh, Jesus Christ. But he didn't seem too happy. Hmm, hmm. There's still quite a gap from what I wanted. It seems like I've been cooped up for too long. Maybe... Okay, this last one. Going out for a walk will give me some in new inspiration. The gnome plunged into the sofa and began to ponder. Suddenly he remembered something and pointed to the bag of coins on the table. Thanks for your help, old buddy. This is the agreed upon reward. I hope we'll meet again someday. Decide not to disturb the alchemist and quickly, quietly leave the laboratory after taking a bag of coins. You have earned 20,000 G. I have 400,000 G, bro. That means nothing to me. I mean, that's a lot of money, but hey, I need you to join me, fool. That's what I need. I need to stop trading. Well, actually, I want the curse because it's supposed to make them stronger than enemies. Maybe I'll get an achievement for it one day. And he gives me that thing, which lets me pick up stuff. Treasures at the Cape! I've read this. Manage to slip away from sight. Right, even more fighting things. Not even orcs can stop this build. I don't believe. They are still tanky though, surprisingly. I do have a lot of curse too though, so that's probably adding to it. Curse buffs them, I'm pretty sure. Treasure at the cape. While searching meticulously inside the stronghold, you f suddenly feel the magic crystal Hanging from your waist vibrating, emitting a particular blue light. Following the light, you discover a stone slab on the wall that is also flickering with the same glow. With a determined effort, you pry open the slab, revealing a hidden passage. Inside there lies an enormous blue gem exuding a mysterious and enchanting radiance. The gem is surrounded by a translucent magic barrier, preventing anyone from approaching it. Curiously, you bring the magic crystal. I don't know what happened there. Searching for the Wind Whisper Hall to achievement anyways. As you gaze upon it, a gem shimmering with a mesmerizing blue hue, it draws you in as if plunging into a vast, profound ocean view. Oh, nice. demon over and over again. He won't leave me alone, bro. He knows I'm a sucker for deals. I'm gonna deny him this time. Let's see what happens. Maybe he'll leave me alone forever. Hopefully. Bro, I've given you all the books. Pretty sure. I've given him all the books. He's just being a weenie. Leave me alone. Guess I'll rob him if he won't leave me alone. And then he'll leave me alone for sure. Can't bother me if you're dead.
Okay, we've done all the quests we can do, I guess. The alchemist didn't join me though, god dang it. Oh, there's the alchemist. I've got all the tavern people I can get. Yeah, I think that's all we can do on this stage, so we're pretty much done with this stage completely now. I'm gonna keep my money just so I don't have anything to spend it on, for one. And I want more magic crystals, because obviously, even with 300, I won't be able to max out the whole page. Could you imagine getting this far and then dying to something random? Yeah, that's it here. Alright, let's finish this bad boy. Now I gotta go use his bathroom. Actually, I'm going to keep rolling these just in case something does pop up. Nah. This would be a great build to have for that Coliseum, though. My god, bro. <laughs> I would have killed everything. Unlocking Slime Core, unlocking Kilvia's Diary, unlocking Alchemist, unlocking Next Potion, unlocking Flame Path, whatever that is. Yay, we got Lynn too. Nice. Bring you right back. Alrighty then. Let's go. Let's do the alchemist since we got him now, I believe. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. What'd this guy say? Regard death as love. As love. Kaylin, Sweeby. I'm trying to end her, Bruce, bro. Just as driven young girl, due to an unexpected accident, she reincarnates as a robotic maid. Okay. I don't know what kind of thing his mad or his alchemy counts as. It is spell power. Okay. Oh, 
Help me, Lin. She used dragon lightning and punch. Can't wait to see what some of these spells turn into when you get finished with them. I'm sure, it's something cool. Something cool. Holy Barrier in specific, I want to see what it is. And the Death Wrap. Or whatever it's called. Do I use fire? I don't think so. Now I use ice a little bit. I let mess up these hornet things. for everybody.
chicken. The nice. Wait, something happened there. Oh, it gave me the chest. Instead of having me fight the beetle. Ah, well, that's good for me anyways. I'll take it. Yes, but they're being real buttholes about it. Get out of here! Yeah, I need that. Thank you. I'm poor. Health would be appreciated, actually. He's kind of tough because he doesn't have any, like, close range get off me moves. The barrier kind of helps, but it has a really slow cooldown. Rough. That's kind of rough. And his potions don't seem to aim, they seem to go whichever way he's facing, which means that if something's below you, he does, doesn't throw potions at it for whatever reason. Aim down, son! Aim down! <laughs> God. Potions do damage, but God, hitting somebody with them is not the easy. Lynn, kill that thing, please. I can't kill it because I can't aim. Oh my god. Lynn's a si Oh my god. I don't like him, actually. I didn't get to really use him too much, but... Uh, more details. Details, details, more details. Alright, shut up. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles Dang, that pissed me off. <laughs> that sucked. That's my fault, actually. Oh, I took the chicken? Oh, well. He's okay, I guess. I guess. Read 
thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Let's say Alchemy Bomb, just because it's a new spell. Does it hurt me? That's a good question. I don't know. It only detonates with enemies, so probably not, I guess. Hopefully. the bombs like a sage The god sucks.
be cool to have the holy words going around and ice at the same time and icing at the same time. That'd be cool. I can't do it with this build because I've already picked things. Plus, uh, I think I had the choice of it though. The only problem with the size is that it's a strength-based spell or physical. Even though it doesn't seem like things scale too well with their tribute anyway, so maybe it wouldn't even matter. Thank you, elf girl. Big appreciate. As always. I wonder where she found the real unicorn blood at after you help her, to be honest with you. That's something I would like to know. The Devil's Deal. I probably shouldn't take it, but it does help you get a lot of the items early on if you don't die, so maybe it's fine. It's not like I'm super weak right now, I'm just not especially strong either. Weak-ish. Nothing happens. Is it because I killed the ghost? Is he pissed at me still? We are heck of What the fudge killed me, bro? He was frozen. I don't understand. Oh my god. Fireball did the most damage. He was literally frozen. Thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. I don't really like Lynn. I think I'll stick with Grom for now. She's okay. Like, I think she's a cool character, but she doesn't really do that much. Dragon Lightning's only good if you get, like, super maxed out. Bro, I feel so scammed after that one, though. That was rough. Dude was literally frozen. <laughs> but I died anyways. I think some of the damage is delayed. I think that's why it's a little bit confusing on what's going on. Like how you're taking damage or whatnot is just because the damage sometimes takes a little bit to take effect. But dang, that sucked anyways. Yeah, 
flame path. Yay, fire! Wow, it's kind of small. It doesn't last very long. I gotta level that up for sure. Flame Path seems to do a lot of damage, even though it's like a super dangerous spell to use, honestly. I need chicken. Chicken! Multiple chickens, nice, lucky. Mosquitoes! Flame Path does a lot of damage.
Oh, it's half health girl again. Nah, I don't need you right now, though. Got no money. Four. Did she actually give me the gold coins or not? Nah? Didn't seem like it. Uh, probably shouldn't do this right now with low health, but it is what it is. Unicorn boy takes forever to heal, bro. I think it's only 3 HP, but dang boy, I need it. Thank gosh. That was rough. Yeah, having your main damage be something that's following you and you can't really get close to the enemies kind of sucks, honestly. I'll take that for the heals. Even though I'll probably get chicken off that chest over there. Chicken. No, I didn't get chicken. Alright, well, it is what it is then. the drawbridge. Nice. Accept the mission. Not the most. <laughs> this is not a good build so far. <laughs> Maybe the upgraded versions will pay off, but right now we're not cooking them with a whole lot. Not a cooking build.
At least the alchemy bombs do a lot of damage. That's something. Swamp ruins. You crossed a maze of reeds and irises and saw a square stone ruin standing alone in the middle of a pond. The walls were crumbling, the green paint faded and peeled off in the swampy mist, revealing rusty lichens, lichens, I don't know. Swamp plants sprout, sprouted stubbornly from the cracks. The dwarf architects decorated the ruins with unique curves, but to you it looked more like a stone coffin sunk in the swamp explored. The air in the ruins smelled of rat decay, rat and decay. You barely made out the fake shapes inside by the faint sunlight at the entrance. As you were about to explore further, countless red eyes flashed in the dark, staring at you with a chilling malice. Yay, rats. Oh hell, there's a lot of them. Mm, this might be death. That's a big rat man over there. Boy, it's huge. Large and in charge. Oh, there's another big one. Fast AF! Ah, ah! Never seen the big rats before, but now I have, I guess. Good for me. What an experience. Yeah, you can definitely tell they're teleporting because they're getting stunned and then they're moving somewhere else while they're stuck. Oh, don't kill me, please. God bless. Here. This way. No, not that way. Uh, which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Uh, mm, this ain't good. Oh, I don't like this. Ah, uh, fudge, dude. Alright, okay. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles. I want to do a magic build, but man, it's so struggle after playing the dang, <laughs> the dang, uh. I can run cat, honestly. The warrior build's so much easier, it feels like. I can open these barrels and stuff easy since I have a flame path right on top of me. Something. Okay. 
bag. Oh my wall motion to her, dude. We're so dead. I tried, bro. I tried. I was doing the spinning motion. It wasn't working. Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't know if I want to be like a sage anymore. Uh, one more try. Like a sage. I mean, honestly, with, well, I was about to say, we could just do a warrior and do, like, the spells that are intelligence, honestly, but. <sighs> Take Dragon Slayer. Summons. Buddy, I think we got it this time though. Maybe. Then my honor skeletons, please.
Yay. Do do. Oh my god, it keeps tilting itself away from the stupid beetle, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Can you hit it now? Nope. Like purposefully missing. <laughs> it's insane. Oh wow. That's annoying. Oh well. Summons will kill it eventually, I guess. say it healed 30%. That doesn't look like 30% to me. I could be wrong, I guess. I don't think I am wrong, but I could be. These things are not dying, so that's not good. <laughs> what hit me, bro? Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can finish 100%ing Hero Fate. My gosh, bro. Kinda got delayed on this one, but I'm gonna try to finish it. <clears throat> Lord. Okay. Oh, I need to mess with the volume. Oh. 
remove the gain. There we go. Much better. Um, what was that? Read thousands of books and travel oh, thousands God. of miles like a sage. Like a sage, bro. We need the rogue. We gotta discover the relic treasure. Take the gold coins from the did Herberus. Okay. All right. Soul Wasteland Hard Mode. And thousands of miles like a sage. <laughs> Bro. Alright. Mooncat, let's go. Do, do, do. Alright, Rock Golem, get over here, bro. I'm poor. Dip, duck, dip, dive, and uh, none of those were the five Ds. Oh, touch ball, I don't know. Man. Do, do, do. They're killing me. I guess some of these abilities awakened. Kill. Get him, Rock Golem, beat him up. They look like they're beating him up pretty bad, but... He's got this, I believe. Yeah, that bomb does a lot of damage if you can actually steer him into it. Thousands of books and walk thousands of miles like a sage. <laughs> oh lord. Did he just eat some? Okay. Looks like a plant was eating my rock golem or something. But on the bright side, the rock golem survived, I guess. Time to start the fate. The fate of the universe. Oh, they changed it from Fader. 
Ah, yes. Finally, Jesus. That's how you know I've been playing this game on multiple plays, because it actually has an update. That's good. I wonder if they fixed it where you can read all the dialogue now. That'd be nice. Yay, treasure. Oh, that treasure literally had nothing in it, I think. Wow. That's toxic. Maybe it had the trophies in it? I don't know. Well, it's good that they're updating, at least. I don't know what all they updated, but... Besides the fader thing. But yeah, this game was definitely worth the price, regardless of the, like, I guess, rough around the edges when it first came out. Issues, but hopefully they did fix that dialogue, though, because that was probably one of the most annoying things, was the dialogue being cut off. I'm getting murdered again. God bless, bro. God, the rocks. God, I suck, dude. Oh, well. That was my warm up game, I guess. God bless. I didn't even see the rocks, because they kind of blend in with the stage, sadly. Maybe I need to get, like, over there where the color of the ground is, like, different from the rock color. That might help a little bit. But there's only so much land over here. God dang, dude. That sucks so bad. Ugh. Frustrated. Hitbox on the bomb is incredibly small, though. My gosh, dude. They're like right next to it and it still ain't going off. people. God dang.
Fireball's pretty good. I don't know if I've ever maxed Fireball. Maybe I have. I'll take it to see. Oh, maybe they fixed the aim too, that'd be nice. God bless, that sucks when you're like on a stage and then the things you're shooting are going like the complete wrong way. We got enough damage to survive all the mosquitoes. Oh my god, I'm surrounded, bro. Uh, get off of me! I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh lord. Man, I'm looking good for your boy. God, there's so many. This stage is actually hard, though. Oh my gosh, it's like difficult. Granted, I'm not playing uh, the warrior guy, which is obviously the guy I'm the best with by far, but, and I'm trying to take uh, skills I usually don't use because I want to see what they unlock into, but it seems like I can't get far enough to see it, so. <laughs> I might as well take some strength too in case I get a quest where I need it. I doubt it, but maybe. Be nice to have enough school, uh, skill cooldown reduction to cost a bomb. That'd be nice. Oh, I'm surrounded, baby. See, what the heck just hit me there, bro? Did you see my life just disappear? I'm not quite sure what's hitting me sometimes. Especially on this stage. I don't know, dude.
Hardest time picking up XP. I'm so surrounded all the time. Go away! <laughs> oh lord, please. Don't kill me, bandits. Be gentle. Okay, it's not the bandit king or whatever. It's just regular bandits. That's good. Killable. Get him, brother chicken and golem. <laughs> Give me health, please. Yeah, chicken. Chicken. I don't have any wind spells, but thank you anyways, I guess. Fireball's a really good spell. And, um... Somehow not killing these things still, even with it. Oh, I remember last time I played, I had something frozen and it killed me last time. That sucked, actually. It kind of pissed me off pretty bad. Those things won't die, bro. I've been hitting those things for a... Okay, one of them went, finally. Like, I've been hitting those things for a solid minute now. Trying to pick up my loot. Go away. There we go. Oh, these aren't as annoying as that one swarm quest or fate. Almost full HP. Oh yeah, I got enough money for the unicorn blood. Thank you. That should be helpful at least. At least we got some kind of consistent healing now, so that's good. Yay, consistent healing. if it is incredibly slow. Treasure, please. Thank you. 
Oh, that'll be good. Fire. I use fire. Let's go. God, I missed that one build, bro, where I was just killing everything on the screen instantaneously. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> I missed that so bad. mission, but I'll take it, I guess. Even though I've already done it pretty much. Actually, I need to make sure my stats are high, because I usually fail to check on that. Maybe that has something to do with the quest, I guess. Make sure I have higher stats. Well, I'm poor, so apparently I can't afford nothing. get the upgrade version of Fireball, that'd be great. Yeah, that's a good one. Basically a free wind will fall. Die, worms. Die. God, I get that so often. I'll agree to the trade. Screw it. He gives pretty good loot. I think that's how I got to my build last time, was basically picking up all his stuff over and over again. Over and over and over again. Uh, translate ancient text. Move the stone. Okay, well, I'm weak, so. <laughs> Dang. I think I need to do that quest too, but whatever. Quickly hide! Oh, we failed, sick. Shocker. Did he hit me? Oh, that's good, at least. Oh, I didn't get no healing, dude. Could just sit here until I regen, but it'll take forever. 
33. Look how long it takes. Isn't it supposed to be like three health a second? Because it don't work. Maybe you can only do it in here? I don't know. I'm just out of region. And that unicorn blood doesn't work, bro. Yeah, that's a scam. Because I think it's supposed to be three health every second. Can I look at my items? Yeah, bag. Equipment. Unicorn blood. One HP a second, three HP a second. Yeah, it doesn't. That's, that is a lie, actually. I'm checking it right here. Lying game, bro. Nope, I'm about to get hit by a rock. Stonehenge was already an ancient legend when the world first opened. It consists of countless mysterious stone pillars surrounded by amazing powers. In the depths of the swamp, you vaguely see the foggy Stonehenge in the distance, which has been tainted by evil and released the Dark Order aura. And ahead lies the land of the undead Lord Victor Dracula, which is shunned by locals. Find out what really happened. Okay. Oh, I remember this. I died. So bad. This part's hard. I don't know if I can do this. Whoa! It spawned right on top of me, bro. Shells of monsters generally dissolve and the unmelt. Okay, continue. I'm gonna die here. I can feel it. Resist the piercing scream. I failed. Okay, sick. Two banshees. Look at my health, bro. I have zero health. And I'm not regening because unicorn blood is a scam. Even really, unicorn blood is a scam. I'm doing no damage to this chick. Uh, so there's two, but I only see one, so, okay. <sighs> Back to Banshee, gradually you see the outline of Stonehenge in the distance, a group of un- oh, We're so dead, bro. Oh, lord. 600 monsters, probably can't kill any of them. The classic, <laughs> actually. Now, I killed some, I guess, but yeah, they're still coming in pretty fast. Eh, eh, don't hurt me. Bro, they're not even close to me! God dang this game, dude. That's such a... Okay, screw this. Thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Yeah, like a sage in my butt, bro. That's scam. They really need to put attack animations on things hitting you. Some of them have them, some of them don't. Because there was no attack, I didn't see one anyways. And they weren't even close enough that they should have been able to hit me unless they're ranged, which I don't think they are. Oh, I'm pissed. Actually, I'm kind of pissed about that. That sucks. See these things with how close they're getting? I could see them attacking me. But the skeletons weren't even near this close and they killed me. It's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, man. None of those upgrades were good. They all sucked.
I don't know if unicorn blood always doesn't regenerate, but I know it wasn't that time, for sure. I really liked Lightning Arrow last time, it was pretty cool, but... That's a good one. I know I've already done that one, but that's a good one. Is that an empty chest? Looks like it. Or maybe I just instant. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm still triggered about that stupid freaking skeleton at me. Oh well. Gosh. Gotta get over it. Move on. I'll have to watch the replay on that one though. See if there was an attack animation. I don't think they have them though. Some of them do, I know. Like the plant, big plant does. Like that gulping thing it does, that's just attack, I'm pretty sure. It's funny, the most basic skills in the game are like the strongest, it feels like.
Oh my god. Also, there's that delayed fact thing that just happened, as you saw, with the plant hitting me, but then, like, all the damage got kind of delayed and then happened. It's kind of confusing as well. Oh, I don't want it. Get some of my health back, bro. Uh, I'll buy your. Let's see if it works this time. I just want to see if it keep put like it works at all. Fifteen twenty-eight. All right, let's wait. One, two, three, four. Okay, that time it works. I don't know why it wasn't working on my sorcerer though. Works on him though, so that's good, I guess. Maybe it breaks once you go into one of those things. Uh, we'll check in a second. Now it's working, so we'll try to open a fate and see if it keeps working or not. The fact that the sweep has knockback helps a ton too, I think. I think that's super nice because it's really hard to keep things off you in this game. If you don't kill them fast enough, that's like the best way to keep things off you is killing them. But if you can't, having knockback is pretty good. Now to get windfall. I tell you, bro, anytime I have like the stage full of gold everywhere, I almost never get windfall until like forever later. I try not to do too many fates until I get freaking all my stats up. 
Like, uh, this is what I'm talking about, bro. I just don't get bait. Or windfall. When I need it. Tempted to run into these things to see if they have an attack animation or not. That one does. Those old goblins do for sure. I just saw them do it. Yeah, they're so small, it'd be really hard to tell, anyways. So they probably could have attack animations, I just wouldn't know. It's rough though. I, I still don't know how I died that one time, but it is what it is. Just gotta remember their attack range is far. Deli boys. Corn blood is pretty freaking good when it works, though. My gosh, I'm getting health back pretty quickly. slash damage allegedly or not cross sword the swift sword or whatever it was called oh yay flame streak good well, there's a rock bro I oh I didn't see that goblin on top of me or I guess they're zombies, but they kind of look like goblins to me. Go away, I'm trying to pick up my loot, dude. Go the hell away. still don't have much intelligence. I got my strength up enough to do a lot of the things. I need more defense to do a lot of the quests. The Grave Robber quest in specific, I need more defense for that. I'm not going to the cemetery yet. Move the stone. Sick. Hopefully I'll run 
long as the squad of Wendy goes like I did that one run, because they give so much XP, dude. It's sick. All red crystals. I still don't know. I want to know why it didn't work on my social group. That's why I want to know. I will figure this out. It might be a social girl. I don't know. It might have just been the bad luck. I don't know. I will figure it out now. struggling bro. I need more items to make myself stronger I guess. I, don't know, dude. I need something. Obviously, I'm killing things pretty quickly because those things are going like those squares are filling up pretty quickly, so that means things are dying. But it just seems like the things surrounding me aren't dying very fast.
least I can see the fireballs. Those little rocks, those worms sitting out are like near impossible to see for me anyways. Did I kill that one go off somewhere? Because I would like that next one. There he is. There's a dead body at least. I've reasoned with them before, didn't I? I'm gonna fight them. Screw it. Yeah, I think I did reason with them last time. Successfully repelled the thieves, and you get the massive loot. Oh, that's a good one. Still not geared enough yet to do that cemetery thing, I don't think. still work. I don't know, man. It just wasn't working that one time. With the sorcerer, I don't know why it's working with this guy, but I'm glad it is, I guess. Bombs are pretty good once you get a max, thankfully. Oh, poor. Oh, that's a good one, though. Thanks.
Great Boomerang. I think I've had that one before. Yeah, I have. I've had that one for sure. But I'll take it. goes though they drop the best XP Big bombs. So my intelligent oh hell, nice second now. Intelligence is still low, mind is low. I gotta get that stuff higher, bro. It takes forever to raise your stats in this game, though. For real. Thank you. 
What's my luck at? My luck is at uh, 90. That's not good enough. I have a ton of HP regen, so that should help me survive this, I guess. Intelligence is at 254, defense is at 167. Too. Uh, intelligence at 283 now. Gosh, we're almost at 300. Getting there. I need a windfall really badly. Money everywhere. There we go. Trying to pick up all my loot, dude. Y'all got me surrounded. So I gotta say, it's pretty shocking how, um, slow I'm killing these things bro. I feel like I should be blasting these things right now with my build as it is.
Intelligence is at 327. Okay, let's do this now. Do these faders. Alright, what's up, man? I'm still short on that. Wait for the culprit. We need to wait. I still failed. Oh well. Oh well. Darn, man. I actually don't know if you get anything if you pass those anyways. It might just be letting me pass. I don't know. Regardless, if I get some abilities from this, this would be sick. There's other quests I need to do, so... Communicate with the ghost, although it's vague. The ghost was a nobleman in real life. I already read this, but. Give me the rest of my ability. I wonder if these abilities have upgrades. I would think I would already got it, but they did. I don't know. I wish I could afford that. Oh, I'm short on... Oh, Lord. Oh, well. I've done this one many a times. That's where the goblins are. The goblins! at the Coliseum. Yay, new ability. Well, I've had that one, but so good. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I am, for sure. Tower, I've done this one before. Yeah, this is a necromancer quest. Oh, hey, oh, I can't. Oh, I didn't have my hand on the controller. Oof. That about killed me. Whoops. Wow, these guys are tanky, though. I haven't killed a single one of them. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, for real.
Why won't you die? Really though, why won't you die? Jesus, bro. Good thing I have so much HP regen. the scythe would hit me if I stood like exactly on top of them. I'm gonna test it real quick. Oh yeah. Oh she hit me. <laughs> Lord, that was well, I had to know. I was curious. It would have sucked to die there though, that's for sure. Thank goodness for HP regen. Where's she at? Oh over there. Just running into bombs and whatnot. Chilling. choice. Under a starry night sky, you chose to camp. As you were asleep, sound asleep, a cold breath woke you up. A white ghost silently appeared in front of you and you can still feel the deep resentment in its eyes. Please don't forget the, your promise. Hand over the ring. The ghost took the ring and its expression became calm and the resentment disappeared. Thank you. The ghost's body gradually faded away and soon disappeared without a trace. Okay. I did it, I guess. Something, anyways. Caravan, rescue the caravan. The Nian Nia -ni -ni altar.
dime. Alright, now we get to do the dang quest for this guy. And then hopefully we'll get to defeat him this time, I don't know. You gotta take so many quests for him after you take finish this part, because I never saw him. Well, almost, I don't know. I'm running out of fate, or the thing to get the fate, though. It's hard to do some of these quests, man. Oh, it's the Grim Reaper. Done this one before, but I guess I'll do it anyways. Pretty sure I've done this one before. Oh wait, maybe I died when I tried to do this one. I don't know. I don't know. Playing, some managed to escape, alerting the orcs who rallied to fight. Okay. battle. Yay. Are these the tanky ones that don't die ever? I think so. Yeah, it is. It's going to take a while. of never dying. The legend will never die.
Yeah, I don't know why these orcs are so tanky, but it does suck. <laughs> it takes forever. Maybe this time I'll find Ace, or whatever Ace the helpful place. Whatever we were supposed to be looking for here. Within and without, no one granted to reprieve as all met their doom. Their souls first aggrieved, treasured at the cave while searching meticulously. Inside the stronghold, you suddenly feel the magical crystal hanging from your waist. I've already done this one. Following the light, you discover a stone slab in the wall. Curiously, you bring the magic crystal, something, something, heart of the ocean. Nice, I guess. Sick. Give me a new ability, god dang it. Please. This is what I died at last time. Alright, can I do it? You just gotta believe. Hopefully. Hopefully that's all you gotta do. Should be able to resist. Oh my god. Oh, I can't move, she stunned me. Oh, get off me. Oh, get off me.
protect the Banshee, you gash your storm estate, and now we gotta fight all the undead people that cheat and hit you from a mile away. Hopefully don't they don't kill me. Okay, I'm killing them pretty quickly at least, thankfully. Feed those undead beings. You finally see Victor Dracula, clear, Dracula clearly, the cursed lord it, it, standing in the center of the Stone Age, absorbing his fallen power. Victor's skeleton eyes, eyes burn with evil crimson flames, and amid a hellish roar, he orders his guards to charge at you. Rude. Defeat the lich lord. Not a vampire? Okay. Oh, he fight. Ooh, ow. I was about to say he fights exactly the same as a necromancer, but he doesn't. like a stronger necromancer chick. I should get a lot of money off this stage if I beat it. Can you die, please? And thank you. Can't do it. Do the do. You're fully powered. Hopefully, he gives me achievement. That's the goal. Need a few more achievements. After a loud roar, Lord Victor is reduced to ashes, leaving only his spiritless skeleton strewn about. As evil power disappears, the Stonehenge also loses its shadowy energy and the fog lifts. Bright sunlight pours down while you search for any remaining treasure. I love treasure. No achievement, though. Prayer of Demon Breaking, finally. Release a trio of sacred runes that rotate around the character. Okay. About dang time. Now we kill everything, allegedly. Maybe not. Maybe we still weak. Bro, I am so strong. How did? Oh, whatever. Huh? <laughs> okay. Ah, heck! I didn't mean to do that. About three thousand. Where's the boss at? 
Honestly, I don't know where he's at. Did he die or something? Like off screen? Did he get off screen? can't be off screen because the music's still going. He just lost or something. Maybe he got stuck somewhere. Let me go look for him. It's not here. Hey, bro, where you at? side out except the bounty mission I think I've already done this but it didn't give me the rogue like I thought it would last time I don't think it will this time either but you never know you have successfully defeated the thieves hideout and it seems your feud with Bihar will only deepen enough uh, crowns to do all the quests though. It doesn't seem like. Unfortunately. boss because I don't know where he's at, bro. <laughs> Dude's gone. See the guy. Too many stuff going on. Okay, got him. I've done this part many a times, but I just can't get him afterwards. Herberus or whatever his stupid name is. Oh, Herberus, bro. Swamp Ruins. I think I've done this one too.
Oh, I died here. That's what happened last time I got here. Yeah. Maybe I'll get some get an achievement this run. I know I'll get one for beating this on hard mode, but like maybe some other achievement as well would be nice. Seems Ratman have made this their home. Light the torch. You lit up the ruins with the torch and found some interesting things. Besides the rusty box, you also noticed a row of iron rings on the wall, seemingly controlling some mechanism. You pulled a few rings curiously and suddenly heard a rumbling noise. A stone door slowly opened, revealing a hidden room. You walked in and were surprised to see a dwarven elevator. Dwarf elevator. Still intact, despite the ages, but you had no idea where it would take you. You decide to rest first and come back later when you were ready. What? No. I don't want to rest first. Why didn't these guys despawn? What is going on here? But I don't have enough fader or fate tri trophy things, bro. Come on now. I don't want to rest and come back. Ah. Uh. Ancient tomb, explore the cemetery. I didn't get nothing. Yeah, the text still gets cut off. I just saw it. Leave the cemetery filling. What? What, what? Oh, hell, I'm like four short. Come on now. Uh, hell. No. No. Oh, come on, man. This is such a scam. <laughs> All right, mm, screw it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just tilted. <laughs> you must pay the price for me being tilted. Girl, nice. Dang, man. Anything even do holy damage? I don't know. <sighs> and like the rogue. The rogue's the last one, bro. Like a sage. Give the ice chicken. We're just missing Sweeby and that guy. Where's Ice Chicken? I don't even see her, bro. Okay, I was about to say, she invisible. Ice Girl. I haven't leveled up Holy Barrier yet, I guess. I did get to see the rotatey potato words, though, so that's fine. get to see the bombs upgrade either, so that's sucks. I'll have to try to get that one again too, I guess. Who knows? I haven't seen this one upgraded, so I'll take that death wrap or whatever.
Ended Herberus, bro. <laughs> it's the hardest class, man. Herberus never shows up again. Maybe I have to give him the ring and be like, psych. Cause I gave him the ring that one time and it didn't give me the thing, so I don't know. I don't know. Swift Slash, but uh, haven't done that one, I guess. Right, we got our spells now, we just gotta win. I don't know if I'll be able to beat it with these spells though, but I'm gonna try. I don't know why the uh, plant doesn't have an HP bar, even though it's obviously a boss as well. I don't know. Mini boss or whatever you want to call it. Maybe I can get an early fire sweep, flame sweep, loop sweep. I 
boop boop boop. Boop 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 me. Who dare? Hmm, I got text, that's weird. Boop 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 boop. God darn it. Flame Street, I called it. Yay. Alright, man, I'll help you. Even though I've done this quest multiple times. Oh, my back kitchen. Oh, baby. Mm. Sometimes I guess, but still, no way. Please. Thank you. Oh hell. Okay, well, we'll try to survive. Maybe because I got flame streaks so early, it won't be too bad. But I feel like I'm gonna die here. At least I did get the unicorn so I can life. Am I healing? I got checked. 3470. Yeah, I am. God darn it. I don't know why I'm upset about that, but I, I just felt like that was such a wasted sorcerer run earlier when I had the unicorn blood and it wasn't healing me. I think that's why I'm upset about it, but still. Shouldn't be that. It's working correctly now. but oh immunity to damage let's get out of here boys <laughs> oh lord that was sketchy i usually never take that spell but that was like perfect timing for it They're so tanky though, they won't die either. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, uh, uh. I'm stuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the delayed damage, bro. God. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, that makes me so mad. 
Granted, I should have died there, but dang, that delay damage pissed me off so bad. <sighs> okay. Damn, that sucks. So close to living too, though. God dang, that sucks. Ugh. I was gonna live there. Until I didn't, obviously. <laughs> Great form, I thought that was kind of cool, but I don't think I'm gonna take it. I want to take something different if I can. Preferably the alchemy bomb, because I know I haven't done that one, but. Oh, uh, holy barrier, I haven't done that one either, so. Successfully, I've tried multiple times. Get as much of these trophies as possible, bro. That's what I usually struggle with to finish these missions, it's just not having enough trophies. Well, the trophies cost so much towards the end of the game, too, so it's like really rough if you've shopped and whatnot. You actually tried to make the game easier for yourself by shopping. It's really hard to get some of these fates done.
See if we can get an early sweep again, I guess. This time I've actually picked stats that should help me instead of trying to just get the stats that I need for the quest or whatnot. Rocks to the face, actually. Nice shot, man. The arms, bro. Did get it again. Lucky. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's good. Stupid worms are back. You, bro, I'm gonna try anyways.
big moth things take forever to die. Scythe. spinning attacks. Please don't kill me. I've done four. Okay, cool. Fudge, 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 fudge. Have me trap, bro. Only gotta kill one more of them. Go away. Please give me health. The harp is mine. Nice. Gay gifts. Nice. Way of flame evolution. When moving, a purple flame will be left behind. Okay, nice. And it slows now. Cool. Purple flame. Now if I can get my scythe upgrade, that'd be cool too. Health. 
Probably gonna die, actually. Sadly. Technically shouldn't die, probably we'll figure out a way to do it anyways. Sixty-two. Yeah, I'm gonna heal a little bit because I'm about dead anyways. Slime's Revenge! Heck yeah, boy. I like these. <laughs> the thick boys. Sigur Wings, releasing a holy light, dealing 300 damage and stunts for 1.2 seconds, releases six sacred songbirds to attack enemies after the force field wears off. Noise. A lot of treasure, bro. See what it's doing to be honest because we got so much stuff going on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Move the stone. because it's going to take me to a different area when I go to the goblins. Forgot. Oh, this bat is fast, bro. Won't get off me. Look at those birds, bro. They're jacking them up. <laughs> They're just swirling all over them. farm some XP actually. to attack the dwarf guy if he shows up just so he won't pop up anymore so I can get the other things faster. I can just use the caravan if I want to. defense at it should be high bro it's not I don't I don't know if you can get some of these numbers they want you to have for quest bro well at least we're back to our one shot in ways finally Thank <laughs> you. 
guess we're not exactly one shot, but we're getting there. Intelligence is at not anywhere where it needs to be, not even close. Done. Uh, what's my freaking skills at, bro? Can't be.
too. What do I need for that? Like, yeah. Fifteen short. I have what? I don't even have the strength. God darn, dude! I can't. Oh, pissed. I don't know. It might not even matter. I don't know. Either way, just get out of the way so I don't get it anymore. For this run, anyways. Even though I'm glad she's giving me this treasure still. Still, though. things. Well, at least they're dying a lot faster this time. Man, I can't barely see their shots but between all of my abilities and their abilities and can't see nothing. And now I'm dying, though. That's a thing. Ice. I have more, so I should win. I have a lot more curse too, probably. I've been cursed a lot this run. I took made a bunch. Of oh, Jesus, my health. I'm gonna go over here. Let my health come back, hopefully. Like teleported instantly shot that spell. That was toxic. Can you die, please. I'd rather not die myself. It's so slow. At least I have regen, but it is slow. Gosh darn. Oh, I 
got the scythe upgrade finally. Scythe of blood, unleash. Oh, I've had that. I've had that before. Where am I size that? I don't even see him. Oh, they must be on cooldown, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of healing. I like that. Even though I don't really need it now, but I'll take it, I guess. Got to. Sadly, with this guy, I don't have a way to kill the demon thing. Gotta get rid of her. Too much, bro. I wish I could kill the demon thing, but I don't think I have a way to do it. Let's get this out of the way, too. Long night. The night was dark. Is this a dream one? The elegant night lit light emitting a bewitching glow, and you wondered for a moment if this was a still a dream. I think so, yeah. Whispers. It's taking a while to kill. Ghost fire gradually faded, leaving no trace, but you were not allowed any respite. Countless ragged figures emerged from the swamp, slowly approaching you. A horde of zombies. Not the zombies. We're dead zombies. Zombies wanted to drag you down into the swamp, but you swung your blade, cutting off their heads, and with the nauseating roar from their hollow mouths, the corpse finally sank into the mud. The dead were gone. They were returned where they belonged. 
crisis was not over yet. A gray mist suddenly rose. The cold was biting, and three dark shadows sat silently surrounded you like ghosts. Ghost. They whispered curses from the underworld that were the fingers pointed at you, and they took my health for some reason. Oh, I've killed these things before. Yeah, I've definitely done this quest before, for sure. Get some sleep. goes for the XP. I haven't seen the caravan in a while. I wonder if they if you kill the merchant you don't get to see the caravan anymore. It'd be interesting can no longer buy things after killing the merchant. With all this money. Life stealing the damage is cool.
if I don't get some other achievements besides just beat extreme, I'm gonna be kind of upset. <laughs> Honestly. I have tons of things stocked up. I've killed everything. Got rid of some of the things I should get in my way for the fates. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I should give him the ring, honestly, and see if he pops back up, but I don't know. I'm going to try one more time not to give him the ring. If that doesn't work, I'll give him, I'll give him the ring from now on and see what happens eventually, hopefully. starting to <laughs> bother me a little bit. All the effects. one, but it's okay. We'll do it again. Whatever. I mean, I even have the treasure from this place, so I don't know why. This is a thing, but maybe I'll get the upgraded potion here. I don't think I've gotten that yet. I think every other spell I have is fully upgraded except for the potion throw.
Oh, we're killing these things pretty quick. That's impressive, because these things are tanky as heck, always, almost. I mean, they're still tanky as heck, the fact that they're living this long, but still. We're killing them! They actually just stand here, which is weird. achievements. I well, actually keep the money this time because I've given it to the guy multiple times. So this time we're going to keep it. Even though he does give really good treasure. I still can't resist it. You're kidding me, bro. I guess you need the priest for it. The priest is the only one that can resist it, maybe. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Stop it. At least she doesn't do damage to me for some... Well, I know the reason, because I'm geared out the butt, bro. That's why. I got the mine sat over 200, finally. Jeez, that's hard to do, man. Don't come easy. I still your damage. Unkillable. Dueling size, said Banjos. Wastewater Hamlet. I haven't seen this one. 
The next evening, you finally arrived at the wastewater town, a gloomy town half sunken in the swamp, with the indifferent townspeople, but this was the, also the only place in the swamp where you could get supplies. To your surprise, there was already a group of people waiting for you. At the entrance of the town, the leader shouted at you in stiff kingdom language, Hand over the box in your hand, and you can keep your corpse intact. Stay calm. Seems that there is no room for negotiation. Let's go. You sure? Oh, they're like tieflings or something. Deadlings? Oh, 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 oh. oh, they actually hurt me. Wow. Naked threats would not work. You pierced the heart of the last enemy and kicked him into the swamp. You lifted the mask of one of the assassins and a sudden fear poured over you like a bucket of... bucket of ice water from head to toe, just like the thrill of a novice adventurer seeing a dragon for the first time. It was Aeus who, for the people who lived in Millibelli most of their childhood, was spent surrounded by the horror stories of Aeus. Aeus liked to eat people. Aeus tortured slaves to death. Aeus threw warriors into the death pit to kill each other. Although the years of blood a blood war had passed for hundreds of years, the fear of the Aeus was still deeply imprinted in the memory of the people of the continent. At least there was one thing to be thankful for. Aeus was not as all as powerful as the legend. They could still be killed. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, boy. Oh, my stuff. everything so job complete right folks revenge the deadline for delivery was approaching and you had to wait hurry day and night fortunately you didn't encounter too much trouble on the rest of the way Within a half a day, you reached the edge of the swamp. However, before you could breathe a sigh of relief, you fell into a crisis. The squad of riot men suddenly rushed out from all directions, launching a fierce attack on you. Their eyes flashed with vengeful light, and their mouths made a piercing noise. You were surrounded by them on a muddy clearing, no, with no way out. It's time to fight. I don't know if fight's the word. Slaughter? Slaughter's probably more accurate. Feel the greed and the hatred of the rat men. They were not for revenge, but the box. You tried to your best to what box? To protect the box, and several times you almost lost it to the swarm. Taking advantage of the temporary calm, you quickly left this dangerous place. The box that I'm supposed to have like 50,000 coins in or something, or what's up? I don't know. Really. Why? How dare you deceive me? I failed at lying, because even though I have a ton of intelligence, I don't have enough, apparently. No merchant's pissed. No merchant's dead. Darn it, you B-word. The dwarf collapsed weakly on the ground, only his mouth still cursing. Consider me unlucky today. Get out of here. Don't let me see you again. Nah, it's better to leave before things get worse. Okay. Whatever. Can't believe I failed that check. That's crazy. The final stage. You were about to reach Plain City, and this journey of thousands of miles were, was about to end. 
He walked along the official road and suddenly saw a broken guard tower. Ahead were some where someone seemed to be waiting for you. You walked closer and saw a man. He was wearing a uniform of the Wing Patrol Association. You claim yes, another achievement. Claimed to be the contact person sent by Wing Patrol Association. Asking you to hand over the box to him. However, his shifty eyes and slightly strange accent made you see his flaw in an instant. Humph. Such a low-level scam, and you dared to bring it out. You coldly refused him, and his face turned pale. He could curse you in a language you didn't understand and tore off his disguise. It was an AS die you heard his word because it's he said it was great force, apparently. More tieflings. Well, at least we got another achievement done finally. Oh, watch out for the fireballs, they hurt. Potions for everyone. Who was behind them? You guessed it was the King of Thieves. That made more sense. The thing in the box must be extraordinary. Otherwise, it wouldn't attract so many people's covetousness. You had to hurry to Plain City now. Your employer was waiting for you there. Okay. Well, at least we'll find out what quest I was on. I don't remember. Or greater. Already killed a billion of these. Wing Patrol Association. The Wing Patrol Association was located in the center of Point City and compared to the surrounding buildings, the association looked more simple. You entered the association and after explaining your purpose to the elf lady at the front desk, you were taken to an office. The current head of the association, Mr. Kip Hart Heiner, has been waiting for you in the office for a long time. Kip Hart Heiner, don't know who that is. After handing over the box, Heiner carefully checked every part of the box exclaimed sincerely, intact, amazing. After putting away the box, Heiner smiled slightly at you. I know you are very curious about what's inside the box, but I can't tell you yet. When we establish more trust, you will naturally know everything. Okay. Yay, Sword God. Swordmaster from another world, born with a gift for the blade, only losing once in his life. To me! Oh, he's actually here. Cool. Do something. Cool. I don't know if he's doing anything, but that's all right. Whatever. I'm gonna turn these books in. Swamp ruins again, yay. God dang Herberus, bro. Damn. 
Yeah, I can't really tell if the Sword God's doing too much, to be honest with you. I think he's sending out those little blade things, but uh, whatever. I don't know if it's doing anything. Wolf Ruins. You entered the ruin again and pulled the lever of the elevator. The elevator slowly descended and you felt as if time had stopped. You finally reached the bottom floor and the walls around you flickered with the light of magic stones. You were amazed to find that this was a forgotten dwarven underground city, but it had been deserted for a long time. Your arrival seemed to disturb the silence and countless dwarven zombies emerged from everywhere hissing at you. You put your put the zombies rest again. The huge black tower in the center of the city caught your eyes. You cautiously walked along the avenue. The silence was broken by the roar of machines. You stopped and looked at the distance. Two dwarf statues as big as hills slowly approached. Behind them came countless dwarf ghosts. Stay calm. Oh, that's a new character sprite. Cool. Oh wait, sometimes helping me. I can't even see it, bro. Dwarf robot people. It would have sucked if they killed me while I couldn't even see what they were, to be honest. I'm gonna shoot something at me, too. Rude. The Dark Tower. I've read that book. The Colossus fell with a thunderous cla crash, shattering pieces. You reached the end of the road, where a stunning stone structure appeared before your eyes. It was carved from a single massive block of obsidian, engraved with dwarven script. The surface of the structure was smooth as glass, and you saw no door or window. You did not know the origin and purpose of the structure, nor what secrets it hid inside, but you felt a strong sense of oppression and fear. The structure was surely not a monument or a shrine, but a prison for some terrible things. It was an obsidian jail locking away endless darkness and evil away from the tower. Near the giant tower, you found the Dwarf King's treasure. At least the adventure was worth it. You did not come here for nothing. Okay. Give me achievement, please. Highway robbery. I'll reason with them, I guess. They have one less. Rescue the caravan. Side out. Yeah, accept the bounty mission. Eliminating evil is an absolute duty. Yeah, alright, cool. I'm a rogue chief. Still haven't finished that potion uh, upgrade yet, which is kind of crazy. Graveyard on a small hill. I'll take the gold coins. You discover an altar made of bones. On the altar lies a gold coin curved with the mark of a loon. Followers of the black goddess would build such altars in graveyards for their rituals, but it's not common to see one built on this desolate hill. Take it. Coin with black goddess mark. Got an achievement. Whether it's greed or being possessed by evil spirits, you take one of the gold coins. May the black moon goddess forgive me, you think to yourself, destroy the altar. You kick over the altar and suddenly. 
An ominous black smoke emerges from the wreckage. You feel the soil under you trembling. It seems that you have angered the goddess of death and her minions are constantly emerging from the soil, surrounding soil attacking you. Whatever. They're dead. Oh wait, can I level up my... No. I was wondering if I could level up the swordsman guy. The answer is nay. Nay! Well, at least we got a couple of achievements done in this run. It's almost 100% in. You let this last zombie rest in peace. This hill is obviously strange, and perhaps there's some secret still buried here. Maybe you should go back to the nearest village rest and prepare before investigating the burial ground further. Graveyard 2. You return to that suspicious little hill again. You find... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You find a clearly man-made stone slab under the wreckage of the altar. You lift the slab, revealing a staircase leading to the darkness below. The underground tomb is the domain of the Black Goddess, and you must have enough spiritual power to resist the darkness. As you walk through the darkness, you follow the stairs all the way down a fork in the road. Go right. You continue to move forward along the dark and winding path and the smell of death becomes stronger and stronger at the end of the tunnel there stands a statue of a goddess and she seems to be coldly staring at the group of unexpected guests in front of her it's a sarah the black moon queen the goddess of desire your companion exclaims in surprise at the foot of the statue there's a huge desk with the words offering to the goddess favor let's go back and go to the left Following the passage all the way forward, you pushed, and suddenly, uh, rats, okay. Hopefully I didn't ruin anything by doing that, but... Wooden door, rats, got it. Dead rats. You repel the annoying groups of rodents. The room is not big and haven't found anything useful except for a talisman with the mark of a Sarah. Okay, talisman with the black moon goddess is marked. Hey, another achievement. Yes! Oh, uh, well, let's put the gold coin on there, I guess. The sound of machinery starts and the statue slowly retreats into the wall, revealing a passage through the passage you come to the main tomb where a huge stone coffin stands in the center of the tomb. Investigate the stone coffin. You try to approach the stone coffin and suddenly the lift, lid of the coffin is lifted. A huge shadow suddenly appears and you feel a chill running down your spine. That's the feeling of fear. I ain't afraid of no ghost. You should be afraid of me. Obviously. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. After smashing the last skull of the skeleton, everything becomes quiet. You start searching the tomb. The owner of the cemetery is really poor. <laughs> Except for a rusty iron chest, there is nothing valuable. After leaving the tomb, it's almost dusk. Seems that you have another adventure story to boast about. Now, what would have happened if I put the amulet there? Nothing. Hopefully. Storm. A violent storm was about to come. I haven't heard, so let's try that, I guess. It's obvious that you have already alarmed the residents here. Bro, have you seen my luck set? There's no way. So didn't get Herberus, god dang it, bro. Oh, thief, there we go. Hey. As the saying goes, don't show off your wealth. You shouldn't have flaunted it in the tavern earlier. As soon as you stepped out of the tavern, a small figure snatched your wallet from your arms and disappeared into the crowd crowded crowd like a woman. Quickly catch up. He's not faster than me. You chased the thief through the streets and alleys one after another. When you were about to catch him, you suddenly found yourself surrounded. Okay. Well, this might be another achievement. How many we got left? Four left. And I know what two of them are, and that's just do the arena. But I need to do this guy, and I gotta kill Herberus. 
somehow. Obviously, taking the ring from him is not the answer, I guess. You easily defeated the gangster, but the thief was nowhere to be found. After threatening and tempting one of the gangsters, they revealed a location, the sewer under the old bridge. Now, welcome to the team. I'm not so slow right now. What happened? Am I encumbered? Have I been encumbered? Slow as heck, boy. Oh, they must have stole my booties. You steal my boots, bro? A good way to die. That's paddling. Sewer. According to your intelligence, you found the sewer and hesitated whether it was worth risking your life to the wall. Enter the sewer. There's a long and narrow passage, not only dirty, but also with a very disgusting smell. You endured the discomfort in your stomach and moved forward. Came across a crossroads, decided which way to go forward. You soon reached the end of the waterway and found the source of the stench. A slot, huge slime monster was lurking here with undigested remains and its transparent body. The Monster quickly looked onto, walked onto its new prey and rushed towards you. Didn't I kill all the slimes already? I slayed the slimes. Monster eventually turned into a puddle of mud, the undigested remains scattered all over the place. After taking all the useful things, you decided to leave the smelly sooner. Oh, hell, I didn't find the dude, though. God darn it, dude. Do I have to do it again? I've already turned in all the books, bro. I can't believe I didn't get to get the guy because I picked the wrong path. That's so crap, actually. I'm not, well, I gotta get Herbers anyways, I guess. But darn, man. Uh, I guess you gotta give him the ring. Herberus. You know what's funny is I got that guy's heart, but he never came back for it. I'm gonna keep trying it, though, until I run out of time. So the only two achievements I have left is fine. Oh, I got to discover the relic treasure. Where the hell would that be? I don't know, dude.
Maybe I have to use the amulet on the thing for the relic treasure. I don't know, dude. God darn. 100% this game is hard, actually. Oh yeah, I got new companions, I guess I could do that. What? <laughs> you one shot. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh my god. Wow, Mixed Potion actually did the. No, it didn't. Oh my god, dude. He. He one shot me. That's insane. That's insane. I'm so broke. Oh my god. How, dude? How? That's just, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't, oh. That just blew my mind, actually. I had to do it again anyways for the achievement, but I had so much money and everything. Oh my. <sighs> Insta one shot. Insane. Brain hurts. Just trying to even think of how that happened. <laughs> well, he almost un un unlocked all this stuff. Bruh. <laughs> but bruh. Um. Jeez, bro. <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, I don't want to believe it. Poor guy, guy gets confused way too easy. Come on, man. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, that's so toxic, actually. Imagine my surprise when I got one shot by the boss. Lord almighty, dude. I literally had like stopped taking damage from everything and the boss just flies in and one shot me. Ay, ay. That's bonkers. I hurt my heart, my soul, and my booty hole. This time we give her versus ring and hopefully we'll run into him again and kill him and get the achievement. Oh my gosh. I haven't maxed that one yet, I guess.
Mm. I'm frustrated, bro. <laughs> I really am. I'm really frustrated after that one. No one shot, though. A sage. Once I get my firewall max, I'll start taking those quests, so maybe I'll get the upgrade for it. That's the plan right now. Mosquitoes, get off me. Help, Sword God. Help. Someone named Sword God. He is not the most OP thing in the world, that's for sure. Really kind of disappointed with Sword God. Ooh. 
I had literally every item in the game. Like, I was, what, level 170 or something like that? And I still got one shot. I'm not over it. <laughs> I'm not over it. Chicken, god darn. Oops. I hate that there's no like nice option really. Demand treasure. I mean I guess longer life is not too demanding, but still. Actually, about to invite everybody to the party. Get that out of the way. Because maybe they'll help me with some of the quests as well. I don't really think about that, but yeah, that might be a good thing to do. Necromancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take the Necromancer script. I'm at 921, remember that. See, he doesn't get the god dang unicorn blood. I knew it. I knew it. He definitely doesn't, because I have the item. 
I was right the whole time. I've not gotten one awakened spell yet. I don't like this thing that's going on here with the surrounding and whatnot. I don't have enough money for that to be super useful. Oh, get away from me. Pretty weak, actually, for how many spells we maxed out. That'll suck. Oh, that's... reason with them. Screw it. I don't need to find them. I'm kind of weak anyways right now, so... Bro, uh, I didn't see whatever it was. It was probably right on top of me. I hate this. thousands of books and travel thousands mm. of miles like a sage. The fact he doesn't get the life still is really annoying, actually. Details, details, more details. My dream is my boy and arrow. Lord, okay. Sword God sucks. Let's just put that out there. Sword got sucks. No cats are best.
I do like this game, but, uh, hey, ah, uh, man, I wish I knew how I died some of the times I do. And like I said in my last play, even though they've obviously updated some of the things, it feels like it was kind of rushed at the end, or, like, some of the small things were really rushed. What the heck's happening with these worms? Are they getting pushed by the flies, bro? Like, the dialogue being cut off, and, like, a freaking having a really hard time telling what's hitting you half the time. I, that might just be a product of these type of games, but still, bro, toxic. Which one? I haven't maxed this one, I guess. Holy Light, I maxed that one before. Lightning Arrow's been maxed, Magic Missile's been maxed. Alchemy Bomb has not been maxed. Mixed Potion hasn't been maxed. But I ain't taking it, cause god, screw that spell. Flame Jet hasn't been maxed. I can't reach it. Well, if I get the windfall thing, it'll bring it to me, I guess.
try and get like, like I've done pretty much every time so far. Get my sweet max so I can get Flame Street. I go to the first place and then roll from there. Plan. Again, let's make sure it works on him. Third. Oh, no, no. I'm glad I asked you to confirm. Yeah, it works on him. It just doesn't work on the sorcerer. Because the game hates me. That's why. That's why it doesn't work on the sorcerer. Because the game hates me. Obviously. Hearts. 
saying. Sucker. stupid ring this time. See if something changes and we get his achievement. people too I guess. I'll take the ranger. And I'll probably take him. No, I want the necromant. Mm. I'll take him. But apparently once you get a full party you slow down for whatever reason. Your movement speed slows down. It probably gets slowed down to your slowest person. But you don't leave them I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But yeah, I know we're moving a lot slower than we were. Knock, knock. damage. We do, we do. Thank <laughs> you. 
it does seem like at least you can regain your movement speed after losing it. Oh, I can get it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take the Necromancer, I guess. But it won't let me buy everybody a drink. That sucks. Okay. Hopefully I'll have another chance at it. I don't know. It's a coin. Yay, coin. Oh, Skeleton King. Where the hell did he come from? Oh, he hit my paladin. Go away. Get back, Satan. He ain't taking no damage. Because I took the coin, is that what pissed him off? I don't know, it doesn't matter. He did. to things. Oh, I can attack him now. Let's take the trade, though. We're not ready to kill him yet. He gives us stuff. Lots of stuff. We'll be having a hard time killing things now, though. Oh, well, there goes my money. God darn it. Enter the cave boldly, because it doesn't matter. Besides the dark scripture, I know I picked up the dark scripture, but I picked something else up too.
My people died. Oh, that's what I picked up. I picked up the thing that makes my spinny thingies. So did I lose the other two companions because I left them dead in the other place or that we just gotta wait for them to respawn and join back? Respawn and join back, okay. I answered that question, I guess.
Where the old chieftain at? Old turd. Stupid ring. I like more people like you, Hercules. It's Herberus. After speaking, Herberus left with his men without looking back. Well, hopefully we'll run into him again, because I gotta do his quest. I don't know how we do it, but we gotta do it. Like, I know I've completed that part before, but I've also killed all his people before. I just can't kill him somehow. Stupid Herberus. What a stupid name, Herberus, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Uh... They can max their skills too. I doubt it, but maybe. Anything's possible, I guess. Holy Warrior Resist. Good job, man. So slow, because my movement speed gets taken down every time I add a party member, bro. I'm, t I'm pretty sure that happens. I'm positive that happens, actually. Not even pretty sure, positive. Just heal somehow. I don't know. So slow, bro. It's even hard to dodge his stupid attacks.
Take the gold coins. Destroy the altar. Screw the wolves. Alright, this time we're gonna put the necklace on the thing instead of the coin, and hopefully we'll get the relic or whatever we were supposed to be finding last time. Because apparently she doesn't want the coin. Kill the cultist. <laughs> We're practically bomber man on steroids. Enter the cave. Go left. Put the amulet on the disc. Sound of machinery starts. Uh, revealing a passage to the tomb. You come to the main tomb where a huge stone coffin. I've already done this. You tried to open the approach the stone coffin and it's lifted. Okay, well we got the same thing. So whatever. Whatever, whatever. Oh, they're hurting us. Get back. Is he punching Mooncat? No, he won't punch Mooncat. Nobody punched him. Dust, dust, ashes, the ass. Okay, there's nothing else here. We tried both. So, we know for sure that's all that we get from that. Him? Okay, so you can get advanced versions of the Paladin and all that. Cool.
Definitely not getting as many trophies as I did in my last run. That's for sure. Unfortunately, I need to work harder on that, because god dang, bro. Uh. I don't feel like I'm super strong right now, but it is what it is. Maybe it won't, but I think it will. Time to fight. Upgrading my spinning blade thing yet. Or a lot of my other things. Either the jets. I don't even know if those can be upgraded, to be honest. That's not the slowest I've killed him, so I guess that's good at least.
was the ranger or whatever. Hey, summon Lich. Summons two skeletal mages. Nice. I thought we already had two, but that's cool. <laughs> Tag the demon. Where's he at? Can't see him. Oh heck. Now I see him. Get him, witches. Ah. treasure. trophies I'm pretty much out and the lich looks pretty cool that she summons honestly it does look pretty cool give me trophies Carefully explore. Ah, crap. Oh, 
Well, I should have passed both of those. So you can actually explore with some of these people. If I had more intelligence, I probably would have... Maybe that's where you find the relic at, possibly. I don't know. Might just take you to the thing faster. Might have already done it and don't remember, too. Herbers, oh, I'd, I'd be so pissed if the Herbers thing was actually glitched. And they're like, oh, that's the only thing keeping me from 100%ing? Oh, that made me mad as hell. Because I've done it both ways, so if I don't run into them again, it's definitely glitched. Unless, maybe I need somebody in the party to do it, but maybe that's it. Because I know you get certain options that you usually don't get if you have certain party members. Maybe if I had the rogue. Necromancer already have in my party. Well, makes no sense, but it is what it is. on Necromancer action. Wow, oh, she looks familiar.
Where's the boss at? I don't even see the dude. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? See him, he was getting pushed back so hard, I guess. I don't know. Or the bombs kept him away. I don't Trophies, man, real bad. Poor cemetery. When you walk into the ancient cemetery, 
strong sense of foreboding is deeply imprinted. You want to explore it. Maybe I can come back. Well, I had the luck to pass it. I don't know why I didn't get it, but whatever. That's okay, I guess. Lame. I mean, I definitely had the luck for it, so I don't know what happened there. For the ruins. Kill the rats. I'm we'll searching the dark of the sun. Oh, hell. Well, you don't do that then, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. do be seeming like the Herbert's achievements glitched.
Maybe Herbers is in the arena. <laughs> I don't know, man. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with that guy. A couple achievements I don't know how to get so far. It's that one I know how to do. Discover Relic Treasure, I don't know. Thief's Hideout. Ended Herberus. I don't know how the hell you do that. Until I guess we get done, or I don't have any trophies to do it. I don't know. Obviously, I bought everything from the caravan. Always off limits, bro. Always. Can't see what's going on. Just to make sure, there's no other books for this guy, right? That I have anyways. What's my crit rate at, 100% or something? Yeah, 100%, nice. Good. Now we just gotta make sure we don't get one shot by that dang thing, bro.
Yeah, so I didn't get any of the achievements for the... Um... Whatever it was. Like, quest for this area. percent dodge rate as well. Probably still get one shot by that one dude, but just curious. Not gonna tempt it. This time I'm gonna try to stay as far away as possible while still damaging him. Oh, here he comes. Okay, let's run. Where's he at? There he is. Satan. No! I got stuck because I couldn't see you. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, bro. I got. Oh my. Oh my soul hurts. That's such bullshit. Oh my freaking god, dude. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. That's so insane. Max everything in there. God bless America, though. Jesus, pissed me off so bad. Oh, that pissed me off so bad, dude. Can't believe that crap, dude. God darn, dude. Mm, that makes me madder than hell because I got. S I couldn't see, bro. I should have ran circles around him. That's what I should have done. Nah, I know this song. But God. Mm, that's so toxic. That's so freaking actually toxic. I'm only taking skills I know have awakened form to them this time. Yes. Mm, bro, I still can't believe he did killed me like that again. Oh, this time was way more 
infuriating than the last one for sure. God bless. I screw these worms, dude. Stop throwing things at me. Let's go get the rogue. God dang it. Why am I set up? Taking the priest. <sighs> Dude. Oh, I'm still so mad about it. I can't get over it, bro. I still can't get over it. Oh, I'm pissed at myself.
if I ever want to drink. Uh, hmm. Bring the Necromancer again. Wait a second, is the dang thief guy like a random encounter? Because like I did the same thing I did last time, but he didn't show up this time. Maybe I gotta I don't know. I don't know, maybe there's an order to uh Mr. Rogue, I'm gonna go right. You better be that way. These guys hurt. Killing me. Myself. Oh wait, I won. He gave me money. I don't do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Should be highly resistant to their flame magic. the server. Go right. right. Came to a fork. Go right again. Left. Left. You soon reach the end of Oh my god. What? Same thing. Demon, I guess. Sure. Let's pray. Why not?
Kill him this time, I guess, even though I don't have to do with him, to be honest with you, at all. Okay, this is an achievement. Treasure map. Well, last night was really chaotic, blah, blah, blah. Intimidate them. Get out of here. Put the blood. The castle wasn't very big, and aside from the broken treasure chest and a strange stone pestle, there wasn't anything useful. Put the black ore on the pestle. Place the ore on the stone pestle. There was a dull roar, and the huge wall behind the pestle collapsed. Behind the wall, a giant stone golem appeared. Flipping over the ruins and walking straight towards you, it was clear that you have been locked in as an enemy. Uh, this is an achievement, so hopefully we don't die.
So Gong fell to the ground with a thud, turning it into a pile of rubble. You were pleasantly surprised to find this unexplored treasure trove behind the wall. There was a big harvest. Leave after leaving. Give me my achievement. Discover relic treasure. Sick. Oh, is Herberus? Is this ending Herberus winning this stage, maybe? I don't know. Either way, the Thief's Hideout is lame. Is he Herberus? I thought Herberus was the royal, but I could be wrong, I guess. Alright, Fairy. Let's see. Wait, what? Oh, uh, well, I would have just resisted the Banshee, I think. My bad. Dang it. Where's the Banshee at? Thank you. 
He healed, bro. Why is he healing? Piss me off. Maybe it's because I leveled up. I don't know. But it's annoying. I know that. Gonna heal again, please don't. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, you didn't heal in the full at least. ability for our guy that we need to upgrade. that thing. I haven't seen that before. It's a ghost. Kill it. Is it killable? Gotta be, right? Yeah, there it goes. Oh, weird. I actually had a lot of treasure for some reason. That's weird.
Mimic. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, it doesn't matter, whatever. Try to make sure my intellect's high this time, hopefully.
Hmm. What's our intellect at? Those windy goes to pop up, bro. our intellect at now. Okay, we're at 3. Uh, let's get 350. I don't remember exactly what the number is, but I'll feel safer if I get 350. Almost smart. He's getting there.
the goes are here, so I'm gonna stay and get those. Definitely have enough. Of, yeah, okay. Sick. We smart. Finally. Oh, what? I can't investigate? Okay, well I passed that too anyways. But yeah, weird. Who did I have that was like, oh, let's investigate this. Was it a ranger? Maybe. Maybe I had the ranger. And she was like, oh yeah, I can investigate, but you're too stupid. <laughs> Basically what happened. Oh well.
Wow, we have 300 luck. That's crazy. Why is our stats so high right now? Confused. What? That's a glitch, bro. That's a... This game's so dumb. Sometimes, bro, it's got so many glitches! Uh, at least I get another chance at the stupid... Oh my god, dude. Balilla, yeah, has so many glitches, bro. I think her... I don't know what killed me. That was really dumb. Fudge. Man, I'm pissed. Wait a second. God. Mm. So dumb, dude. Oh my god, I've had to play this so many times. Glitches, bro. Oh, God.
<laughs> I'm flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> After that last death, <laughs> I am exasperated. Oh, Lord. do the stupid arena part which is like 40 minutes of just sitting there. At least that one is like pretty steady with giving it to you almost every time, which is nice. Okay, so I think I want the priest, the paladin, maybe the necromancer. I don't know. Maybe not the necromancer, actually. I don't know. Guess at the stupid lair again for the thieves. Definitely the most annoying character. I thought the alchemist was gonna be was kind of annoying, but the rogue is worse, bro. He's so bad. Actually, she's okay. I need 
money. Thanks, dude. I don't know which one I want. I guess I'll take the scholar. So I can kill the demon, for sure. Oh my god. 
die. Ah, uh, gosh. I might die here, though. I'm gonna try my best to survive. Uh, Lord, please don't kill me. I know these things freaking hurt, though. Tanking it up. Ranger about to die though. <laughs> oh well. We should ask him which way to go in the dang sewer, bro. Have you thought about that one? That would be very helpful. the sewer. Go left. What? Right, left, right, I guess. At the end of the road is an iron door. Pushing it open, you enter a brightly lit room. The room is very clean and tidy, in stark contrast to the dirty sewer on the other side of the door. Oh man, hit her. You immediately saw your target, a dark elf girl. The girl was surprised by your sudden appearance. How did you... I never thought anyone could make it through the dirty sewer. The dark elf continued. But well, unfortunately, I've spent all the money. I don't like reckless fighting. Or maybe we can sit down and talk about it. Let's do it. I like reasonable people, but I can't return the money to you, the elf said. Do you agree? I'm happy to join your team. My thief, thief skills can solve a lot of problems for you. I... Oh, I already read that. Welcome to join. I still have some private matters to deal with now. If we meet again, just look for me at the tavern. With that, the girl threw a smoke bomb, and the white smoke instantly obscured the view. When the smoke cleared, the girl had disappeared without a trace. Oh, okay, well, Alright. Three more achievements. I know how to get two. One of them I'm not sure on. So. Thank goodness, bro. Screw that sewer, bro. Screw the sewer. Honestly, the Herbers one might be just beating this stage. Even though it doesn't... I don't know. I don't understand how that makes sense, but maybe. Since I've done the ring quest like billions of times. But I might also need the rogue check for the Herbert or the ring quest, which might make sense. Maybe. I don't know. Either way. Here we go. The longest quest in the history of man. Classic. Could have always chose not to do it, but where's the fun in that? Plus, I need money, and this is a pretty good quest for money. 
and I'm dying, so that's cool too. I'm struggling at this part, bro. There's <laughs> this is gonna be so painful if I survive. Uh, God bless. We killed one or two of them. Hey, yeah, this ain't going too bad, actually, surprisingly. Thank you. 
One day. This should be a pretty strong build once I get finished because the sound notes do pretty good damage, the scythe does pretty good damage. Just I haven't unlocked any of the waking abilities yet, which sucks. cats around it. See, the reason why it's banana cat is because the sprite they use has that little brown thing at the top, like bananas have, the stem or whatever. That's why you know it's not moon cat. It's a banana. They can call whatever they want to, though, I guess. Doesn't make it any less wrong, though. Actually, into it. Continue game. Holy fire! Man. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that does say I want that permission. Thank you, fairy lady. Treasure oh. Move it. Bop it. My abilities upgraded, please, game. It looks like they might have actually fixed the aim at least, so that's good. She's hitting it pretty square on. High dragon wave. Yay, not being able to see things is awesome. Let's go. uses money on accident. Ah, hey, hold on. I'll be like that. Darn. I actually didn't mean to. This time.
get my scythe one finished now. Nice one shot in those dang worms, bro, because they are annoying and they hurt. where I died but at one time on this stupid circle water thing against that stupid boss. Ah. Sure, we turn the light on this time. Torch it up, baby. Don't get, get away from me. Pretty sure those big rats are pretty close to unkillable. They don't even die after the stage ends for some reason. That dragon wave probably does like the best job of like actually clearing out the mobs. Maybe. I don't know. Because I did have that one build where I was just insta killing everything. But still, it does a really good job because of the range.
Camera Baroa. I wonder if you need certain stats before it'll let you awaken it or if it's just pure RNG on drops. So we should be alright. Oh no, he's shooting to the left. He learned. Summon Mountain Giant, that sounds cool, actually. Oh, he is huge, actually. That's cool. Sick. I haven't finished upgrading my scythe yet, though. Oh, he just threw a big boulder. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty dope, actually. <laughs> Dude just chucked a boulder at something. There we go. That's an upgrade scythe.
now I think all our abilities are upgraded. Oh, not the music note. We haven't upgraded. I don't think we've upgraded it yet. Maybe we did. I don't know. I don't think so, though. too much again wherever she's at stay calm Staying calm, I guess. That's always nice. Translate ancient text. With the help of scholars, you managed to translate the script. When the god hammer fell, the holy land became the source of evil, the pride of the ancient kingdom. We roamed the secrets of the abyss, we grasped for endless wealth, we wrote the wonders of creation, we achieved unparalleled feats, but we broke the taboo. We awakened the Dark One of Eons, the Lord of the Abyss, the source of destruction, the fear of gods. He brought death and dis disaster, he destroyed the king's prosperity, kingdom's prosperity, he devoured the souls beyond salvation, he got cut off. Okay, well, he did something. Intelligence at right now. Pretty good. Bring one. Oh, wait. Following the clues provided by the nobleman, you track the orc's footsteps all the way in a clearing. Reading's hard. In the woods, you found a group of orcs, but unfortunately, they also found you. Strangely, the orcs didn't attack you immediately, but instead shouted loudly in orcish. Speak. This human can speak our language, the leading orc gestured with his hands, and said, Many humans want to steal ring, but the ring belongs to the chief, and humans cannot take it away. Quest to meet with the chief. Human no fight. Map for you. The leading orc pulled out a smelly sheepskin from his pocket and handed it to you. But chief hate humans. Don't cause trouble. Aw. Okay, so maybe this will give us the thing we need. Finally. Finally. Find the scribbled map, 
You finally found the orc fortress hidden in the valley. Unfortunately, the guards of the fortress had already discovered you, and they shouted and made threatening gestures, probably telling you to leave quickly. Wizard negotiates with the orcs. The chieftain hates humans, the orc guards at the gate said. With much less hostility, but the chieftain likes politeness. With that, the orc opened the fortress gate. Go in, human. Chieftain will see you, but don't cause trouble. Meet with chief. You made your way to the center of the fortress, where the chief orc chieftain sat on a throne made of various animal bones. The ring hanging from the chieftain's chest caught your attention. Perhaps this was the ring the Count was looking for. I know why you're here. Before you could speak, the chieftain spoke in fluent kingdom language. He pointed to the ring on his chest and said, This ring is a relic of my old friend Donald, and it doesn't belong to that fratricidal scum. That villain killed his brother with his own hand, and threw him down a well. Oh, I met him. For this ring. But in chaos. Oh, okay, it all makes sense now. The ring was picked up by one of my subordinates, the chieftain continued. Without the ring, he cannot inherit all- Officially, they really care about inheritance? He cannot officially inherit all the inheritance. After that, the villain sent- Oh, after that, the villain sent people to attack my camp. Every few days, if it weren't for their agreement with my old friend, I would have crushed his head long ago. The chieftain spat to one side and disdainfully and turned his head to look at you, saying, I hope you can avenge my old friend for me. <laughs> Attack the chief anyway. <laughs> Except the chief's mission. Human, I trust you. Take the ring with you. I don't want to get involved in human conflicts anymore. It's up to you to decide what to do with this ring. Yay, but I didn't get his flag thing. Ah, darn. Hi, Donald. I mean, uh, Herberus. Stupid name. <laughs> He's got the stupidest name. <laughs> Herberus. I'm gonna get all the movement speed I can so I can outrun that devil thing. At the very end of the stage, at one shots. Honestly, I might not need to kill him anymore, though. But you are several miles away from Skyring City when you encounter Herberus again. Apparently, he has been waiting for you there for a while. My men have seen you get the ring. Well done, commoner. Give me the ring, and you'll you'll be off the hook. As for the truth, huh? Oh, you're as foolish as my brother, mingling with those bunch of ugly and dirty orcs. Father actually passed everything on to him. I am the eldest son of the family. Herbert showed a fierce expression and roared. So what if it is the truth? Having private dealings with the orcs is the biggest insult to the family. He deserved to die. After venting, Herbert turned his face and put us on a smiling face, saying to you, Commander, this is my family business. It has nothing to do with you. Hand over the ring. Take the money and forget everything that happened today. It's good for everyone. Refuse. Stupid peasant, since this is your choice, your life ends here. Herbert snapped his fingers and his subordinates swarmed out. It seems that Hercules had planned to kill you all. <laughs> kill you to keep you quiet, bro. They can't make up. The oh, hell, he's fast. Oh, he dead. He died real fast, too. You ended Herbert's life, and the turmoil surrounding the ring came to an end. You quickly cleaned up the battlefield and left the area before nightfall. Finally did it. I ended Herberus. So now I know how to get all the achievements. There's two left, and I'll get them from the arena. I'm still gonna try really hard to beat this one though, for the sheer fact that um something something. Oh, I unlocked that one character. Even though it's not an achievement, I want the character. Probably sucks, but you never know. Oh wait, never mind. You get that character from Herberus anyways. Maybe you're not supposed to- Well, uh, I'm sure you can beat it. I'm gonna do it. Maybe. I can stay away from him. Well, if I don't beat it this time, I'm just gonna go do 
though, right now. Well, whatever. Bro, I'm friends with your chief. Now. I know I wasn't when I murdered him, but now we're friends. So stop attacking me, please. Some boulders everywhere, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Holy crap. Let's <laughs> make my eyes explode, bro. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> Killing me, bro. are spawning. Heck yeah, boy. In case we weren't killing things fast enough, I guess. It's gonna be really hard to survive that death guy when I can't see what the heck is going on at all, bro. I have no idea.
Nice. Alright, we'll gear down the wazoo now. I mean, we've been geared out the wazoo, but now we super geared out the wazoo, I guess. Level 200, that's cool, I guess. Oh, discover symbols and text on something. We spent a long time and successfully deciphered the text. This cemetery should be the resting place of a legion of soldiers under the command of General Tumid. During his expedition to the demon territory, based on the clues provided, you found a metal chest with magical symbols carved on it in an ancient tomb. some reason it considers the fire separate because it's supposed to be an elemental thing but for some reason it's in religious theology I don't know okay can go to other library places okay cool oh we're at 200 yay level 200 level 201 Carefully explore. You, the ranger, meticulously search the graveyard and cut, discover some unusual footprints. The shoe prints are clearly not from locals. These are the likely the footprints of the grave robbers. As you pass through the forest, you disturbed a group of unfriendly creatures who didn't seem to appreciate the intrusion. They're dead, man. Or learn to appreciate. Follow the footprints, and after a few hours, to your surprise, the footprints, uh, illusion. I think I've already done that before, but that's okay, whatever. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Goal here is not to die to the freaking necromancer. After she's already dead. Somehow. I don't know what happened there, but it really sucked. I see her. Oh, I did see her. She's dead now. See, those sights are what killed me last time. I'm pretty sure.
things are dying before they're even spawning in, bro. Again? Jesus. I haven't let your chieftain live this time, man. I shouldn't even be wasting my time with these, but that's okay. Might as well do them anyways. Yay, sleep, OP. Oh, it was a swamp. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Well, I do get crystals for doing this, which allows me to power up my companions, I guess, so that's something. Oh, barely saw him there, bro. quest in one run. I just delete things until the timer runs out, I guess. out for that. I need to go to an area where I'm not going to hit unexpected walls and stuff for the fight. There's a hole there. There's not a place in this map where they won't freaking cheese me. I wish I could get more boost speed than this, bro. God bless. There's, I can't see the holes, man. I feel like I'm gonna die to this guy again. I won't be so tilted. Which, like I said, it's not an achievement to kill it, and it doesn't unlock anything. But I want to win. God dang it.
Maybe this side is like the best we're gonna get, probably. Hey, we got a million gold. Doesn't matter if you don't win, though. I don't think you get the crystals if you don't win. Man, I don't want to die, but I feel like it's going to happen. I really shouldn't be able to get one shot with how many stats I have, bro. It should be, like, actually impossible. But... Stressed out, bro. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I just can't see half the map, bro. It's a problem. <laughs> Two million gold, and it's not gonna matter if I don't kill this boss.
Yeah, that was probably not the smartest thing to do. Maybe his health bar will show up at least. I don't know, dude. chilled out a little bit, my gosh. Hey, where's he coming from? Please don't kill me, guy. There he is. I see him. Oh, I got stuck by it. Oh, oh. Oh, we live! Oh, that was so stressed. I ran into this stupid corner right here, but I've got down before he killed me. Oh, lord. Oh, I did all this practice going around in circles, and I still got stuck. I think the main problem was is that, like, the stupid potion threw me off, because I lost my position when I had all that stuff going on. That was awful. <sighs> we did it, though. What if something killed me now, after all that? Bruh. I should be, like, literally impossible to kill, almost. I have, like, super high dodge rating. I have, like, all the stats pretty much topped off. Oh, the music's going out. Well, they almost killed a hundred thousand enemies. <sighs> Let's see if I can ghost. Nope, so can't go. Whew. Hold on. I'm holding. The dragon beam has to have the most damage because it's hitting things other things can't hit because I don't have the range on those abilities. I should have so many crystals that well I don't oh yeah I can. I can spin out my companions actually. Make Mooncat even more OP. I'll probably actually try the new chick first, see what her moves will look like, and then spin the crystals on her. So I'll probably just go into a run and not actually like commit to it. On the arena, and then I'll do like a full 40 minute or however long it needs to be. This was a good game though, I just wish it was like, it's like they did everything so well and then they like forgot to fix certain things, man. Like the text running off the screen, things killing you after you beat the level, all kinds of stuff like that, but still it was fun to play. The abilities are cool. I like the characters, I like the TTS, I think it's hilarious. Well, be thousands of books and walk thousands of miles like a sage. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we made it to level, level 260. About. Wow. 260.
victory! Look how many gems I got. Unlock Sweeby and unlock the rogue. Let's see what Sweeby does. 19 billion damage, bro. Uh, there's nothing I can buy here. Okay. Two more achievements. She's a midget. What was it? What'd she say? My dream is to soar like an arrow. Ah, uh, hell, you gotta leave or I won't say it again. Wait a second. My dream is to soar like an arrow. I have a knife. I need a knife. I have a knife. I need a knife. What? Okay, let's see what you got, Sweeby. Falling in love with someone because of singing, the persistent goddess who had been waiting for 500 for love 500 years. Oh, I gotta read all the stories too. Once we, I wanna see what Sweet Bee's about to pop off and do. Oh, that's cool. She does like little water. Oh, that's really good, I think. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade her instead of uh, Moon Cat. That music goes so hard. Let me read these two because I don't wanna. Read him after I beat it. Carl, okay, his name's Carl, was born into a lower noble family. He received the best education and training, becoming an excellent warrior. However, he was retaliated against in a war for opposing a superior noble. To avoid bringing trouble to his family, Carl was forced to sever ties and embark on a long journey, becoming a freelance mercenary. Lily is a talented mage from an ancient magical family. After her parents sacrificed their lives to protect her from a dragon attack, she dedicated herself to studying and researching magic. As an adult, she uses her magic and wisdom to protect the world on her journey. Leo, also known as Honest Leo, is a follower of the Bro Baroan Creed, which is dedicated to justice and honor. However, his stubbornness has caused him to lose his position in the military and make enemies. Undeterred, Leo travels the world to protect the weak and fulfill his ideals. My dream is to soar like an arrow. Alia is a force self who is curious about the outside world and passionate towards everyone, including travelers. However, her tendency to intervene in others' affairs caused trouble for her people, leading her to exile. For Alia, this there is a chance to escape her boring life and embark on an adventure. Uh, Ilina is a member of the cursed and exiled Dark Elf race who were driven underground by other elf tribes during their, due to their past sins. Despite the harsh living conditions, Ilina learned to survive by stealing and deceiving. Her ultimate goal is to escape the dark underground and start a new life in the sunny surface world. Morningstar is an orphan from the AV tribe who grew up in the Temple of Ladona. Her beloved sister betrayed the goddess and killed her teacher. This painful memory led Morningstar to embark on a journey to seek truth behind her sister's, sister's betrayal. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles like a sage. Like a sage. Alvin is a senior scholar and a and great sage who lives leaves his ivory tower to embark on a journey after a night of contemplation. When asked why, he simply replies, it's better to travel a thousand miles than to read a thousand books. Well, but what if you do both? It's time to go out and see the world. Details, details, more details. Brock Flask was once a student at the Royal Alchemist Academy of Iron Forge. Ah, he's from St <laughs> World of Warcraft. But he was expelled for his experiments, always causing explosions and chaos. He did not give up on his dream, but decided to learn by himself, and eventually became a renowned alchemist master. To this day, he still pursues alchemy with relentless passion, hoping to create more amazing inventions and works. Oh. Oh. Alex is a rebellious noble who loves music and embarks on a journey to win people's love and respect with his music and voice. When his heart is stolen by goblins, a kind adventurer helps him retrieve it. And in gratitude, Alex joins the adventure team to record and sing their legendary story. When Adrian was a child, a mad undead slaughtered her hometown. Her parents sacrificed themselves to protect her. All these parents sacrificing themselves, bro. And she barely escaped with her life. But she also lost her parents later. Oh, she also lost her parents later. An old man passed by this place and found Adrian still hiding in the cellar. The old man was called Eames, a Iamas, a great necromancer. He saw that Adrian 
a Durin, had amazing magical power, so he took her as his disciple, took her around the world, and taught her necromancy. At a Durin, a Durin, a I don't know. Soon showed a strong interest and amazing talent for necromancy. More than a decade has passed, and Adrian still hasn't forgotten the experience of her childhood. She swore to find out the truth of that year. No, she won't, because I've already beat the game, and there was no truth to be found. All oh, powerful Sweeby! Try to survive. Come on! I don't want these abilities, actually. Uh, take that one, I guess. Throwing knives! Oh, okay. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Like a sage. The thing ain't dying. Get it, Sweepy. I upgraded the heck out of you. You should be killing the hell out of that thing. I'll turn this music down a little bit. It do be bumping. And I don't want to get copyright ID claimed. Because God bless, bro. I will fight it to the death. Sneak. Oh, okay. Ineffective. Didn't she have a different ability? This one. Yay, money. Kill it, Sweeby. Kill the hell of it. Uh oh. Boss has spawned. Shouldn't be too hard, though. It's just normal difficulty, right? Allegedly. I want to get the dragon thing. These are starting to get expensive. Give me the ability I want. Oh my god. <sighs> Bruh. Yes, finally. Oh wait. Like a sage. I knew that was going to be my last ability. I could feel it in my soul. Ow, dude. Shot me in the face. Come on, Sweeby, kill him. Kill him, Sweeby. Probably should have stuck to Mooncat. Mooncat hits everything. Sweeby only hits certain things. Even though she does do a lot of damage, it seems like. Yay, beautiful music. Lots of windy ghosts. And a troll. Huh. huh. Get away, windy ghost thing. Kill him, Sweepy. Kill the hell out of him. Stop teleporting, Sweepy. Kill him. Like a sage. <laughs> it amuses me, obviously. I 
Here comes a real noise. Wham. I need to pick up that chest if y'all would get away from it. Please and thank you, thank you. It's gonna be the longest 40 minutes of my life, I think. Probably not, but it's still gonna be long. Oh, it's a tree. Pissed off tree. This does have bosses I haven't seen anywhere else, I think. Die, tree, die. Weeby has no mercy. I do like Sweepy. I think her attack is super cool. I don't know if she's stronger than Mooncat, though, but her attack is still super cool. Oh, that's a Mecha Goblin. Shopkeep too. And the alchemist. I guess that's who that is. Looks like the alchemist. Probably the halfling, I guess. That we stole the money from a couple times with an accident. I did not like that. Don't hit me. Dynamite. What is this? Poison tornado. Chaos. Not a pure, pure wedding. Poisonous whirlwinds with a chance to be poisoned for five seconds. Okay, sick. Ah, yeah, it's tornadoes. Sick. She starts with pretty good movement speed, so that's nice, I guess. Ah, dude. I pick up my treasure, man. Oh, bombs. Kill him. God, he's a problem. His attack's too random. There we go. I'm not trying to click it, my bad. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh.
boomerang throw. Throw countless flying knives forwards. Oh, okay. Only forwards, though? That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, she does keep doing it, though. I guess. That's cool. Actually, countless. Nice. Now, if I could just get her to throw something out of her backside, that'd be great. Giant skeleton soldier, maybe. Hopefully. Bang bang. He do be tanky. These enemies do be tanky. Oh, it's what's his face? Herberus. I wonder if uh probably not. Old Herbie. We got him like perma stone, boy. Nice. Yay! We got it. Bang a ring. So I shouldn't have to worry about dying. No. Unless that one guy spawns the stupid death boss thing. Oh wow, that's a lot of uh, health people. Oh, uh, they're not regular health people. They don't give you stuff. Don't give you the good stuff. Oh, there's an orc chieftain. What's up, guy? We be. I'll read all their lores as well once we get done with this. The companions. I don't think I did that yet. All of them, anyways. I think I've done some of them. Who's that guy? Oh, Vampire Man. That's who he is. I remember you. We've got him locked down, bro. Plus, the skeletons are holding that guy, but the other one. Who next? Who next? Banshees. I'm gonna get away from those because they stun. You get to the bottom left, though, they don't attack down here. I know that. I learned that through trial and error. So the money goes to trinkets. I don't think I'm gonna summon any party members because I don't want to be slowed down by them. 
like actually slow down by their movement speed thing. I don't like that. Queen. Fair Queen! Dead Fairy Queen now. Yo, know, this game mode does not spawn a lot of enemies. You think there'd be enemies everywhere. I guess they're trying not to make you too strong, too fast for the bosses, I guess. So you'll still be challenged. I have every single upgrade. I have legitimately 100% of this game. Not just achievements. I hope they don't put the death guy in here though, that would suck. I don't want to get one shot by him. Ex except there's no, uh, no things to block me, so maybe I have a strong chance against him actually. Nice. Size complete. Do make it hard to get money though. Try this stuff should be at a discount. They're not gonna give me a lot of money. Now I just need to finish my holy barrier and my uh What's the other ability I have? Skeleton. I don't know if you can max those, but if you can, I'd like to get that maxed. Oop, gargoyle's being rude. Lots of dragon. Hey, what's up, guy? I haven't seen you in forever, bro. Like, actually. That means death might actually be on the stage, which, like I said, we could probably outmaneuver him. One, she's pretty fast, and two, no holes that can just screw me over.
The dragon's dead body's not going away. Go away, dragon. <laughs> Go away. Uh, is that the guy? Is that the... Well, it's not an expert mode, so he might not one-shot me anyways, honestly. Oh, he teleported. Either way, I'm not letting him touch me if I can help it. I know that. Kill my skeletons though, I don't even see them anymore. You kill all my skeletons, bro? Rude. Ain't killing Sweeby though. Uh, Sweeby is kinda dying though. She'll come back. I hope she comes back. Yay, we got him. Careful of the sights. That lingering hitbox. In the wrong button? Huh. It won't let me go to the... Huh, weird. I can't go to the store no more? Rude. Yeah, I'm hitting the Z key. Weird. That's really weird. Where are the enemies at? Am I supposed to be going somewhere? Oh, there we go. Where are the enemies at, though? Killed them too fast. some. I guess they're underground and when they pop up I'm just killing them on accident. Oh well, it'd be like that. I really wish they'd spawn some more enemies so I could, like, A, make my build better, and t B, just not be bored. I don't think they did a very good job with this stage at all. There's, like, invisible things I'm killing somehow. I don't know.
Oh, finally. Well, kind of. But it's like every minute, like, three enemies are spawning. <laughs> and, like, it's dying. Oh, well. Bruh, this is lame. <laughs> this stage is just lame. I gotta take it now. Well, this just does it. What are these things that are spawning and dying? It looks like eggs or something. Fudge. Barrels. It's barrels. It's putting barrels on the map for some reason. But no enemies. We literally killed all the enemies, I guess. That we weren't I guess we weren't supposed to kill all the enemies. I don't know, dude. Killed them too fast. Now we just have barrels. Well, guys, I like the game. Let's just do our post credits here. So, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed the game for the most part. Like I said, it's pretty buggy, and this part right here is so dumb, actually. They didn't have, like, constant enemy spawning like they did on the other stages. Basically, you just had to kill it. Like, they had a set amount of enemies, and once you kill them all, it looks like you're done. Um, they do have constant barrel spawns, though, so I guess that's something. Um... But yeah, I really wish the text didn't run off the screen, and I wish... I don't know if you can max, like, upgrade all these things to full, all the skills. I don't know if they all have, like, a final level or whatnot. But most of them are really cool, in my opinion. Overall, it was definitely worth the price. It was like three bucks, I think, and I've spent a long time on it. Some of the stages were really hard, especially that expert um, final stage. I do wish there was more of a conclusion to, like, the characters' stories. Honestly, I think that would have been nice. Like, some personalized missions for the characters. Um, outside of the ones you do to acquire them. But, yeah. Still really good for the price. My god. Too bad you can only do this timer thing on this uh, game mode because I would have definitely done it on the other one, the harder one where I got like plenty of kills if I could, but I guess all you do in the Coliseum is boss rush like all the other, all the bosses in the game. Oh yeah. Trying to find like a portal or something and seeing if it could like take me somewhere else, but I haven't seen one, so I don't think there is one. After we beat the final 
boss thing that they summoned. They really should have done better than this, though, for this being, like, the final stage. Kind of. The final frontier of achievements. This really should have been better. It's boring. <laughs> like, for real. This right here is so lame. Uh, I'm bored. Maybe if I summon some people. Let's go do that. Oh, the Angelic Institute's here now. Cool. Oh, you can summon every- uh, no, not everybody, but... Oh, wait. No, of course not. Summon some enemies, bro. I just want to minimize this and like start editing the video to be like somewhat productive. I guess I could start drinking beer, I guess, but I don't know if that's gonna help with the boredom. with all your favorite characters. I like that the <laughs> elves dress the same even though different color schemes they're dress <laughs> they have the same clothes. I like that. We'd be killing the hell out of that barrel with their little water tornado. Where's my phone at, bro? Play on my phone. <sighs> I was about to die, it looked like. that don't exist.
I'm not projected to win in fantasy football. Does not seem.
Six more minutes, bro. So how do I just end this run? Do I just leave or like, will I still get the achievement if I, bruh, if I don't get this god dang achievement. You know what that would mean? I would have to like, not kill everything for 40 minutes and then let them kill me. Oh my god, bro. It better not be like that. Because it hasn't given me the 35 minute achievement. <sighs> Bruh. There's like literally nothing on the screen to kill me. That's kind of cool, you can look through all their stats like that, that's pretty dope. Wait, can I actually play the other characters?
Make sure it's 40 minutes, right? Alright, I did it. Yeah, I got it. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. It's a shame that part sucks so bad to be honest with you, but we 100%ed it. Alright guys, bye!